Access granted. Yo, I made it. How you doing, folks? Jack, Cage Wolf. How you doing, fellas? Are you all right? Got to keep you waiting there. My God, um, I woke up late today. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's just a knock-on effect. Um, I have to get up some Tuesdays. I have to get up early. And I felt great yesterday. Uh, and I went to bed like usual time. And now, um... I woke up late today so uh we're not not too late for stream but it was literally a case of i woke up and was like mm, what time is it oh i better i better get in the shower and get ready for stream <laughs> so here we are so um i'm gonna need to hydrate a lot because i've like usually i'm up for like an hour or two drinking lots of water and coffee and now that's not the case but yeah wolf i'm i'm doing well buddy apart from that uh hang in there though I'll be fine. I've just got to go get this H2O in me. Ah, there we go. Um, Excuse me. Yeah. Excited for day two of our Skyrim journey. <coughs> <coughs> I think someone put some dust in my, uh, in my water. Aye, aye, aye. Do apologise. Yeah, so <laughs> it's mostly a bit more scuffed than it was yesterday, but that's fine. We're just going to relax into it, and uh, it's not going to be a problem. But thank you for being here. Um, so, Jack, yes, you missed our first day yesterday, buddy. But that's absolutely fine. I'll just catch you up. We are um, playing as a female red guard by the name of Izzy. We uh, skipped. The vanilla start of the game because it is buggy as all bloody hell if you have lots of mods like we do um but we started with um one of the alternate starts which was um uh the next best thing <coughs> essentially which is the premise is we are just a hunter uh in the woods our own little camp just out of the way which is basically just below Helgen. As soon as you step into the game, you hear a dragon roar. And you see that... <coughs> spoiler alert. No, spo well, I say spoiler alert. I'm trying to avoid spoilers in the game, just in case there's any viewers who don't know the details about things. Um, you look up in the sky and you see this big old dragon flying away from Helgen. So then we go, oh, let's, uh, let's go check this Helgen place. And then it ties up with the... Uh, the main quest line from there um actually worked really well i feel so we um basically uh you go there and there's a little quest marker to um get a gist of what's happened uh and then you find someone's journal that says um people probably tried to escape through the tunnels under helgen you go down to the tunnels where you're escaping the vanilla uh but you have to go out you can't actually get through because it's blocked off you have to go outside and back in the exit and then you find um you find hadvar give him a healing potion to get him back up on his feet uh and then um he takes you down into um into uh riverwood 
and then uh, we've just been hanging around Riverwood basically. We um looking around, talk to everybody. Uh, you know, did a few little you know side quests and things. Um, the main one, of course, was to go and um you know retrieve Lucan's stolen golden claw. Uh, uh if, you know, from bandits, he'd felt had stolen it and taken up to uh, they were hiding out in Bleak Falls and Barrow, uh, which we went to, and we did that, uh, and we found some myster very mysterious things. We found a word of power on a wall. I mean, like, what is this? How curious! And we found this giant stone plaque emblem, the dragon on it. Uh. It's very heavy, but no doubt it's very important. So um, that was quite a, that turned into a whole thing. Um, <clears throat> leveled up a bit and stuff, so we're feeling like more capable um, of doing what's what, and uh, whatever we need to do, we're gonna get done. And um, of course, everyone in Riverwood was like, "Oh, yeah, the dragon. Somebody should go and tell Yarl Balgruff." The uh, the Yarl of White Run hold, which uh, we're gonna look at the holds where exactly how they're laid out in a second. Um, which I think believe is, is certainly the central hold in Skyrim, but it may also be the largest by land mass by uh, uh, by area. Um, so an important guy, and we, you know we're just gonna go. Hey, just to let you know, Helgen got destroyed by a giant dragon. And also the people of Riverwood are kind of pretty nervous about this. And they kind of, you know, they want to know what you, you're going to do about it, bro. Um, also, we're well aware of that the civil war that is going on. And Hadvar, um, an imperial soldier, was like, yeah, you should go to Solitude, the capital, far up in the northwest. And you should, jo you should join the imperial army. We need someone like you. I don't know if you want to get involved in all that. Yeah, I don't know if you caught any of that, Jack. Hello, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> you might have stepped away for a second there. Um, but yeah, I just want to pull up the... Um, there we go. Sorry, I'm a little bit beyond today. Um, <clears throat> here we go. I need all locations. I don't need interactive map. I just need... Um, something that shows the holds how's that perfect um There we go. Chop that off a little bit and reset. Increase it. There's a technical term there. Is I want to increase it. Squidge. How you doing? Are you well, young Squidge? You good? There we go. Um. <clears throat> So yeah, yeah, you, you can. Uh, so Helgen's kind of like down in the uh, central south bit there. That's where we uh, had a little camp just next to it. Riverwood's just a little bit north of it here. This is uh, Bleak Falls Barrow just over here. As you can see, so this is this small red dotted line. That is the boundaries of a hold. So you can see White Run Hold here, in the centre, is. Uh, Probably the largest. Uh, so Helgen was actually in Falkreath Hold. But as you can see, Riverwood is uh, just in Whiterun. So over this uh, Jarl Balgruff guy is, he's, you know, he's a bit, he's an important dude. So each hold has its own Jarl, who is essentially the Lord of the Hold. Um, maybe we're going to meet those at some point. Yeah, so they kind of spell this. That's Falkreath the south the rift the southeast there and rifton the city um east march and uh windhelm is their city there 
Um, in co coincidentally, it's actually um, Ulfric St Stormcloak, the leader of the rebels, is the Jarl of uh, of Eastmarch of of Winter uh, of Windhelm. So um, God knows what's going on over here because he's <sighs> last time we saw he was about to be executed by the Empire, but he escaped. So maybe he's gone back home. I don't know. Uh, we've got the uh, up here in the northeast is the hold of Winterhold. Uh, and the town, the city of Winterhold. Um, the Pale Shore. I think they just usually just called the Pale. Bit of an uh, oddly shaped there. But, uh, you know, we're not judging there. And I guess Dawnstar is its, uh, is its main town. Uh, Yalmark there. Uh, and uh, Morthal, no. Can't see probably on this map. Uh, over in the west there, we've got the um, the Reach. That's very very rugged mountainous terrain, and Markarth way off into the uh, west there. And up the top here in the uh, north uh, west, we've got Halfingar. Uh, hold. Uh, pretty small. In fact, the smallest of all the holds, but it's also essentially the capital. Uh, of solitude that is the capital city of skyrim um so i guess they're like yo we don't need uh oh sorry one second we don't uh we don't need uh you know a big hold because we're the capital bruh step two anyway um you're behind on work squidge yeah and I, I love maps as well if something yeah i know you do if you, it's very important you're you're a fantasy author squidge that understands you've got to have a map in if you you know for your, for, your, for your series for your world you can't just be like oh i'm just going to describe this fa epic fantasy world and you know i'm just going to tell you where things are and you're like no, i need to see a map what co yeah you get it of course you do of course you do squidge but yeah don't let us distract you too much um easily in your top 10 f f preferred games yeah oh excellent well perfect jack well that's kind of sums up doesn't it buddy yeah so let me tell you this jack we um and a freaking amazing time of yesterday. Um, I did a lot of uh, babble, uh, as I want to do. Um, you know. Uh, but we're going to get more more in, on the actual game done today. Um, so, we had a, a minor setback. On one second. I can't decide whether I want that fan on or not. I turn it on and I'm like, oh, maybe I should put a t-shirt on. <laughs> And then I'll turn it off and five minutes from now, I'll be like, oh, bloody hell. What are we going to do? We'll just play it by ear. Um, so I've got a diff slightly different setup in here, Jack. My, I'm looking up here for my laptop now to see chat. So I think I might have been a little bit behind on chat. Or I might have maybe missed a few things. I'm, I think everyone here understood. So it just takes a bit of getting used to. Um, but I, I shall get used to it. Um, we also have a couple of hard crashes on the game. Um two in a row at exact at the exact same spot we were literally just in uh the sleeping giant in riverwood just l exited you know to go back into the town and crash and i was like oh okay so we loaded up the game again uh obviously you know auto saves thankfully are very uh frequent in skyrim and it's very easy quick and easy to do a quick save anytime you like so we have to remember that do lots of quick saves that's what we're doing uh but then we uh so i redid my business in, in the uh in the end uh, talking to people doing a little bit of potion making um then saved the game then tried to go through the door again and it crashed again and at this point i'm like Ugh. i was like third time's the charm um it's, uh, it sometimes happens you on vanilla, does it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, um, of course, yeah, it's, uh, it's compounded, isn't it? So that was my problem. Uh, that was my thought, it was like, oh, we've got too many mods, this is too much going on. On the third try, though, it was absolutely fine. And we had no other issues after that. I think the only thing we saw, uh, that was a bit jank, um, and this must have been related to some maybe like foliage mod or just general scenery mods kind of it 
not fully like lining up and interacting with each other. We saw some floaty mushrooms. Mushrooms were just kind of like floating above like a, a dead log. Uh which looked jank. But I picked them anyway, and I was like, at least there's less of them now. <laughs> um So that was a, you know, it's not like it didn't exactly break the game. It didn't exactly make me go, oh now like, the, the whole playthrough is bust. We're not if that's the worst we have to deal with, I think I can take that. Aside from that, everything else was uh, silky smooth, looks amazing, sounds amazing, plays amazing. So many mods overhauling pretty much everything in the game, Jack. Um, we've uh, got one a combat mod which makes um, various up cha up, uh, changes. Um, realistic distance with melee attacks. So I was I was swinging expecting to hit and i was like oh i'm not quite close enough so i've got to watch out for that um also uh we've got precision mod so your physical attacks literally land where where you put them um i don't think you get, i don't know if you get extra like head damage or anything but um like if you uh if your crosshair is slightly off the side you're just gonna swing right by them um so i like that you know, I like the idea of that as well. And we've got a general overall combat mod, which um, makes combat harder. We died a few times. It was... Uh, now, it's, I guess it's adding, like, essentially more lethality. Um, we are squishier, but the enemies are squishier as well. It just kind of makes things a little bit more realistic. I've also put... Like, yeah, we've come across them, yet. Yeah? Uh, something to make dragons twice as tough. Uh... So that could be interesting. Uh, I hope I'm not bit off more than I can chew. Uh, and then we we'll, shall see as we progress today um, <laughs> with that. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, fascinating experience. Um, so yeah, that's where, so currently in Riverwood, our next job is just to head up to Whiterun, the, the capital of the hold, central Skyrim, uh, you know, primarily meet up you know try and get an audience with the Jarl and be like yo bro you know you got dragons racking the place the people in Riverwood are pretty scared what are you gonna do about it he might not do anything he might be like oh, well I don't care well thanks for letting me know but jog on um at the very least he may chuck us a few gold and be like oh thank you you're dismissed um but as it's the the uh capital of the hold and arguably one of the most important holds in Skyrim, you expect there's going to be a lot going on there. It could, uh, we could set it up as our, our base of operations for the foreseeable future. There's no doubt going to be lots of things to look at, lots of people to talk to, and maybe some work for us to, uh, you know, a little bit of coin to be made. Um, yeah! Moosh! Oh, hey, moosh! Uh, I, <laughs> I don't care. What are you doing talkie? That's nice. And... He's got nothing better going on than to <laughs> than to be here. Okay, no, I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, <laughs> um, how you doing, Kenny? Um, did you ever play Skyrim, Kenny? So, guys, you um, you don't know Kenny there, duct tape. Uh, he's not, he was not much of a gamer, but he definitely did play video games here and there. You know, he wasn't probably like geeked out to the degree that you know maybe we were. But um, you're on the family holiday and your missus in Primark, bruh. I mean, calm, calm yourself. <laughs> what they, what they say, Kenny? Happy wife, happy life. So you do what you gotta do, sir. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, you've not. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, I think you remember. I remember you saying that, Kenny. You would like not. So, um, yeah, Squidge. Uh, Kenny's uh, a great guy, but he's basically the opposite of you. Uh, Kenny's like not into fantasy stuff. You know, he likes drama stuff, like horror kind of stuff. Um, you know, anything that's uh, you know kind of thriller, but like li literal, the literal opposite of you. He's like dr dragons. What? What's that junk? What? I don't, nah. What? Um. So yeah, but you know, but both great, great people. I don't know. I don't know. He's hating on dragons specifically. I was just using dragons as a um as an example there. Or maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, but he's not into fantasy. But dragons are awesome. They are. But Kenny's like, Egh. Kenny likes football more, I think. 
but she, you know she's fine um <laughs> but anyway i hope you're doing well kenny uh and i hope squidge i hope we're not too distracting for you but um sorry i'll, I'll do you don't have to do redemptions do nudge me if you feel i've not had a, a little drink of water today because um i'm not as hydrated as i usually would be at this stage in the day i know you do kenny i'm glad i'm glad you do you know so, someone's gotta love it <laughs> um but yes i was just to say thank you to uh queen velvet text i don't know if she prefers to be just called queen on twitch she's uh i i mean i know as kiki uh because uh i mean in her panel she said my name is kiki so i'm like uh, yeah, I'm assuming you're okay with me calling you that. <laughs> so Kiki, she dropped. Uh, we raided her last night. She's very lovely, uh, and she uh, chucked a follow back. So I was uh, very gracious of her. Never need to do that. I don't do that if people raid me, not automatically. If I see people around, um, you know, making an effort and hanging around, I'll be like, okay, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you. And let me check you out. If you just see if you're doing that streaming thing. Um, but so what about if dragons played football? There we go. Best of both worlds. Worlds. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> several at least, Kenny. Yeah, that's. Uh, there you go, folks. That should be a sort of demonstration for you there. A man's love for his sport and and his team. Not only, you know, you, uh, on some level, because you know, I've been. Um, high as a kite before watching football matches and found it entertaining so i'm trying to allude allude to that on the stream but <laughs> um but listening to a football match commentary on the radio I'll let that sink in for a moment folks this is duct tape here this is my friend kenny it, that's that's dedication there i uh i uh i don't I um I watch a lot of podcasts. And I know the podcast format is primarily to be listened to. Uh, I don't know if I could listen to a podcast now because I'm just so used to w watching ones with video. Um, but uh, there you go, dedication, sir. I respect it greatly. But yeah, thank you for stopping in, Kenny. I hope you're well, sir. Um, so how long are you in Torquay for? But, um, yeah, do I have anything more to say? Oh, God, I did something horrible last night. Oh, yeah, you, you guys were the judge of this. And let me know what you think on this. Um, for your own perspectives. Um, of course, for most of you aware, it's, uh, it's getting into spider season now. And my brother mentioned that, um, he had, like, a bunch of spiders, like, running around his living room and stuff. And he's had to get rid of them and stuff. Oh, nice. Very nice, Kenny. Well, enjoy it. Enjoy that relaxation, sir, because uh, back to work on Monday, buddy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, enjoy. Enjoy it. Um, you've earned it, I'm sure. Um, but I've not seen any. But uh, yeah, I... Um, so most of you know, I used to be terrified of spiders when I was younger. Like proper arachnophobic. Um as I got older, it bothers me a lot less. I don't know why that is. Um, grow out of it? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But um, however, I'm not a fan of them. I'm not just like about have, about you know wanting to have them hang around and be my buddies or anything. Um, and if I see like a small one, I'm guessing not really going to get with the soundproofing in there. Not going to get in, coming here, but um. Small ones just hanging around the house. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, I'm not really bothered. Atheline. How you doing, my dear? Are you right? Good morning to you. Um, but if, you know, spider season is, you know, hunting spiders. You know, chunky boys. Uh, and that's what it is. I read this the other day. Um, you know, if you see spiders in the, this time of year coming in your house, doing stuff. Apparently, all, they're almost exclusively male. And they're on the hunt for, uh, you know, a girlfriend. Um. Uh, and it's like, bro, there ain't no lady spiders up in my bedroom. Nobody told you. Um, but yeah, it was super late last night. I was just reading, lying on my bed, 
and I just saw like a massive chunky boy just run across my carpet and I was like so I'm not like freaked out but I am at the level where I can't just ignore you and just go to sleep but oh it's a giant spider oh never mind I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to sleep turn the lights off now and go to sleep <laughs> no so I don't know how the, all of you feel about that but um I was really tired. I didn't really have the, any, the means or anything to capture it. So I just killed it. So I kind of feel bad that I just murdered it. But, um... I don't know. Don't make me a bad person. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is right and wrong. On one hand, you know, we sh you could kind of say you should, you know, life should be pre preserved and you should avoid killing things where possible on the other hand i wonder i kind of feel like maybe the universe isn't too worried about it like it's a consequence like it's kind of like just darwinism it's like that spider came into old isnib's bedroom in the middle of the night without an invite uh and got you know and got treated the same as any, anyone or anything else you know uh freaking scorpions Blech! See, um, scorpions were definitely scary because obviously they don't exist over here, uh, Af, and I've, um, you know, never had to deal with them. I've probably seen them at, um, you know, like tropical pet stores or, um, like, uh, shows and stuff where they have, like, exotic animals or even the zoo. Uh, I've seen scorpions in real life, but I've not, like, seen one in the wild, obviously, um, yeah, that's what you should do. And that's what I would have done had I been, like, downstairs here. It's just because it was, I was literally about to go to bed. And I, I knew it was one of those cases, if I'd walked out of the room to, like, go and get something to capture it, it would have been gone by the time I came back. Which is probably fine, because it's, like, out of sight, out of my mind. Except it's not. It'd be out of sight, most assuredly, in my mind while I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, so I squished it. Um, and I feel bad. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's, it, I see it as a case of Darwinism. So that spider who was looking to mate won't be able to pass on his genes. So they will be, you know, it's eliminating some of the, the let's go into Isnib's bedroom genes. Um, in essence, in a way. Not really, but you, <laughs> you see, you see what kind of what I'm saying? Um, I don't think spiders kind of carry that kind of memories of stuff like that along their genes, but <sighs> yeah, because I wouldn't usually do it. Yeah, usually I would capture them. I don't know. It's just I feel like see spiders being tricksy. Like um, a scorpion to me would be like it's like more solid. It's like a, a more of a thing that it's just there. Like if there's like a mouse or. You know, any or anything like that. Um, I guess obviously, um, I guess it depends on the spider. But I would assume that a scorpion is like actually more dangerous. But I don't know. I imagine some in, somehow in my brain, it's like easier to capture. I assume you don't just grab hold of them, Af. I assume you like grab them in some kind of container or something. But yeah, then you say you just put them outside. I guess if you just chuck them outside out your back door, they are less likely to just come back in but i'd be like i'm gonna walk 100 feet away from my house and then let it go damn so it's a particular type of scorpion around you or is there a, a, a couple of different types damn so you didn't die that's good but you, you'd get stung by one now was that in your attempt to remove one from your home or was that you just out and about and you, didn't, you know, you, you stood too near one or something. Not fun. Yeah, I can imagine. That nasty, like, venom in your... Um... Yeah, there you go. That's the way to do it. That's what I would do. Yeah. I haven't got, I haven't got a problem with that. And I guess... um, I guess most of them are probably on the smaller side. And that's probably more of an issue, isn't it? Because, uh, you know, they're harder to see. They can get in little places and stuff. Smarts, young smarts. Hey, thank you for that lurk. God, smiles, bless them. 
bless them for uh, dropping that lurk. I know they're busy, probably um doing all that uh, education thing. Yeah, in class. There we go. Yeah, we're doing well. We're doing well, smarts. I hope you are as well. Bless you. Thank you. Um. Wow, Atheline. <laughs> you should have been a comedian, my dear. You should have, you know, get writing some jokes. You know, you got some. I say you got some good jokes, but you got jokes. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'd be concerned if a, a scorpion was barking at me. Right, yeah. So that that's usually how it goes. I was just got I was getting that. I don't know if you like in uh, Scorpion Utopia where you were uh, situated, or if it's just a particular species of scorpion was very prevalent there. I guess it's for human purposes, it's kind of one and the same thing. Unless you're a scorpion enthusiast, then obviously you'd want to be um, in scorpion heaven, wouldn't you? What's the hell? Sorry, I've just missed that last bit. So a scorpion came into your house, was hidden away in your pants. You put your, and you didn't know. They were just like on the floor, on the side or whatever. And you're like, oh, time to put my pants on. And he was like tucked away in there. And yeah, of course, because the scorpion is like, oh. Now, you know. You know, I don't think I would necessarily want to sting you if your butt got pressed into my face. But, um, you know, scorpions are just, uh, you know, they're a little bit. They're not, um, you know, they're, they're doing their own thing, aren't they? Um, scorpion lollipops. Yeah, so I understand that technically they can be eaten. They're kind of in a similar, like, similar to, like, crustaceans in a way. Like, this, they're kind of like sea, they're like, like land seafood. I don't know if you want to eat a scorpion. I suppose if you just take the, um... You take the, uh, the, I guess the venom is just in the end of their tail, right? And so if you just take that off, and you crack all the shell open, there might be some meat in there that's worth eating. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so like a, a scorpion lollipop, they just kind of like... Is that, you mean it's just like a scorpion on a stick to eat? Or you mean it's um, it's like a gimmick confection? Oh, you can crunch through the shell too. My God. Now, I mean, <laughs> I'm glad that's not uh, on the cards for me. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Silly me. Let me get this coffee in for me. Um, I don't it gets too cold. Um, right. Okay. So it's like a gimmicky confection. Hey, you want a scorpion lollipop? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Cool. No, not really. But uh, as as I've never had that before, sure. Um. Weird. Petrol stations. I'm not even sure you, they exist. Um. Over there, Af what what petrol stations are there in Arizona? Tr like, that's that's how kind and caring is. Is yeah. Is Affeline. She will change the words that she will say to suit the people she's speaking to. I respect that, but yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is, I mean, it could be worse, you could be like one of these, what, um, what state was it that, um, the Ohio crew was telling me that, um, nearby them, they, uh, or maybe not nearby them, but they were aware of it, they, they, they were telling me about it, um, no case, because this, the Ohio folks, and this is, uh, similar to the people in the UK, at least where I grew up, they call her soda, pop, P-O-P, that's what I knew it as as a kid. I never heard the word soda. Uh, you're at pop. P-O-P. Because it's fizzy, isn't it? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Apparently that was an Ohio thing as well. Um, which I found extremely interesting. However, <clears throat> that's perfectly understandable and forgivable. What is not is uh, people who call all soda, all fizzy drinks, all carbonated drinks, uh, Coke coca-cola doesn't matter if it's sprite doesn't matter if it's mountain dew doesn't matter if it's anything else they just call it coke oh can i get you know it's like no coke is a brand i was like that's it was very disturbing to me but you know there we go but anyway 
I felt bad about killing the spider, but not bad enough for that. We're... I lost any sleep over it. In fact, I got more sleep. I wonder if the reason I got more sleep is because it's brethren. Um, you know, crept down into my lungs in the middle of the night, and that's why I'm a bit... <clears throat> <clears throat> a bit dusty at the minute. Um, let's see, I'm not against that because that makes sense, doesn't it? Because you get different brands, but a tissue is a tissue. There's different variations. But, uh, you know, if someone wants a Sprite, but they ask for Coke, I'm like, what, what universe are you living in? Jog on, son. You're in the wrong universe. This is not Coca-Cola universe. Go away. Uh... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, we we do something similar over here. Af, um, vacuum cleaners. Almost everyone calls them a Hoover because a Hoover is that like the, was in, back in the day the main brand. No, but almost no one. Some people might say, "Oh, I'm going to vacuum," um, but no one. I don't think anyone ever says vacuum cleaner. Um, everyone just says Hoover. Uh, I'm going to Hoover. Can I kind of pull out the Hoover? I need to buy a new Hoover. Um, even though the brand that's the brand and that's mostly long gone i think i don't know if you can buy if they even exist as a brand anymore um uh, but you know I, yeah so if someone says oh i want a kleenex and i'll give them a tissue that's not actually a kleenex but it is just still a tissue they're probably gonna be quite satisfied with that uh if someone goes yo it is can i have a can i have a coke and i go yeah there you go. and i give them a coke and they go no no i want a i wanted the sprite flavor i wanted the sprite flavored coke i'm like nah now you're just testing me aren't you now you just say now you're just playing games with the universe. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And in fact I'd um I think I'd even uh, heard that over here, Af, where someone would be like, Oh, when I was working in the library, can, oh, do you have a Xerox machine? And I'm like, what is that? Yeah, you know, copy machine. Oh, you mean a photocopy machine? Yeah, the Xerox. I'm like that well, I mean, I'm sure that's a very popular brand in the United States don't exist over here in the uh uk so we call it a you know a photocopy machine of course you can use it <laughs> um yeah all uh all very uh very curious uh, <laughs> uh but yeah no that's understandable it's all 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 i'll get now as long as you know what it is and it's fully um it's fully understood and everybody understands and is uh perfectly happy with it then it makes sense. Kleenex tissue. Xerox copy machine. Uh, you know. Hoover vacuum. It's fine. It's all fine. It all makes sense. Sprite is not Coke. A Fanta is not Coke. Unless they're just so, like... I don't know. I wonder what state it was. Or what area it was. I'll have to check with Scotty next time we uh, catch up with him. Um, they're just, like, so heathen that they literally don't care. I was like, I, I don't care. I don't want carbonated sugar water. Carbonated sugar water. That's all I need. You think I care what flavour it is? Just inject it in me. Fu in me. I was said a bad word. Yeah, it's a southern thing. Well, that, there's, I've, I, you know, I know people from the south, and um, you know, most of them are very lovely. Um, southeast specifically, is it? Okay. Uh. Yeah, they are owned by the Coca-Cola company, but that doesn't make any difference. Uh, but yeah, it's like, you know, it's like... Um, you know, I don't know. It's not like they've got the levels the wrong way around. They're like... Um, You know, it's like, uh, you know, say if you go into a restaurant, you're like, oh, can I, um, can I have the chicken, please? And they're like, and they bring, they bring the chicken and then they're, they're like, no, no, not that chicken. You know, ch chicken, the one, the, the one that, you know, comes from the cow. I want the, the cow flavored chicken. You're like, you should get out of here. Go away. You're trolling now, aren't you? Um, it's not their fault. It's what it is. Anyway, I think I've rambled enough. Um, like I say, bit of a bit of a dusty start to the day, but I think we should get into Skyrim. I don't know if I have too much more to say. 
but I'm here for you guys. Um, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's because you're, you're out west, Af, even though you're arguably more south than the south in some parts of the south. Yeah, it's weird, that, isn't it? That they, uh, descriptive words will be co-opted for only, like, half of their true meaning. Um, it's very curious, I find. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it seems to be very much in, um, very much in question exactly, uh, what constitutes it as well. So I guess the South is, uh, you know, it's basically everything, everything east of Texas, right? If you, you know, anything west of Texas, then you're just out west. You're like, we're south as well. You're like, no, you're not. Shut up, sit down. He's like, hang on a minute. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, when you were the Wild West, and then you just stuck with it. I guess it's still wild with all the scorpions running around. Anyway, what's your plans for the day, Af? Have you got, are they making you work today? Or are you choosing to work? Um, right, let me, uh... Let me get us over on Skyrim. I'm sure Jack is anxious for actually for me to shut up and we actually um do some uh, rimming. Oh, I'm sure that's come through. It's um, a bit oh, it has excellent. It's a bit a bit weird and finicky sometimes. <coughs> Yeah, I'm putting on the uh, fan. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm such a little bitch. It's too cold, it's too hot. <sighs> right, remember, I'm looking up there at you. You're there. You're right there, folks. Hmm. All right, so we just hit level five. It's middle of the night, kind of. Hey, it's Brian. How you doing, Brian? You're right. See, chicken's not even bothered. It's like no one's really um, upset. They're like, okay. This is, I guess, this is, again, this lends to the prevalence of magic. Not everyone has magic, and certainly most people are, you know, hardcore, like full-on, powerful mages, or even dedicated mages are few, few and far between. Most people just don't have the time to invest to get super good at magic. Um, but, um, uh, you know, if you just turn up and in roll into town and you have a freaking zombie following you and he's not acting aggressive, he's not making any noise, he's not saying or doing anything, uh, he's just following a, a random person around, they're like, oh, you're a mage and you've raised that corpse there to help you survive in the wilds. Okay. Everyone's uh, okay, okay with it. So, um, here we go. Um, yeah, we did a bunch of stuff around here. Oh my god. Um, lots more bunches of stuff to do. Um, so yeah, I believe we're heading. Yeah, across the, um, it can zoom in slightly. There we go. Yeah, I like, I love this, this new map here. So superior to the, uh, um, original Skyrim map. It's crazy. Um, there's also there's also a mod to have like a, a paper looking map, so it looks extra cool. But I felt um, the very detailed, uh, realistic uh, 3D map was um, kind of um, more useful for actually trying to get around. And I love the, uh, the actual detail of the roads as well. And so it looks like we're heading roughly this way, and this is White Run just here. Um. Oh, that Red Rand's Retreat. That's just marked on there for... That's just a random cave. That's where our, our random ambient quest got marked. No big thing. There you go. Oh, that's all the C's. Um, <clears throat> only other thing we got marked is uh, up here by uh, Winterhold. The Shrine of Azura. 
I don't know who Azura is, but they've got a they've got a shrine there, just as a little uh, rumor. Hey, you should probably go look at look at this place some point. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll do that. You can do that. Um, there's no clouds as well. Yes, the clouds have been removed. Got clouds on the edges here, Af. But um, you know, it was like we don't need the clouds around here. And you're like, you know, I we don't. I I want to see. Is that too much to ask? No, it's fine. We're having a little look. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Brian, what time is it? It's, um, okay, it's 9 p.m., but, oh my God, the moon and these uh, auroras, we're, um, I think we're, we're doing all right. Um, Oh, hang on. We've got a little um, group thing here. Oh, okay. So you can set groups of favourites. Now, I think this is like a keyboard uh, press. So I might not bother doing this in a minute. Plus, I'll be like messing around with it for a long time. Um, what I do want to do, though, I'm going to do a quick, quick prayer before we uh, head out. A little pray to Talos. Brian, you're not praying. Okay, he's, there's only so much we can ask from him. There we go. Not, uh, yes, I was going to say, aside from the uh, lovely moon and auroras, um, we've uh, got our torches now. We can actually see in the dark now. But that should be definitely be a priority for us. We need to find a um, <clears throat> some kind of basic light emitting spell. Or uh, some kind of like night vision kind of spell. Um, for when we're going to these caves and dungeons, um, we can manage with torches, but that's like f that's taking up one hand. Where I could have a shield, or we could be t using two-handed weapon, or that's an extra hand for magic or something. Um, so that's um, that's something we should try and work towards for sure. Hmm. Sorry, here's what I wanted to do. Um, and I noticed this came back to me. It seems like. There's roughly three types within your one and two-handed weapons. And this will come up more as um, we uh, find diff all sorts of different weapons and stuff. Um, there's kind of three tiers, which are kind of blades, axes, and then bludgeoning, blunt weapons, hammers, mauls, clubs, um, which progressively do more damage. So, obviously, your first thought is, like, I've, without even thinking about it, I've kind of done... <clears throat> is that oh let's just use the most damage but the advantage of course is i think they attack slower they s literally swing slower so let's not commit to this idea of only using uh you know hammers <laughs> throughout the whole playthrough I'll, you know it could be you know not a terrible idea to um mix in a sword or even an axe for like the middle of the road um we shall see we'll play it by air and a lot of it will depend on uh, what stuff we come across. In fact, we have some magic swords at the minute. And a magic axe as well. Yeah, 23. Uh, so maybe I should uh, switch that up. Uh, so it's 23 and 5 points of frost damage. This is 28, so it's not even that terrible, is it? I think I might try it. Um, that iron maul is, is served as well, but um, let's uh, tr let's try the uh, the axe. It looks cool. I like it. But retro. Uh, <clears throat> okay, there we go. We've got there's our ancient Nord arrows. Just wanted to check. So, right. So, um, ancient Nord arrows not as good as steel arrows, but slightly better. Than iron arrows. So that's good to know. But thank God, arrows in Skyrim do not weigh anything. You could argue that's like immersion breaking. I don't know. You, you guys tell me. But um, we shall see. Um, okay. Uh, right, that's interesting. 
So the Ancient Nord Great Sword of Chills uh, target takes five points of frost damage to health and stamina. Uh, Great Sword of Shards. Black Ice deals four points of unresistible frost damage to health and stamina. So I guess even though it's slightly less damage, it's, um, I, I guess unresistible literally means if you've got, say, frost resistance, yeah, they ain't going to work for you. Um, basically. So I'm going to, um, we'll, ro we'll try rocking that greatsword. And we'll try rocking the, uh, axe there as well. Hmm. I did an app. So I, f I, I tried them out. Uh, so you've, Firstly, you've got like an inbuilt one in um, Skyrim Anniversary Edition, the survival mode. That's the one I looked at, um, and uh, it was um, <sighs> it didn't seem to work. Basically, so your stamina drains when you're hungry, and then you eat food to remove the, the debuff on your stamina. Didn't seem to do anything. I ate loads. And I was like, what what, what even is this? So, at least uh, before now, we're, um, I remember we're going to add it in after the fight, but I don't know if um, the load order would appreciate that. Um, so, I don't know. So, I didn't think to go for that. But, um, Maybe we can. It just seemed, um, yes, it adds extra immersion, but I felt maybe for the sake of the stream, constantly having to check those things might not be ideal. But, um, I don't know. We shall see. Never say never, eh? Um. I, uh... I might switch in, um... The, uh, that iron armor there, I don't know. So I think, um... Because you're crazy. No, you're not crazy. If I was playing off, off stream, I probably would, Af. I'll tell you what, um, when I played, um, New Vegas... I played that with, like, kind of the inbuilt survival mode. Uh, you know, you just have to, um, you've got, um, a food, water, and sleep meter. And if you don't maintain them, you get de slight debuffs, and they're very easy to take care of. You find food around, you eat it, you find water around, you drink it, and when you, when you need to rest, you find a bed and sleep in it. I, I enjoyed playing, uh, Fallout New Vegas with that. It was, it was a simple enough it was like not a hassle um but it made like you know all that bloody um mac and cheese and um and scram that was uh hanging around in the world of fallout you actually had a use for it uh salisbury steak in a box <laughs> um you know rather than just being like worthless junk that is usually in a fallout game so i definitely uh, i did enjoy that um now there's something i just want to check quickly in my skills um Right, okay, yeah, so in this in this leveling system we have it seems to get skill ups for your armor you need to uh have a balance you have to have two armor pieces um so as we currently only have one, because you have four armor pieces you're wearing, don't you? Your body, hands, legs or feet, and head. So if we want to concurrently slowly level up both heavy armor and light armor, we are, we are kind of, regardless of stats, it would be in our best interests to level, you know, have to, at all times wear two pieces of heavy armor and two pieces of light armor from my understanding of reading this 
You gain a small amount of light armor experience when wearing at least two pieces of light armor in combat. So, um, you know, and you could go full in all, all on one or the other, but we're just, we are the build of no build here, folks. So, um, I think we'll do that. We'll, uh, so, I like our uh, feats. Now, that's the thing. It's tempting to wear uh, clothing, like mage armor. But there's no um, there's no unarmored skill tree, is there? <laughs> so, it's like, eh. Um, I like these two gloves we found. We'll probably hang on to these. But, uh, we need to find a place to stash these things, because, um... Yeah, uh, we shall see. Um, so yeah, we'll go for our Feath's Guild hood. I wonder if we, if it's, like, it's actually it's not like an official uniform. We just turn up and be like, yo. Hi there, guys. This is, I'm Izzy. It's my mate, Brian. We're a member of your guild. I don't know if you remember us from last time we were here. Um... Yeah. Magic regenerate is 50% faster. You can't just run around in your pyjamas, though. That's... <laughs> I mean, you can. If you're, like, you know, you're an arch mage, you can. <coughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, I was saying, we'll take the... Well, I love the look of that leather armor. It's very cool. The straps and the, the... You know, the pouch on the back. The buckles and, yeah, the pouches on the chest there. That was freaking cool. But for now, we're switching uh, some of this... um. Heavy armor. Um, not actually quite as defensive. So I guess um, the Feath Guild armor is pretty um, relatively uh, high grade uh, for light armor. Um, but we are getting a, an increase to health. So, you know, it kind of levels out, I guess. Um, but that gives us two heavy armor pieces, body and hands, and two light armor pieces, head and feet. So we'll go for that. Um, what else was I looking to do? Right, yeah, so our healing potions. Um, I think they're all good. Hmm. Some of these I definitely would like to uh, hang on to. We need, to, we need to come a, come across a place of um all right target is paralyzed for two seconds well i mean we can sell that uh <clears throat> um bible scrolls wonder if that's they're worth kind of probably selling i don't know if i'd think to get around to using them um We need to find a place to stash things. All right, yeah, you need to do something about your bare legs here, is he? It's cold out. Um, oh, sorry, that's what I was doing. I was removing um, Yori. I didn't seem the one time I tried that. It did not seem to work. Plus, I don't technically have enough magic to. Uh, Use it at the minute. Um, lesser ward. I can't think where I would be thinking to ch use that. So I'm going to unfavorite that as well. Um, oh, there we go. That's our... Um, that's that, the word we found. Unrelenting force. We found the word force. We don't know what that means. We need to find... Um, we need to find out someone in the know, some clever mage who can tell us what the bloody hell that's all about. Um. Uh. Yeah, yeah, the other Elder Scrolls, they dumbed down uh, Skyrim for the masses. Indeed. Oh, hang on a second. Hang. Oh, I'm getting uh, wires caught in my feet here. Not good. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, clairvoyance, we probably should not be uh, really needing at any point. Um, although I could technically uh, use that if I wanted to just kind of try and work skill up illusion. Um, there may come a time when we're just running, running from A to B, just spamming spells as we're going along. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, let's... F uh... No, we're right. No, that's um, favorite sparks, I guess. I guess we've come across any magic users. Then again, I might just ru bum rush them, and then it's not really an issue. Um, Like it. So I guess um your torches never run out. Alright, Brian, let's go. We're not scared of the night time anymore. Now we are make we're wearing this iron armor, we are kind of uh making more of a, a noise as we're walking from A to B, but you know I don't even know if I uh, need that torch out at the minute, honestly. It's pretty nice out here. Yeah, look, there's our janky mushrooms there. Never mind, though. Oh! wolves I'll see you there you want some do you me and Brian are gonna smash you up oh Brian wrecked it oh my god Brian wrecked them both he's one shot of them bro what a bro he is he's like I'll, oh, I'll kill these for you Brian oh god um I'm gonna leave um, uh, I, have to, I think uh, I'm gonna have to leave their pelts and their meat, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't really. Um, I'm carrying too much stuff. Oh, look, they killed the rabbit. Huh. Good job, Brian. But, you know, yes. Uh, <laughs> you say they uh, dumbed down uh, Skyrim. What, one thing I pr like better in Skyrim, half, I'll say this, than um, Morrowind or, Elders or uh, Oblivion, I prefer the open-ended levelling system in this. You don't have to pick, like, major and minor skills and the whole, you know, you can't even... If you want to max min min max you what you've got to which you shouldn't have to worry about that of course but you've got to um you know you've got to uh you've got to plan out leveling your character janky mushrooms yeah what is these are these logs wonder if i could um find the mod that is um Using these logs and get rid of it, but no. Damn! Look, there's White Run. Jesus, like a fortress or something. I love the water in this. It's pretty cool. Oh, a mud crab. A freaking mud crab nibbling on us. Bruh, who do, you, who do you think you are? I take its legs and it's chitting. Okay. So its legs are just for eating. Uh, I guess you can cook them. Um, <clears throat> should we just eat the legs right now, raw? Yeah, why not? Uh, and uh, mud crab chitting is a uh, alchemy ingredient. So let's eat one of those. And take the other one. 
My boy Brian, he's got my back. Look, mud crabs nibbling on my feet. That's the thing about Brian. Oh, hello. There's a sky shard. Now. Hmm. I don't. I'm not sure. I don't think I can really get to it from this side. Not easily. I can't really see it. Uh, I don't think I can jump up there. Um, unless I tried to cross in the rapids and then threw myself over there. I don't I think that would be the best idea. Um, honestly. We just need to remember that. I don't know if you can... Um, put little pins on your map, can you? Cust yeah, custom destination. leave it okay so you can a little blue marker but you can only have one at a time i'll remember that for later it looks like we'd have to um get up to riverwood and uh maybe just stay not cross over and just kind of stay follow the river down on this bank and then drop down to be safe i don't want to just yeet myself into the waters there we should remember that for later Right, we've got some uh, outlying uh, buildings here. By the looks of it. As you can see, white one is a big deal. Um, <clears throat> nice bridges. Sturdy looking bridges. You never know, it's going to be got like, treasure under bridges. That's like a thing, isn't it? I'm not going to go, like, hunting properly, but... Oh. That's a, a Nern root I can hear. Oh, there it is. Nice. So, I don't know if I'm... I should just save those. I know they're definitely worth getting. Right, what are these, uh... Ah... Honing Brew Meadery. Oh, and we're carrying too much stuff. Um, all right, now, all right. Just eat, have a little bit of food. I like these custom signs. They're very cool, aren't they? Um, so I guess they're probably closed at the minute. Requires key. Boilery. Okay. Oh, okay, so they make... Uh, this is a the place they make some mead. Oh my god. I'm getting... Uh, <laughs> too many alchemy ingredients. Um, yeah, so none roots are expensive. Oh, expensive. Uh, valuable. That's the word. Um... I think I just need to save them. I don't know if there's something special I need to do with them. Hmm. I just want to start chucking stuff on the floor. Um. I just don't really want to do. Um. There we go. It's locked. I assume it's just because it's uh, the middle of the night, right? You know, we might be here to buy some mead. Right? Or something. I should stop picking up flowers. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's do a little, um... A little test here. <clears throat> I'm going to just do a little wait. We've not done the wait uh, function before. Let's wait seven hours. Just stand here. Hey, I'm here to buy some mead. Wow, there we go. Look at White Run. That is clearly 
had some, uh, aside from the graphical overhauls, extra stuff has been added to this. God, it looks so much more impressive than I remember. Wham. Right, okay. Um, Are you open yet, folks? There might be someone in here who's, like, selling mead. No, it's still locked. That's a random soldier there. Hail! Two random soldiers. Can I talk to you, buddy? White run guard. Most trouble in White run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Wow! Uh, pleased to meet you, sir. Pleased to meet you. Uh. <laughs> Now, maybe this just place is just not open for business. You, uh, maybe it's just because it's 7 a.m. still. Let's wait a couple more hours. Uh, <laughs> oh, it looks so freaking good. Oh, hello. There, sir. Hi, Mark. If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. You can sell me somebody? Or is it, is it, um, an actual actual store here. So I guess they brew it next door. There we go. We just had to wait till the morning because they were just... I oh. trust you're not planning any trouble. No. Okay. So this is like... They actually run it as like a bar as well. An establishment. Yeah. I'm not planning any trouble, my friend. Welcome. Sam I'm the owner and proprietor of Hunting Brew Meadery. What have you got for sale? Oh, look, yeah, so he's got his lovely mead there. It looks good. Alcohol made with honey is, like, such a... Um, so very appealing, isn't it? Uh, unless you don't drink, then, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't really drink. Uh, it's got milk. Uh, a bunch of other stuff. Nothing, nothing too exciting. It's just food and drink. But we want to sell you some junk, my friend. That's what we want to do. I hope you're willing to buy some. Ah, uh, okay. Well, first thing I'll tell you, I my salmon there. He's only will it. Okay, so not every merchant will buy every piece of crap you uh happen to stumble across. That doesn't really help then. Right, then. Who are you? Malice you Matthews. something to do, or you just enjoy slowing down the hardworking folk? All right, let me make a little note about you, buddy. I'll be coming for you. At least we can uh, literally just sell in that salmon, though. We were. Uh... Let's go. Okay, so a meadery. At least you're friendly, buddy. Yeah, Honing Brew Meadery. Um, I th I think the uh, entrance to White Runs over in that direction. What is? Um, let's have a look around here. It's just like some little farm or something. Trouble in White Run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Wow. Okay. The guards of White Run. Oh. Don't do anything, buddy. Chill. Chill. What's oh, that Brian running across there? That's difficulty. Uh... <laughs> oh, we can take wheat. Uh. I don't know if I want to steal their wheat, and just because it's going to um, slow me down. The um, I'll say this about the um, the windmills, excellent. Uh, I'll say this about uh, there he is. He's like, you got, I can't, is he? I can't cross, uh, master. I can't cross water. Okay, you find a way around though, bro. Um. The guards of Whiterun, they're very, they're very diligent, good for them, but they're very aggressive as well. It's like, you know, calm, calm yourselves. Um, right, Chill Furrow Farm, locked. Hello there. Wilmoth. That looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Oh, he's like, no zombies allowed, jog on. Right, that's the manor, okay. 
Alright, um... Have a little look in this direction briefly. Of the windmill. Battleborn farm. Okay. Cool. It's the farmhouse. Alfield Battleborn. You could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Um, thank you. I think we're all right at the minute. Let's just pick these crops and then just essentially just. I don't think she's. It's like a quest. It's just a case of um. You could just take these and then you can sell them to back to her. <laughs> I guess is the idea. Oh, who's this? That spell looks dangerous. Brentlin. Okay, people are not really liking uh. Brian hanging around. Maybe I shouldn't take him into the city. What do you reckon? Should I dismiss him? I suppose we could always find... Um, I can always get a new Brian. We can get Brian Mark too any, any time, can't we? God damn. Can you imagine living in Skyrim? Look up. We see that every day. Um, so I'm not sure how I dismiss him. Um, I could use my dispel, or I can just smash him with my hammer. Probably. My uh, sword. Brian, thank you for your service. You have served me very well. Oh, he, he, he turned. He didn't want to upset him. He's like, you're gonna kill me, Master. At least don't look me in the eye when you do it. Okay. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, I just completely missed it. I. There we go. Yeah, precision, precision mod. I've got to be careful of it. Oh, Brian, I'm sorry. Interestingly, he doesn't turn to dust when I kill him. Nothing earn route. What the? Beg pardon. That's just a giant explosion I just heard. Picking up all these freaking earn routes. Uh, <laughs> um. Can we chuck away? <clears throat> Might should just drop one of these swords or something. Junk the warhammer. Of course. Is there a, I want to kind of I'd rather put it in a container because I don't want it. If I throw it on the floor here, it will exist on the floor here for the re the whole of the playthrough. Do you know what I mean? That's like one t although it would be a tiny thing. One tiny little thing that the um the game has to like save for a... ever. If that makes sense. Let's see if we can just get up in this little uh, shack here and stick it in a container. I could have left it on Brian, but hey ho. I should want to harvest the wheat. <laughs> I guess we'll. I've only got wheat in, growing indoors like that, I don't know, but. If I, have, if I have to throw it on the floor, I will. I'm not too worried, but. Oh, 
White Run Messenger Tower. Now, this sort of certainly wasn't here in vanilla. Ryan! How you doing, bro? I guess it's their guard tower, isn't it? I don't want to steal. Maybe if I, uh... A courier. Watch the skies, traveler. Right, yeah, dragons. The people know about the dragons. Hey, hey, hey let's check that. That's the map we just had, wasn't it? But there you go. Excellent. Okay, so it's a watch tower, but it's just essentially a room to hang out in. Um, Explorer's Guide to Skyrim. How you doing today, Ryan? Are you well, sir? Oh, I'll be, be stealing that, would I? Oh my god, I don't want to steal it. Um, okay, I'm not going to steal their money or their books. I just want to uh, gift them a warhammer. There we go. Perfect. You're doing very well, are you, Ryan? I'm pleased to hear that, buddy. Yeah, I'm as well. Oh, my God. The, uh, the weather turned. Isn't it? Oh, God. Nice and sunny a minute ago. This is uh, Skyrim weather for you, I guess. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm glad you're doing well, Ryan. Welcome in, buddy. Oh, who, who's going on here? Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Okay, something kicked off over here. That was the giant thing, but I didn't notice uh, what it was. Isle of the Huntress. You need to uh, step down. <laughs> I missed an event, folks. That was a big old bang was. Um, oh, I think there's um, there's a giant or something that was kicking off. Um Sorry, it didn't look like you needed help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. Right, okay. That's Sorry, I missed that, folks. My shield brothers. Okay. Oh, I don't like your attitude there, lady. Because you're using the assumptions. I guess she's been racist. She's gone, oh, you're a red guard. So obviously you're a warrior. What's a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. Okay. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Oh, mercenaries. So can I join? Which you uh, probably be like, well, after you didn't help us kill this giant. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. Okay. If you go to him, good luck. That's a... Uh... Speak with the leader of the companions at your Vasca Mead Hall in Whiterun. Okay. Okay, so they're just like... Okay, yeah, so he fought this giant here. Sorry, if I... That's what the stomping about was. So obviously that event happened when I got, like, about here. And I was just looking around. Oh, look at these buildings here. Yeah, never mind. Sorry. I'd have liked to have a pop at a giant. All the butterflies. There we go. People in this game, very demanding. Beautiful butterfly. I wonder what it tastes like. Let's find out. Nom. Fortifies your restoration. Uh... <laughs> I need to um, somewhere to start stashing all these alchemy ingredients. That's for sure. I want more farms. Blade farm. Oh, sorry, I've, I've interrupted their I've interrupted their lunch. Um Hello. Need something? Um Oh, did you need something? There's a nip in the air. 
Cold won't be good for my crops. It never is. Okay, this is their actual home. Okay, sorry, sorry, folks. Didn't mean to. <laughs> didn't mean to interrupt your lunch there. Roadhouse. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. A oh, cold. Okay. This guy's friendly. Hello, friends. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Um. Going through the Drink for the thirsty. Food for the hungry. Right, he sells uh, a food and drink. Um, anything new happening around town? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Ah, Jarl's bounty and giant. Okay, I'll have a look at that. Uh, heard any rumours lately? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Sounds like some crazy magic to me. Oh, look at the face sculpt from Riften. I guess there's maybe something to it. Um, I'm not going to go. I'm not here to steal things. I'm just curious. Um, well, thanks for all your hospitality there, Keld. I do appreciate it. I do need to be moving on. Oh, he's got a horse up. Is he telling the horse? I don't know. I don't know if we need a horse right at the minute. Um, what do I do? Oh, yeah, he gave me that little uh, note, didn't he? Yeah, Jarl's Bounty Giant. Started. Ode to the Tundra Striders. A giant outside, right? An option. Ask around town for alternative ways to deal with the giant. Okay. To able building men and women of white one. Now, isn't this a giant they just took care of? <clears throat> the giant's out of the city of, has a new chieftain who's been attacking and harassing travelers and traders. None has died as of yet, but it's likely just a matter of time. As we've seen before, after dealing with the chieftain, the rest of the clan will fall in line. Court offers a reward to any, for any man or woman willing to accomplish his feat. Okay. I guess that wasn't the giant they killed. Unless it was, but... Um, right, okay, that's related to the ambient quest we found, so not really too worried about that. Um, oh, okay, this is Arvel's journal I never read. This is the Arvel, Arvel who, the life we saved, and then he immediately betrayed us, and then Karma immediately yeeted him, uh, and we stole his armor. Um, yeah, my fingers are traveling. The golden claw is finally in my hands. With it, the power of ancient Nord he Nordic heroes. Yeah, I guess that's the weird word we for the f word force in ancient Nordish. We found. Um, Lucan Valerius and I did what his favorite store de decoration was actually the key to a bit Bleak Falls Barrow. Indeed, unlock the door. It says that there was a test that Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that. When you have the golden claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Yeah, that's a good little clue there. Um, yeah, I just happened to miss out on that. But we didn't need to, need to know it anyway, so it's fine. Alright, bro and his uh, carriage here. Good horsey. Your ride. Uh, what do you know about White Run? Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, oh, okay. And there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Manes and the Battleborns. You want to be careful there. Ah, I've already the met the Battleborns. Some, the some of them. Folk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. Hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? 
Ah, so this is our fast travel. Um, now, why all of these? It can take you lots of different places. Why some of them is charging 80 gold for, and some of them he's not charging any money for? I don't know, but um, we don't need to really go anywhere at the minute. The East Empire Company Warehouse. Ah, the East Empire Trading Company. It's featured in other uh, Elder Scrolls games. It's like, um, essentially the, the, the single largest, um, uh, independent, I think they're independent, trade company in all of Tamriel. And they've been around for centuries. And they're spread out everywhere. Um, so I guess this is their office here. Cust White, Rule, White Run Customs Hall. Okay. They'll buy some junk off me, I hope. Greetings. Good afternoon. Um. Anything happening in White Run lately? There were several Khajiit camped outside the walls of White Run. Seems they've been traveling around the whole of Skyrim, peddling their wares. Okay. Traveling Khajiit merchants. Keep an eye out for us. Um. What's the company stance on the war? The East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's borders. We try not to get involved in politics. One thing everyone can agree on, this war is bad for business. No doubt. Um, yeah, it's made your job more difficult. Exactly. Road patrols were cut in half because the Jarl needed soldiers. Now the bandits are bolder than ever. Hmm, it's a problem. Um, yes, on the off chance do you know a way to deal with giants without killing them no i don't think so no i was gonna say <laughs> can i sit here uh of course you can uh foxy foxy loxy toll on the merchants of skyrim let's hope that it ends soon for their sake indeed let's hope so uh thank you for following there uh, foxy how you doing welcome in are you a skyrim fan uh, you found us today um no, don't uh, don't apologize, Affeline. You do take care of what you need to. Soldiers all fighting in the war. There's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Yeah, well, that's what well, that's what we're here for. Killing bandits is uh, relatively prof dangerous but profitable work. Um, hmm? Stern. No, so the text there is grayed out. So just as a little example, I, I assume when the text is grayed out, there it means you're not going to get any new response, even though it's a different NPC. Let me just try. No. No, I don't think, think so. so. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you anyway, Stan. Yeah, why? I don't even know what we're asking. I don't know, um... I don't know that... We would be able to take on a, a giant chieftain at that. Uh, one-on-one -on -one at the minute. We probably wouldn't be able to. But I feel if you've got a giant problem, I don't know if... You, what, we're going we're gonna to bribe the giants, not hassle us. I don't know. What are we going to do about that? Uh, it's your favourite game of a genre. Fair enough, Foxy. I assume you're a fan of the genre. Um, and by genre, I guess we're, I guess we're talking primarily Bethesda games, being of the Elder Scrolls and Fallout series. I'm sure there must be other um, other games similar to this where they're fully open world and uh, you've got this uh, level of freedom. But yeah, so um, Foxy, yeah, just give you a bit, of, you know, background. I obviously. Probably like you and probably like most people. I, I got Skyrim when it was released and uh, loved it. Played it a lot. Uh, and we're now playing it for the first time with mods. All sorts of mods. So I'm hoping this doesn't break the play, th you know, the, the, the save file and things get too weird and complicated. But um, it seems alright so far. It's only our second day on it. As you can see, we just got to Whiterun. Oh my god, it looks freaking amazing. I'll tell you that. Um... And yeah, I don't know if any, uh, we're going to be doing this for playing. All right, right around stables discovered. Cool. Uh, we're going to be playing this for this week and probably the next two weeks. Uh, and then we're probably going to be dropping it down to one stream a week while we work on other things on the channel. Um, more than welcome to join us. Sky, we found another Sky Shard. Excellent. Cool. That's just finding three of those. I should give an extra perk. Yeah, three of 108. There we go. We'll find them eventually. But yeah, that's understandable. It's understandable. Um, Why well, would be a favourite? Some people prefer, like, the older Elder Scrolls. 
uh, and while they may add more in you know possibly the freedom aspects i feel the the overall uh polish and leveling system of uh of skyrim is superior i'm sure athlean would disagree with me on that but um yeah and i'm not sure which um setting i'll prefer out of uh the elder scrolls and fallout i like them both probably equally but it's hard to not enjoy fa you know deep fantasy is isn't it um what should we spend our perk on all the choices we put any more in archery at the minute no we need to we need to give uh, a point oh, actually if you look closely you can actually see um in the constellation the nodes the stars the nodes where um you can buy them at the moment based on your level are blue and the ones that you can't are purple is that pink would you say that was purple that was purple to me rather than pink but um it's kind of in the middle isn't it um let's put a point in sneak i guess doesn't hurt Probably a little bit more sneaky Nice. All right, the stables then. Yeah, they're cool, the horses. Corinda, pleased to meet you. A horse. Very original name for a horse. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laureus farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken leg. You see him laugh his way out of that. Oh, well, what's that we've just uh, picked up? Delayed burial. Apparently, it's a strange jester near the Laureus Lo farm on the road north of Whiterun. Would seem he's transporting a coffin in a cart. One of the wheels has broken off. It might be worth investigating. That's very curious, isn't it? I guess we'll do that. Sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthka. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? The thought did cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, that Mount Jester's. Skyrim's gone mad, girls. But you need to be careful out there. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skulvar. I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, right. All right. So she's uh off guard the I'm I'm broken. Think you can go blade a blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. Wow. You must <laughs> I don't want to actually start a fight with her. She might kill us. Uh you must really love to fight. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. Okay. That and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. Magenta. Okay. I'll take that. F. Um Sounds like you got a grudge. You've been talking to those companions. Too kind of. They oh. Weak, pathetic cowards. The lot of them. Oh. Why well, the companions rejected her? Okay. It wasn't my fault. I told them over and over that it was an accident. They wanted me to prove my worth. So they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess they thought a woman wasn't <clears throat> strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. Oh, damn. So she tried to join the companions. They had a little kind of uh, sparring... It's not quite to death sparring match. They got out of hand and she killed her opponent. And they're like, nah. I'll just try saying that. Did she try fighting me? And why not? I could beat anyone in this city. Barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Oh, in a brawl. Uh... I don't... No, I need the money. I don't think I can take her. <laughs> Snowback. Oh, all right. Whatever, Good. be a bitch. That time's over. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm glad they rejected you. Drug on, lady. Skullvar. Aye. Um. 
None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Okay. Now the horse I got for sale is that a good age for horses? Old, but in fine health, she's got a lot of spirit. That one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alxiger, or just Alley for short. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. How much though? Can I buy one? Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. A thousand gold. I don't even have a thousand gold. Suit yourself. Yeah, and that, even if I did have a thousand gold, I'm not, I'm not trying to buy a horse right at the minute. Um. All right, yeah, you jog on, lady. I'm so aggressive. Uh. <laughs> right, Maiden Loom Manor locked. Okay. Let's uh get into the city finally. It's Isla again, isn't it? Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. Um. Where do you stand on the war, Isla? Godlack says not to worry about it. I worry that a bunch of snowberries are out there earning glory while we stay out of it. But I will follow the old man's lead as ever. Okay, so she follows the leader. Um, so tell me about the companions. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters. Yeah, she's right. She said this, but. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Um, kind of like, I guess, like the Warriors Guild, essentially. Um, why did you join the companions? My mother was a companion, and her mother. Oh, wow. And all the women in my family back to Harati Blackblade. I stayed with my father in the woods until I was old enough for my trial. We hunted everything there was to hunt. Good training. Ma didn't out. live long enough to see me join, but I fight to honor her and all my shield sisters through time. Can I join? She's already said this. She, we've got to go meet the boss, and he'll look us in the eye and decide whether we're worthy. We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Uh, bro? Talk to Codlack if you think you have what it takes to be a companion. Right, Codlack. Okay. Well, thank you, Isla. Oh, um, indeed. Who are you, buddy? Hi, Ma. Oh, I've only met you, haven't I? Me everything he yeah. knows about brewing. Hopefully, I could take over his position someday. Yeah, he works at the, the uh, Honingju uh, uh, Brewery. Okay. Very impressive. All right, who've we got here? Basil. You need something? Um, not from here, are you? Ah, and neither are you, eh? Yeah. I see another red guard. I like to think we bring a little heat to this frozen wasteland. Uh, how's Skyrim been treating you? If you love history, you're in the right place. Skyrim is steeped in it. Yeah, no doubt. Um, okay. It's not great out yet. Let me try again. I see why the Nords oh, okay. like Skyrim. This crisp air is wonderful for the lungs. No doubt. You got anything for sale? He's a merchant. Take a look. Okay, he's got red guard clothing, which is cool. He's got gems for sale. Uh, Stross Mackay rum. Oh my god, that is expensive. Um, crushed amber. That is expensive. We don't. It's an alchemy ingredient we don't have yet, but. Right, okay, I can't buy anything off you, Basil. You don't really have anything I want, but maybe we can sell you some stuff, buddy. Um. Want some, some gloves, sir? Oh. Oh, he's he's got zero gold. What, oh my god, what kind of uh yeah, he doesn't have any money. Okay. Farewell. He's literally just selling. He's like, I've got stuff to sell. I'm not uh not buying anything. Okay. Need something? You're from Hammerfell. That's right. Home of the Red Guards. The land of sand and seas. The coin. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Yes. How's the life of a traveling merchant nowadays? The road to White Run's not safe these days. No. Lots of travelers just disappear south of Dragonbridge. Can't find a trace of them. And okay, going for sale. Take a look. Now he's got money. Thank God. He's selling all sorts of crazy expensive alcohol. Um. And he's willing to buy our junk. Right. So. I okay. I'm gonna stash our fishing rod just in case we uh. Can't use it. So I'm gonna, I'll sell this sword, as we got two of them. They do exactly the same thing. 
Um, don't imagine we'll need a steel dagger. And we'll we'll sell our maul. Um, we'll, I'm I'm fairly comfortable going with the axe and uh, our great sword. Um, so I wonder if I need to do like disenchant these or something. Or I don't know exactly how it works in this version of the game. Um, but we shall see. Uh, I'll keep the feed skilled armor though. Yeah, I don't really need the gloves. Though. I think the gloves are kind of um, not very good. I guess they um. Yeah, I'm never gonna think they're better, you know. So let's go with those. Um, aha, I've got some jewelry to sell. Right. Uh, I guess a lot of these potions are kind of useful. Uh, obviously healing and uh magic uh replenishment and uh, magic regen as well could be useful. But uh, these poisons don't seem very useful. Let's still get rid of those. Frost resist. Mm. 10% I think we can manage um then they're fireball scrolls um I don't know if I'm gonna get around to um to really using them I feel so um I want to just sell them I think um I want to keep all our alchemy ingredients now I don't think there's any books I need to sell I'm gonna try and keep a stash of books because I'm weird like that um, although, uh, I don't know that I need a note there. That's a bloodstained note from Bleak Falls Barrow, which didn't... Ah, wait, that might... I don't know what that's related to, so maybe we'll hang on to that for a minute. Oh, I've got a couple of gems. <coughs> he doesn't have enough money left. we will clear out his money. Uh, <laughs> I'm carrying a, a freaking uh, lantern as well. Get rid of that. And we've got a few soul gems, so we want to hang on to those. So everything else, I can sell the wolf's pelt, I think. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Until next time. Good pleasure trading with you. You sell that to somebody else and make a profit, hopefully. Hmm. I have a little of everything for sale. Come see for yourself. Oh yes, quite fine. My accommodations here continue to be just what I need. Okay. That's good. What are your thoughts on the war? This war is such nonsense. All this fuss over their false human god. No. An archer, eh? I've got just what you need. Have you? Um. Spring steel bow. Same, uh. Same damage as our imperial bow. Hunting bow. Okay. And he's got. Oh, I will buy those lock, two lockpicks off you, buddy. Okay. Well, we've already got a, a bow. Mm -hmm. We've got anything better. Alright, he's uh, got with a wonky leg there. But I think we can uh, forgive him of that. Um, hello, sir. Hmm? Um, how's travel these days? Most of the Hold's fighting men committed to the war. Hey! There are fewer swords to keep the road King Gudon, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Beasts. Do you know where to deal with a giant without killing them? Of course. Of of course, he says. Of course. Oh, really? How? It's all in this note. Oh, he's giving us a note about it. Okay. What are you going to say? Okay, well, this, this guy, he's just like... Uh... Oh. How curious. So the things that this guy is selling are things that I've just sold to that other guy over there. I wonder if this NPC here, whether he's uh, next time. an original NPC or a custom NPC, he's like the buyback merchant. Like anything you sell to somebody, he you can buy back off him, if that makes sense. Interesting. Okay. And this is not the way into the city, but oh, that is up there. <laughs> I've got all sorts of weapons for the discerning master. Oh, okay, that's just little guard posts up there. I 
I thought these little flowers would be useful to uh, make some kind of potions or something. Alright, here we go. This is like the proper gates by the looks of it. Oh. Homies. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Uh, I have news about the dragons. That's a persuade attempt. Will this change your mind? Give them 110 gold. Stand aside or else. <laughs> uh, what? We're going to fight him? We're going to fight him and all his buddies to the death, are we? <laughs> Seems a little uh, inappropriate, to say the least. Um, uh, oh, Riverwood calls for the Arles aid, which it does, which is what we're our true reason for being here. But I'll um, I'll try it as a persuasion. I don't need to say that. I have news about the dragons. Fine. There we go. But we'll be keeping an eye Speech, on. Speech uh, level up, nice. Okay, but before uh, we talk, do about that. Um, Looking for my husband Nazim. Check the Jarl's backside. Oh. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days. Oh, okay. Uh, she's having uh, troubles with her husband there. Okay. Here we go into what one. I'm gonna um step away for a minute, guys, because of my um not get me getting sorted out properly in due time today. Well, I started stream early, but just on time but there we go we're in white run um but uh i've not had uh i'm not up to date on my coffee so uh i will take a three minute break just to make coffee i'll be as quick as i can folks and we'll um we'll carry on uh where we left off let me a sec
Joel. All right there, Joel. How you doing? Are you well, sir? How's the tour? Are you back home now? Thank you for those bitties. You need to do that. You don't need to give me bitties for coffee. If you come over here, I'll, I'll give you whatever you want. Basically, Joel. You don't need to, you know. How you doing, lovely? God, it feels like it's been an age, sir. I do miss you, Joel, but I know you're very busy. You'd like to be a real adult and also a rock star. So it's like, you know, whatever. But you know I'm always here for you, sir. Don't ever, don't ever doubt that, okay? Because I know we don't speak like that often. You know, I'm always here if you need me. How are you doing, Joel? Are you, are you a Skyrim fan, Joel? I'd be shocked if you weren't, but... Some people aren't. Some people are... Uh, it's it's uh, strange the past few days. Some people are like, oh, I've, oh, no, I've never played Skyrim. Oh, I played it for 10 minutes, and then I was like, yeah, I'm not really feeling it. And there's, like, people like Tubes who are like... Tube was like, yes, I played Skyrim. I played it for a thousand hours. I maxed out the character and did 100% of the game. And I made several spreadsheets about it. And you're like, okay. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> you've been back, have you, buddy? Excellent. Yeah, play catch up. Bro, life is just a, a never ending process of playing catch up. So I don't stress it. All right, that's all I'll say. Don't worry about it, buddy. I know, I know that feeling. There's too, one, there's too many people to keep on, on touch, you know, keep up with. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, just never, just do whatever you can whenever you can, buddy. You know, don't, don't worry about me. You just do whatever you got to do. You know, I sometimes think, I, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm almost, I think I'm past the thought of, <laughs> That weird, like, nagging guilt. Like, oh, my buddy's streaming. Oh, 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 I'm not there. I missed it and all this. I'm... It's not I don't give a shit. It's just, um... It's not realistic. Do you know what I mean? If I was in every, everyone's stream, of everyone I stream I want to be in, whether it's because I'm literally sat down enjoying their, what they're putting out, or, you know, I just want to be there for support, it's not even possible. It's not even possible at this point. So, uh... You know, just do your own thing, whatever that may be. And, uh, you know, just uh, just be part of the zeitgeist of this Twitch streaming thing and wherever else it is. Because it's, it's more than that now, I feel. It's, um, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Jesh! All right there, young Jesh. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome in. Um, You never did. There you go. Exactly. There you go. There's another person. Never played uh, Skyrim. There's Joel there. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, because of the nature of the game, uh, Joel, it's a very... Um, it's very easy for people... Like, Having said that, yeah, I think Tuba said he'd never actually finished the main story for everything he did in the game. It's, But yeah, I think generally speaking, if, some, if someone does, like, does play Skyrim for like a few hours... They usually do end up getting sucked into it for several dozen hours, and then, you know, but um, yeah, yeah, no, I did as well, Joel. I was like, ah, oh, I'm missing this person's stream, and then I'm like, I've I've had to take a step back and think like, what well, all these thoughts and feelings I'm having about being guilty for not being there or whatever. I'm sure everyone else is feeling the same as well, and then it's like. We all have this, like, unspoken understanding of how it is. And then once you understand and accept that and embrace that, then, you know, you prioritise doing whatever you personally need to do yourself first. I mean, I've, I've bloody written it all out in the, um, in the conflux, like, um, you know, ethos, the community guidelines. Just need to pay attention to it a bit more. That's... <laughs> uh, Kitty... Oi, all right there, Kitty. Say good evening. I suppose it technically is evening, isn't it? It's for you. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there for me. I just kind of uh, just got up and running. How you doing, Kitty? Are you a Skyrim fan? I know you like uh, your um, deeply involved game games, don't you? Yes. The name's Keen. Nova Keen. <laughs> yeah, I know you love you love old games. Uh, quite well, are you, Jesh? I'm pleased to hear that, buddy. Welcome in, my friend. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly, Joel. That's what how I feel. There's that a deep, unabiding love there for this thing that the Twitch streaming is at the core, 
but the what it actually is really is the people you you've met and the friendships we've uh, made and the connections we've made but never feel uh <laughs> joel bless you you don't have to chuck bitties i'm just pleased to see you here. um but there's um with the amount of people and the interconnected relationships and you know some people um you like very close to and you speak to them like you know every other day or on a daily basis or frequently um you know and then there's uh, other people don't necessarily speak to a lot or you know but that's um it's all perfectly good fine yeah life my god i i, I, have, I do have a dream though joel that there could be a version of life where the personal stresses of existence of just survival were kind of taken away and we were all at liberty to uh, follow our own creative pursuits, whatever they may be. I um, I would like to see a world like that one day, but um, you know, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, how was the tour? Was it was it fun? I'm, I can't even imagine being a rock star going on tour, but um, <coughs> I imagine it's like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a double-edged sword. You've got the extreme fun and enjoyment of um playing live you know on a stage live audiences like the hype the energy of it and then on the other side of that sword you've got the constant travel sheep sleeping in uh sheep <laughs> sleeping in shitty places um you know crazy wild off the wall diet you don't know when you're eating what you're eating is it good for you you know um constant stress constantly on the go um you survived, sir, as I know, as you have before, and I know you will again. Um, uh, stream elements. Oh, is it, was that? Oh, that was the alert for the twenty bit. Is a minute ago. I don't know. Yeah, it's been slow today, obviously. Um, you. Oh, there you go, Key. You've not played Skyrim, but you played a lot of Oblivion. Uh, Oblivion. Oblivion. Yeah, I have played both. Um, how to compare them off the bat, uh, Key? I feel oblivion has got a f even more of a fantasy vibe to it than uh skyrim skyrim's a little bit more like rugged um story-wise it's set 200 years after oblivion and obviously it's set to the north of cyrodiil in skyrim but um you know essentially they're the same game the um, i know people who love oblivion more but i think skyrim's my favorite um yeah, so yeah, I know nothing about Elder Scrolls 6, as I guess nobody does. Uh, and we have no idea when it's even going to be released. But yeah, I am excited, but also somewhat nervous, Key, uh, because um, firstly, any Bethesda game on the, the... Well, maybe not nervous. Nervous and hopeful. Nervous because any Bethesda game, when it's released, is a janky mess. Um, nervous because... I feel how Bethesda, what they did with Fallout 76, how they treated it and the release was an absolute shit show. And they should, Todd Howard should be ashamed of himself. I hope he is he still, when he looks in the mirror, he's like, oh, I, I feel shame for the things I did and said. Maybe he doesn't, maybe he doesn't care. Um, apparently the game's fixed now, but that's not the point. Um <clears throat> uh and a, a slight bit of nerve in that i don't know what they're going to do with the setting of the game are they just if they're just going to pick just another uh province of tamriel and go hey elder scroll six black marsh you're going to be like oh okay cool going to black marsh that's cool i i don't know if it's too much to ask i want them to do the whole of tamriel in a single game i make it insane the most insane game um and i don't think they're going to do that so that's why i'm nervous about that what i'm hopeful about is since that uh these fallout 76 debacle um they of course bethesda has been bought and they are and it is now owned by microsoft now microsoft are obviously not uh paragons of justice and excellence but they do do a lot of good things i love game pass and i do believe that there is people at microsoft uh, at xbox who are doing their best 
to put out good product. So I feel maybe with a bit more um, of Xbox's oversight of Bethesda, they might do a good job. So I guess we'll continue this discussion 10 years from now, Kitty, when it's released. We shall see. <laughs> uh, you do have Skyrim, so I can't comment on Switch, but um, we are playing it, Kitty, on PC and is modded up the wazoo. Uh, and so far... We had a couple of hard crashes yesterday, but it seemed to be a weird anomaly. We soon got back in, and everything seems to be running very well. Um, yeah, that are key. Yeah, I have faith that it will be different this time. Take the time with it. We'll see what they do. Um, yeah, Joel, that's a problem. Um, one good thing about a, a, a disc tray that won't open is it's almost definitely a mechanical issue. Uh, so it's not like electronics are necessarily broken. Um, it should, for somebody who knows what they're doing, not me, somebody who knows what they're doing, it should be a relatively easy fix. I guess the issue is if you take it to a professional, they're going to charge you like $100 for a five minutes work. That's the only problem. Um, um, no, and definitely, definitely Xbox isn't, even though, um... Yeah, PlayStation is far more popular, I feel. Um, but I feel Xbox does very well for themselves. Maybe not with their new consoles in the fact that I don't know they're really bringing too much more to the table. But I, I freaking love Game Pass. Uh, I don't currently have it at the minute, but I feel that they do a much better job with their Game Pass than any other, like, gaming monthly sub service. Um... There's only one exclusive game on PS5. Well, I mean, if there was ever one game, Kitty, that would be worth getting a PS5 for, I don't know. I never played Demon's Souls, um, but I love the Dark Souls trilogy. Uh, and I've, for years, uh, dreamt about having a PS4 just to play Bloodborne. Um, and now I can add dreaming about having a PS5 to, uh, uh, you know, potentially play uh, <laughs> Demon's Souls. But, um, one day we'll get there um yeah the, god everyone's trying to track down the ps5 and then people were fighting for them and then you're like oh is it worth it i'm just, i'm still looking forward to plugging in my ps3 at some point but never mind <laughs> um of course of course yeah and that's the thing i one day, yeah one day i'll play um the final fantasy 7 remake Looking forward to that. Uh, it's on PC, is it now? Uh. So Final Fantasy 16 will be timed exclusive on PS5. Yeah, that's it. I don't mind timed exclusive because then I, I'm quite patient guy. I'm quite a fairly patient gamer. I don't. I'm not someone who needs like games as soon as they're released for the most part. I'm very um, happy just waiting for things to be released. Um, <clears throat> um yeah no it all makes sense but um you can't finish the game on ps4 Ooh, that's a bit weird isn't it but i suppose in their minds kitty they're like this is final fantasy 7 remake part one a completely separate game to part two they're two different games Whereas in your mind, Kitty, you're like, well, no, this is just a continuation of the, the, the first game. Yeah, it's a weird one, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird way of looking at it. I suppose from their point of view, they're like, no, this is two separate games. Deal with it. Whereas you as a fan, you're like, no, I know Final Fantasy VII. You know, I know how Final Fantasy VII starts, and I know how it ends. So until I get to the end, it's all one game. And they're like, no, it's not. It's as many games we say it is. And that it's going to be on as many consoles as we say it is. And you will give us your money for it. So shut up. <laughs> Let's hope so, Kitty. And that's the thing. I'm someone who, even if I don't play Final Fantasy VII Remake for the next 10 years, that's cool. That's, it'll give us something to do. I, I can remain a variety retro streamer far into the future. You know, when we play... Uh, <laughs> we'll just play any... We'll play any game... As long as it's at least ten years old, and then we go. That's how we take it. <laughs> that's how we. That's how we do retro around here. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Joel. Yeah, to because I know I don't. I, you know what? And this is saying a lot. Slick Mick, Squidge, uh, and many, many other people um, are gigantic lovers of Final Fantasy VII. I think Joel there may be the person who has the most possibly the most love and um once i want to say use the word obsession I'll, you can decide for yourself joel but uh, joel is very very into the story characters and worlds the setting of final fantasy 7 he's um he's, and pre pretty damn knowledgeable about it as well so um so for someone like joel that especially sucks he's like uh, i want to play this uh, i've got to buy a ps5 uh, that's expensive and also i don't even know if i can get hold of one it's like <sighs> I'll do this to him. Okay, uh, I know you're quite obsessive with some things, Joe. I didn't want to. Call, I didn't want to just call you out, but there you go. But by, by the man's own words, he is obsessed about Final Fantasy VII, and you know, and why not? Um, you know, <laughs> mm. definitely key. Yeah, because because uh, they, they were the changes they uh, make to the overall story and narrative of the remake. I, I from my understanding, the game it does stand alone. You know, you do play the game. Not only do you get, like, a full game's worth of content, gameplay, you feel like I've played a full game here. Um, the narrative wraps up nicely enough that you're like, even if there's never anything more of this, this is good enough. We we'll just have to see. Um, yeah yeah like an like yeah trials of man so like like an actual just a a, a a literal remake like you know just upgrading graphics um tightening up gameplay uh adding you know dialogue maybe rewriting the dialogue slightly no i'll get that key i get that I, and i to i do appreciate what you're saying there and i think a lot of people would have enjoyed that um but you know the um, Square are gonna do, you know, Squeenix are gonna do what they want to do, and they've they've have a history of uh, pushing the boat out, don't they? They will, they do take chances. If you look through the Final Fantasy series, almost every single entry, they ch change something up. They go, here we go, we've made a very successful game that sold a lot of copies, and we know we can put out, uh, you know, an, a, another version of this game that's um, mechanically identical, and we'll make money. But they go, no. No, what can we do to the system, the game system, to change it up this time, uh, or, or just the general ethos of the game? Uh, and they do; they always do do that. So, and I feel that is their strength. That is Squeenix's strength. So, you know, sometimes they miss, but I feel like overall, more often than not, they they hit the mark and they do very well. So, we just have to see. Uh, we have to see what comes in in the future. Um, Exactly, and you know there will be Joel because that will sell. That's what I'm waiting for. Ten years from now, when the full complete thing is available and on PC or even Xbox or whatever, whatever that I've got to play on, um, and it's there ready to go, and that's what we'll go for. Um. <laughs> exactly. Um. So there you go. So. You Birds of a feather there, Kitty and Joel. Um, best JRPG ever in history. I mean, I'll, I'll say this, Kitty. I don't strictly agree with that. But it was one of my first ones, if not the very first. It, it, well, I guess it technically wasn't the very first, but one of the early ones. And it did open... How, how old? I didn't get a release. I think it was like um maybe a year after. So my like 13 14 year old uh isnib brain my tiny little mind was blown i was like oh my god this is so involving so um so evocative it's just you drawn into the story you're drawn into the world uh and of course that solid very satisfying um turn-based combat and leveling system material system in seven you like it's you, you couldn't I, when I was playing it, when I was a kid, I, there's nothing I could have asked for more from that game. And it still holds up today. Um, it 
interesting yeah so but yeah i heard people at school tell me about it uh joel like, oh have you played final fantasy 7 and i'm like i never even heard of it i was like what is that uh but i was one of these people who didn't get a playstation uh so all my friends had playstations and i was like oh my god i think i need to get one for this for this game based on what i'm hearing and y yes i did and i did and you know it was all good um anyway but yes keep talking about final fantasy 7 don't uh hold back on that we need to be having a little look around white run there bro cause trouble in white run and i'll haul you into the dragon's reach dungeon myself again all the white run guards are very dedicated uh <laughs> and slightly ag aggressive but that's one but we must have more swords for the imperial soldiers i just can't fill an order that size on my own why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask your land great oh God, how many people are in there <laughs> <laughs> i'd sooner bend my knee to ulfric's storm cloak besides gray Mane would never make steel for the legion have it your way i'll take the job but don't expect a miracle right okay so many people so many things going on all right so got blacksmiths here titus it's not as bad as before i still can't get a good night's sleep oh that's not good buddy what are you doing that for i'm sorry i'm not trying to get aggro i'm just trying to use the smelter here buddy so i've got um i need to make charcoal oh you can make gold ingots from money can you a lot of money too much money you don't want to do that uh i just need to oh you can make iron arrows into iron ingots pickaxe um no i didn't i thought i might have had some ore i do yeah the corundum ore but i need more I need more corundum ore okay i'm just uh i'm just looking around my friends cool. and uh pruning the vegetation guard barracks we've got no reason to be in here let's go have a little nose um <clears throat> i need the bath oh no we, we just went swimming a minute ago uh <laughs> okay it's literally the guard barracks just uh where they're just going to sleep when they're not on duty okay uh war maidens okay got something for just about everybody in here give a holler if you have any questions weapon store here we go welcome to war maidens now you my girl have definitely come to the right place okay let's well, see what you got my friend weapons and armor damn you have uh iron sword of dawn scorchers undead oh oh scorch dawn is that like light damage essentially that's what it sounds like um okay it's got a bunch of steel weapons Uh, quarter staff. They were not in vanilla. That's cool. I don't know why you'd necessarily want one over, say, uh, an actual warhammer, but never mind. Um, let's look at his armor. Oh, that's pretty nice. 1,100 gold. Ah! No, I we'll, we'll think we'll skip on that. Um, all right, so he's got um, various. Uh, iron leather steel kind of stuff um oh gauntlets recharging recharges weapons i guess that means magic weapons i assume oh, various shields iron reinforced shield reinforced shield that's pretty nice i like the design of it as well but um barbarian boots no i don't even need those in fact they look very similar to iron boots but they are worse and more expensive oh no, they're light countless light armor huh? i'll see i'll see um there you go he's got uh various crafting materials for uh like dwarven metal mm -hmm, okay silver ingot and silver ore uh, again, I'm going to buy the uh, lock picks. He's only got one. Okay. Um, I think we got anything to. We sold all our junk, didn't we? Right at the minute. 
Um, who forges your arms and armor? Adrian, at her forge, just outside. Place is named after her, War Maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? Um, indeed. Who's in charge of Whiterun? Now we know it's, uh, Jarl Balgroff, but I just want to get, uh, Ulfberth's, uh, opinion. That'll be the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. He's an honorable enough man. Never done wrong by me or my kin. Okay. Things are tough for him now, I'd wager. What with the fighting and the dragons. But Balgroof's a tough old Nord. He can handle it. Excellent. Um. <clears throat> treat yourself, Joel. <laughs> That's all right. Well, we've got a, a, a business bunch you. of stuff anyway. My uh, my only problem with games like this is uh, if you see something nice, and you should never like hold back. Of course, if something seems appealing to you. But uh, you'll um. Everything you see here was made with skill and care by my wife, Adrian. Ah, they married. Okay, well, that's that's the vibe I got. I just wanted to confirm. Um. Uh, you you spend a bunch of money on something, and then the next dungeon you go to, you'll find something better. That's the only thing. Right. Okay. Well, I guess your wife kind of wandered off. She's not at work at the minute. In fact, um, ah. It's the evening's coming on. So, um... We should see. Oh, is he, uh... He's, he just left the store, has he? Oh, he's probably locked up the store for the day, hasn't he? Of course he has. Of course he has. Right, that building requires a key. Laugh of the feeble. Okay, so I think... We're, um... Might need to, um, if you want to go check in, in people's houses and go around and meeting people and such. I might need to, um, there's Isla. There's Honda Tower. Um, I need to just wait for it until morning when people wake up again. All right, missive board. Now this is, um, these, uh, this is a mod here. We've got side quests. Uh, there you go. Deliver a letter to Rorikstead. Gather a chicken eggs. Gather gold ore. Uh, retrieve an heirloom from Green Spring Hollow. Um, the basically ambient uh, quests. Uh, never ending. They respawn. It just gives you something to do if you don't have anything to currently do. Uh, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Um, so yeah, this is um, not annoying, but... What's this place here? Uh, the Drunken Huntsman. Okay, let's get in here and get drunk. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Okay. Thank you, friend. Who... Need something? Talk to my brother, Elrendil. Oh, I got lots of folks here. I've been thinking Hello, of hunting out the army. In the market for some hunting supplies? Um, may... Probably not, but let's answers. see what you got. I've got just what you need. Business has been terrible. Most folk would rather hunt their own meat than buy out. God, he's got... He's got loads of stuff. Um, he's got some magic bows as well. Interesting. Um... It's almost just as much armor and uh, and weapons as the, uh, the the weaponsmith. Uh, I don't think we need to buy anything though. Um, yeah, why the drunken huntsman? Yes, I hear that question often. Uh, my brother Anoriath and I came up with it one night after consuming <coughs> rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. Oh. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. <laughs> After such a memorable His brother shot him in the ass. knew we had the name for our shop. <laughs> um, who should I talk to if I'm looking for work? Try Holder, the innkeeper at the Bannard Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. Okay, cool, thank you. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much for your business. Alright, that's another entrance there. 
I'll be sure to check talk to random stranger off my list of today's tasks. Wow, what a bitch. I'm really not in the mood. State your business or take your leave. Uh... Wow, what a bitch she is, Igna. Uh, I'm looking to help the citizens of this city in any way I can. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can help me. Okay. I think we may have a problem in the basement. Been hearing a lot of scurrying down there lately. The rats in your basement. Uh, what's in it for me? Uh, now I ain't some damn rat catcher. I'll have a look. Yeah, what's in it for me, lady? If you can talk to me like that. I can pay you. Okay. That's all you had to say. I'll have a look. Of course. Oh, okay, she's giving me a key to her basement. Deal with whatever's... Oh, no, hopefully it's just rats. Can't think where it is. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Joel. I appreciate it. You get to work, buddy. You get anything you ever, you ever need anything, so you just get at me. I've got all the time in the world for you, bud. Um, right, okay, that's... Still getting used to controls up now. Uh, a rat problem. Okay, let's mark that. I assume she doesn't mean this basement. I'll be happy to assist oh. you if you'd like to purchase something. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my Oh, crops. okay. Was this Never the family else. that were... All the, all the workers that were out at the, uh, the, uh, the farm? Blade and shadow. Janessa. Silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art. If you have need of hunting supplies. You're most there. I am an artisan. Oh. Painting in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. But yes, I will take coin to fight at your side. After all, where is the value in creating art if there is nobody left alive to see? Wow. I think she's killed several people. 500 gold. Not too bad. I think that's a one-off cost with uh, mercenaries. Eh, uh, maybe another time. change your mind, seek me out here. Yeah, Janassa. Fair enough. Fair enough. Amran. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. I'm sure we can do um... Is he arguing with someone? I missed that. Were you two arguing about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Right, his father's sword has been stolen. You need help with it? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Father. I find Amran's family sword inside a bandit cave. Okay. You're not from Skyrim, are you? Ha! And neither are you, eh? Yeah. Good to see another red guard. I like to think we bring a little heat to this frozen wasteland. <laughs> you said it yourself. Uh, you're not the first person who said that. You find that sword. Red guards like is that the red guard saying? Dragons. You want to go out and fight dragons? Or you completely off your nut? Come on, father. How hard can it be? Or just. Big how lizard. how hard could it be to fight dragons? No scales and teeth. They must be worth a fortune. Big lizards. Why, sure, your mother gave birth to a half witch. That is the end of this discussion. Uh, bro, you don't look like a warrior, really. Need a horse? Talk to my father, Skolvar. <laughs> wow, okay. Interesting peeps around here. If you have need of hunting supplies, then you've come to the right place. Okay, and I guess we probably rent that room there. Oh, okay, back out into what? <clears throat> Metapod! How you doing, bro? Are you well? How's uh, how's Mr. Metapod? Is he alright? Oh, Bright Flower Bakery. Okay. Well, uh... I have to, I have to wait on some of these till uh, this morning. Um, let me, um, okay. Okay, so her house is in the, the city here. Might head down to the meadery later. Uh, Bellathor's general goods. Arcadia's Cauldron. Magic or alchemy shop, maybe? Something bad happens, word spreads. More bad oh. things happen, what? people worry. Oh, it's busier. Busier in town here. I have to admit, 
This is more fun than I thought it'd be. Uh. Sure, I'm a little green, but what I lack in experience, I make up for in courage. And that ain't just me. It's the capital of White Run Hold, the biggest and best of the nine holds of Skyrim. But don't take my word for it. Okay. Um, do you know anything about the big tree by the temple? I assume you saw the Gildegreen. Big tree, all burnt up in the middle of the Wind District. Not it's yet. It's part of the Temple of Kinnereth. People want Danica to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, friend. Heard there were wolves on the road up north. Not about up north, north, down south, certainly. You're doing pretty good, are you, Mel? Uh, Metapod families. <laughs> when I saw you the other day, your husband, uh, <laughs> the two of you together, uh, is very amusing. You should get him streaming, Meta, with you. I guess he wouldn't want to do it himself, but I don't know if that's something you want to do. I don't know if that's something you would want to do with him, but I think I don't know. I think that would be really cool. I, I for one, would like to see that. But he's not really into, he's not into video games, is he? Um, I don't know. I'm just. Certainly don't feel you have to. Nice to well, I think that would be quite cool. Huh? Um, what are your thoughts on the war? I suspect the treaty that ended the you, war... So you want him to, but he doesn't want to do it. So the Thalmor can rebuild their armies. I, I don't know. Yeah, when he put, cause I've seen, That's not the first time I've seen him pop in and, like, pass comment on something. And you seem to... Even when it off cam, you know, you seem to, like, have a good rapport, obviously. But, uh... I don't know. I don't know if this is not something you can attempt him to do, but he's not into any video games at all, is he? So it's not like you could even be like, because a lot of people, they don't like video games, but there's like one they're like, maybe they're into from their past or whatever. If he doesn't have even one, then it's like you can't even like tempt him with that. Um, I don't know. Well, t well tell him at least, uh, you know, your, uh, your viewers would like to see him, but, you know. I'll have to, you know, maybe maybe one day. One job. Damn. So this is the the other the main pub, the main bar in the uh, the main tavern in the the city, I guess. Ronja doesn't even speak to us. She's like, mm. I'm chugging. I'm so tired. Oh my God, she is as well. Hello there, Jocelyn. Have you visited Rorikstead lately? I've never been there. No matter how harsh the winter, the crops that grow there never falter. Even when every other farm in the hold is barely scraping by, the harvest at Rorikstead is always bountiful. Is it good fortune? The blessings of the divines? Who knows? Hmm. That sounds like a mystery worth investigating. Can't sleep well no matter how much drink I put in me. And it looks like you've been drinking a little bit, buddy. Well, I did hear that Ulfric Stormcloak was slain while defending Windhelm against a dragon, but it sounds too good to be true. Unless that's happened in the past couple of days. That's... Oh, he's, just, he's not a fan, obviously. <laughs> well, there might be nothing to it, but I've heard that the feud between the Grey Manes and the Battleborns in Whiterun has grown ugly. Okay. Okay, let's, um... Let's check out the Bannered Mare. Come on in. Okay. Okay, so he does play Pokemon and Dragon Quest. There we go. There we go. Y you know, set it up. And be like, oh, I'm just playing a little Pokemon here. And be like, oh, okay. I don't know. Think about it. Think about it, Mel. You can't tempt him to do it. Because I bet... I don't know. I don't want to, like, make assumptions. But, um... Maybe you should, like, just kind of... not Maybe slightly int intimidated. He's cause obviously cares about you. And he knows that... You know the things you're into and streaming and stuff that you know it's important to you so but kind of like by association it's, it's like important to him um i i so i don't know him obviously but um it, i my vibe my suspicion is it's one of those things that you know like people are a bit nervous about trying new things but then when they do they go actually not only is this not as uh, weird or scary as I thought it was going to be, it's actually kind of cool. And, in fact, once I get to grips with it, it's actually kind of fun. Um, but I don't know, it's just trying to... Um, 
trying to get him to uh, take that first step, isn't it? Sea Star! How are you doing, Sea Star? Are you well? Welcome in, buddy. I hope you're good. Um, are we getting married? Um, not. I wasn't planning on it, uh, Mel, but I guess um, if we play long enough, we could, certainly. And I know there's like... <laughs> you can get like a... Um, an active effect bonus like for uh what was it was it called um something you know uh not the pleasures of love uh <laughs> lover's comfort i think that's what it's called as in you know you have sexy times you get like a passive uh <laughs> a, t a temporary passive uh buff which is i guess it's like de-stress buff or something <laughs> so that would be one advantage um but yeah who because I think there's, like, many, many options in the game. I and mean, God knows what any random mods I've got have added into the game. But we shall see. Um, you married the blacksmith in uh, Riften, did you see, Star? Okay. Okay. We'll have to... Well, maybe we'll have to get a little... Between us, we'll get a little short list together. But uh, you know me, Matt. I'm not going to commit to anyone uh, immediately. Let's just put it that way. So we shall see. We'll see how it goes. Not against it. I want to just weigh up our options first. Someone's having a little song. Let's talk to you in a minute, lady. Let's listen to the song. Well, this is obviously the place where the guards go at the end of the day. When he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came <laughs> clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the oh, braggart say named yes, Mom. Was no more. You still need to remove when that blood stain from the on the incident. Floor. Thank you, oh, yes, good Mom. patrons I'll make of sure the battered mare. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I like that uh, the game... Um, it adds to the immersion and realism where there's like several different conversations going on at any one time. But I don't like it because we're like, I could like miss something that's been said. Uh, does that make sense? Um, yeah, no, this is true. This is true. It's got, it's a double edged sword, isn't it? Uh, you're supposed to um, keep that. Although our character is female. Uh, uh joel so i guess that's like i don't know i guess that's not the, like, quite the same thing but um but yeah for, for for men definitely uh this is what uh, i'm given to understand but um maybe uh you get like um a stamina debuff but you get like um resistance against uh something else buff i don't know uh <laughs> seven how are you doing seven i hope you're well um <clears throat> Yeah, it's a trap. No, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, committing, uh, Joel. Sadia, hello. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. Okay, let me see what you got for Depends. sale. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. No, not neither, really, but I just, I'm just curious. My God, they got all the alcohol. And all the foods as well. Mashed potatoes. Looks a bit... It's, it, I guess it looks mashed potatoes in a very technical sense. <laughs> uh, but here's the thing about mashed potatoes. You've got to have gravy with mashed potatoes. So what are we even doing? Okay, now so please, she just works here. No more questions. We've been down this road before, Mikai. Save the sap and sadness for your lady friends. My patrons need life. Cheeriness. Hmm. Yes, you do raise a good point. What about the sweet maiden fair from Hadleyshire? I think seven septims for Sigurd will do nicely. Especially when they're in their cups. Well then, consider it done. So Mikhail works here? As the singer, maybe? I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps <clears throat> you've heard of me. Um, what'd you learn to There's play? a whole college up in solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I okay, studied cool. there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Oh. Well, more a misunderstanding with her husband. Oh, he was, he's banging his teacher, Mikhail. Investigate the Bard's College in, uh, in Solitude. Excellent. Um, uh, 
special song tonight, beautiful lad. <laughs> Irresponsible to fight enemies during the third trimester. Okay. We'll try not to uh, get pregnant. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, th I think... Um, I think... Uh, I assume you can only marry one person at a time in Skyrim. Who knows? I, I mean, you know me, guys. If you can marry a, 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 an unlimited amount, then... We're probably going to marry everyone, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> can I make a request? Sure. What can I do for you? Um... No, we just heard Ragnar the Red. The, do you know the Age of Aggression? Only true Imperials request that one. Oh. This is an old oh, they... Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Oh, I wasn't trying. I'm not here to kiss ass of the Imperials. Days come and gone, but the Age of Aggression is just about done. <clears throat> We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we this will This is new, the latest new hit, isn't it? Sing. Not an old song. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. Southern Guard beckons every one of us dies. They say the college has been snooping around Sarthal. Mages in a burial crypt. Oh. No good can come of that. Okay, hold on. Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Yeah, good job, buddy. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Oh. Um... I assume you saw the Gilder Green? No, not yet. The tree all burnt up in the middle of the this. Wind District. <coughs> it's part of the Temple of yeah, Kinnereth. Yeah, People want Danica to do something about it, but oh, okay. I don't know what they and expect. Destroyed, destroyed the tree. Uh, what's the latest gossip? The Companions? In Jorvasku? They're recruiting new members. Oh, they're right actively here. recruiting. Interesting. Uh, but how are you doing, Seven? Are you all right? Um, yeah, no. <laughs> On the same metal. Uh, do you know. Um... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't get pregnant, Seven, so it's, it's all good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, some... <sighs> so Dragon Age allows you to the flexibility to do that, but the characters are, you know, f kind of like more fleshed out than Skyrim characters. They're, um, for the most part, they're, uh, you know, they get upset if you cheat on them and stuff, you know, or they, or they don't, or they get excited. They're like, oh, can I watch next time? Can I join in? Um, <clears throat> mm. Yeah, no, it's weird. That's um, that's the only problem, Meta. Like, you know, like, I'm just trying to listen to the song, and she's like, stood behind me, and she's like, oh, by the way, let me tell you something. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anything else? Just let me know. Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask you something else there, Holder. I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. Oh, the gourmet. You know, fella who wrote that cookbook? No, I don't. What can I learn more about magic? Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Wow. Of course, there is Farangar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. Well, hold on. I was about to compliment you on, on uh, you know, good good looking lady, but uh, actually, you're, um, you're as bad as Fenris from uh, Dragon Age 2. Uh, mages! Uh. I know a bit of magic. Yeah, you get scrubbing your mugs, biatch. Uh, <laughs> uh, John Battleborn. Hello there, sir. Well met, traveler. What brings you to White Run? Um, <sighs> let's be honest. When, I guess oh, we're kind of just passing through. Maybe. What's our overall goal? We're just kind of here to let the uh, the Yarl know about the dragon, but then we're at a loose end, aren't we? We're just like, oh, what what do we do? Um, I don't, I'm not. Here to help in any way I can. Kissing ass. We're not here to kiss ass. We'll, we'll be friendly. I guess technically we're here to seek our fo fortune. Not here, but here in Skyrim. Ah, so it's gold here after. Yeah, not just gold. But you gold is helpful. You ask about it. Plenty of folk in white run with too much fat and gold to be bothered doing anything for themselves. Ah, yeah, excellent. Um, so you live here, John? Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning. 
along with the Grey Manes. They're your f enemies, aren't Our they? Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has ah. stopped us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are yeah. saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. Isn't it? Um, and Petty can find some work? Ain't sure if they're taking on new members. But you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall. Your Vasker. Okay. If by work... You mean testing your steel in bloody battle? Now we do need to do that. We're not the best warrior in the world, but we do need to improve our skills in that uh, regard. All right, okay. Good to talk to you, John. You seem like a good sort. Oh, Quintus. Yes. Doesn't want to have a conversation with us. That's fine. I'll, I'll let you off. Um, okay, and this is a uh, room they've got. I'm gonna have a little look upstairs. I guess they got more rooms upstairs. Yes. <clears throat> Don't really need the room at the minute. Oh, forge numbers on the business ledger. I don't think we should be doing that, should we? Or at least let's have a reason to do that <laughs> before we uh, just go ahead and do it. Right, Holder's gone to bed and Sadia's gone to bed. Um, what time is it? Oh, my God, it's like nearly 3 a.m. And the car's gone to bed. Okay, so he does like live and work here, or at least he's at least he's staying here temporarily. Let's not harass people while they're sleeping. And uh, this is actually kind of working out all right with the timing. We're having a little look around. We're, um, use the oven. Oh, is there anything? Is there anything could cook at the minute? I do not. Crab cakes. Yeah, I could go for some of those, but never mind. Um, <clears throat> you reckon seven? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I've, um... I don't know, I feel like I'm a bit long in the tooth now to be, uh... To be having kids, but, um... I don't know. I guess there's always that appeal, isn't there? Like, you do wonder, like... Would I made have made a good parent? Oh, just a guard. Sorry, I thought he looked like a shady bro just hanging around at night time there. <laughs> he's, he's, he's the police. He's the popo. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll have a look around up here. We've got, we've got to come back down here and have a look at all the stores and buildings. I'm sure there's more people to speak to, but for now. Um... Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm not risking it. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, fair. That's what that's what kind of what I'm talking about is, um, you know, it's a risk, isn't it? So I admire people who uh, have kids, but... um. Let's see that yellow mountain flower. Uh, and let's see some cotton. It's so weird that you just have a sample of it. Uh, the Nern root. I think we need to save those. Oh, this is what people wander around. Someone's been pilfering crops from my farm. Oh. If I find out it's one of your kin, I'll see the culprit rot in prison. Oh. I'm surprised you had the wits to notice, Alfred. What with your nose buried so far up the Empress' backside? You won't be laughing oh. when the Thalmor come to root out Stormcloak's sympathy. So, um, <clears throat> I guess this is, uh, this fellow here is one of the Grey Manes, and maybe these two are the heads of the house here. So it seems like the Battleborns support the Empire, and the Grey Manes support the Stormcloaks. So the families have been friends for years. But obviously the Civil War's kicked off, and there's a difference of, uh, opinion. Uh, in what is what, and it's driving a wedge between them. Um, <laughs> worth the flip of the coin, you say, Sea Star. <laughs> I've already put in a claim to the land and property you'll forfeit when you're found to be a collaborator. Oh. I'll remember that when the storm cloaks liberate the city. No amount of money will protect you then, Battleborn. Wow. Okay, I probably want to speak Old to you. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name yeah. I'm sure you know well. Uh No, look at this guard. He's like, hang on, I'll just keep an eye on you. 
Uh, tell me about your clan Battleborn. He obviously is going to be bigging them up, but... Battleborn <clears throat> is a name out of legend, sung in the songs of old and heard in deeds of valor for a hundred generations. For clan Battleborn, they cry in the mead halls. First into the fray, and last to quit their ale. Okay, you general badasses. Wealth and titles too. Aye, and buxom women to warm your bed on a cold Skyrim night. All right, well, sounds good. Don't answer your question, then no words will. Okay. Um. What about the uh, clan Greymane? Uncivilized pelt-wearing axe draggers. Huh. It's a wonder they don't still live in a cave like those ancestors they keep boasting about. It's true, the Vignar Greymane and his lot are one of Whiterun's oldest and, depending on who you ask, most respected clans. I don't dispute that, but it's one thing to take pride in your lineage and another to cling blindly to the past. What they call honor and tradition, I call ignorance. Okay. Um, so what's the feud all about? I guess we know the Civil War, but... Money, you laggard. What else? Whoa. It always comes down to coin. Can't just call me a laggard like that, bro. have deep roots in Whiterun, but so do we. Difference is, we're rich. <laughs> and Vignar hates it. Oh, oh the knife. they hate it too. All their big talk of pride and honor. And what have they got to show for it? Beggars' rags and stale bread. So you've got money and they haven't, pride, and you think you're better than them. Honor, and we've got wealth. <laughs> No wonder they envy us. Wow. Okay, so John Battleborn seems like a good lad. Alfred Battleborn seems like a complete dick. You watch yourself out there. Yeah, you watch yourself out there, bro. An asshole. Maybe I'll um, I'll speak with uh, Vignard to get his opinion on his clan and the, uh, the whole thing. Okay, so I guess this is the uh, the tree, the dead tree. That certain people want to be destroyed, gotten rid of. Um, so get, um, that miscellaneous quest. Yeah, Danica about the guild agreement being destroyed. We'll look, look into that in a minute. I um, I'm gonna deal with the rats in uh, Igna's basement first. That's really what I'm gonna deal with. I hope, hoping they're rats anyway. Okay, that's Temple of Kinnereth. Um, that's presumably where Danica's going to be. That's a house grey main. People starting to wake up. I just want to go home and read. Okay, far be it for me to get in your way. Amram, we just met you. He's the guy looking for his uh, father's sword. Which, no doubt, we're going to have to find for him. <clears throat> Wait, I... Who was, uh, who was the voice? Right, oh, that's Amran's house. Okay, nice. of you you know even if you are my elder i so say you're afraid of me god weird little girl uh Othard's house uh color of valentia's house okay and this is like on the edge of the town here what about well there's this boy and oh listen braith why don't you talk to your mother about this okay there's a good girl Wow. Good, good father there. Dad, I want to speak to you about something. Yeah, I, yeah, I talk to your mother. Uh, and okay, and this is the bat clan Battleborn house. Okay. Oh, nightshade. I don't know that I really want to eat that, but... Hopefully it's not going to kill me. It's not going to kill me, just have a little sample, will it? i bloody find it. There it is. No, fortified destruction. Okay. Cool. Wow, 
Wow, it's like a little graveyard, isn't it? Valon the Wanderer. Go and pick some fights. Go and pick some fights. Okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, and this is our house. Okay. Let me just do a little uh, save. Just in case it is uh, something other than rats. And of course, we cannot see a thing. She's put traps out. Well, this is the issue. You've got a friggin' cave in your basement. Yeah, no, that's why I was wondering, uh, Seven. Yeah. Like, don't be sampling it in real life. Oh. Lady, you've got a dead dead Khajiit in your basement. Oh, Red Guard Scimitar. How appropriate. Um, let's read this lad's notebook. <clears throat> You're kind of good at this, right? She said. This one felt insulted, but this one also needed gold. Um, if you know anyone's not familiar with Khajiit, um... Uh, they uh, refer to themselves as this one uh, when they when they're referring to themselves. They don't say I. They say this one thinks this or does this. Um, but yeah, most Khajiit are very well uh, well mannered though. Uh, so here we are hunting rats. Okay, so this lad was hired by Igna to kill the rats. This one will finish this quick, then walk away silently. My brothers and sisters of sand must never know the shame. They felt shame about hunting rats, did he? Lucky for one, so not uh, they're not allowed inside the walls. Ah, so he must have been part of the caravan. Um, but then he just went to do some rat clearance work and just never came back. This one just noticed this hole in the wall is suspiciously big. Right, then we are not just finding rats down there, are we? Um, I'm sorry you're dead, bro. Not much I can do to help you, I'm afraid. Um... Something got him, and it is not rats, is it? Um, just want to have a little look at that scimitar I've picked up there. All right, 28 damage. Now, obviously, we don't have the uh, the frost damage and the axe, but... We are a red guard. Okay, let me, let me try it out for a bit. It's not like he needs it anymore. Wow, you've got a freaking underground cave in your basement. <laughs> hey, you need to go have this blocks off, basically. Well, here we are. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't get in there. It's really like a freaking... Whoa! What the freaking hell? Rat Mulag? It's some kind of demon rat that just spoke to us and almost killed me. What the bloody hell was that? <laughs> what? I don't remember that being in the game. I don't know if that was a thing or... Uh, um. What 
Wow. So was he a rat that was possessed by a demon or either way? Avoid salts. Uh, I'll take this, his tail. I'm not worried about his meat though. Well, that was pretty uh, disturbing, to say the least. God, he almost had us. Uh, someone else is killed. Yeah, just to let you know, lady, you had a demon rat in your basement. Yeah, she needs to block this off down here. Novice conjurer. Oh, wow. Black cowl. Well, it looks cool. Black robes. Uh, I guess we can take those to a uh, cell, possibly. That's a quite lightweight. Right, conjurer's journal. Who are you, bro? Now did you get down here? Um... That lunatic Hamelin. Uh, Hyde Piper. Uh, never suspected a thing. Grabbed the tome while he was busy with whatever vile concoction he was brewing. Alchemy in all honour, but alteration and conjuration, that's real power. Okay. Tunneled away from that filthy lair of his and blocked the passage. He ain't getting me here. Let's see what this spell tome he valued so highly might contain. Okay, so some apprentice mage got pissed off with his uh, master stole this tome and I bet that tome summoned the rat and obviously led to his own death uh, oh spell tome conjure skeever ah conjure a pet, a pet a skeever there uh, healing tome now is that that's basically the same spell we already have isn't it um, we'll take it anyway um, rock wobbler egg and uh, a potion healing uh, magic potion okay interesting um, the firstly let's eat the void salts and eat the egg That's my, uh... Cool, there we go. Right, the healing spell, that's exactly the same healing spell we've already got. Oh, I forgot about that. That Ulrich gave us that note about taking out giants, didn't he? Let me do this. Um, oh, okay. Give him 300 gold for a cow. I don't know when, so that's got rid of... Uh, I uh, need the following for the offering. 300 gold, a bucket's worth of blue dye, the poem Ode to the Tundra Striders. The annual ritual. We approach the chieftain. We present the offering and declare our intentions. We read the verses. Remember to not choose any that might offend. We, mo uh, we move away slowly and keep our distance. Okay, so Ulrich's plan is basically you, um, you get a, a cow and paint it blue and then read them a poem and the giants are like okay cool thank you mm, i don't know about that i don't know about that but uh what i do know about is uh let's um try our pet skeeva takes all of oh he's a ghostly skeever oh hello hello buddy nice but he's not sustained so he is there for a minute and then he disappears so uh could be useful in a fight but not really like make or break i don't feel um I don't think there's anything else down here, is there? No.
No, okay. Well, I guess we go tell, uh, you know, uh, report back on what has uh, happened. Um, God, that's him. That's him running out there and dying. So it could be, uh, it could be useful, certainly, in a tough fight. Um, It should hopefully be morning very soon. Like now? Yeah, 6 a.m. Okay, this will give us an opportunity to go and uh, explore everywhere we've not been yet. Uh, fine hair's home. Fine hair. Okay. Good name. Uh, Wanderer's house. Uh, house steel arm. Check out their bloody uh it's a horse statue that's freaking cool um steel arm house okay i guess that's the name of the family good morning we need to town azuka the night something so tired you look like fighter a fighter uh -oh. Any fool can just flail about, swinging his weapon as fast as he can. Any fool can die. Keep your guard up and wait for an opening. All right, cool. Some strange tales of the Jarl's children. Fight well. Say the one's turning wicked, and I'll the try. others have an ill-favored look to them. Will they stay sure, along? I'm a little green, but what I lack in experience, I make up for in courage. Excellent. Until next time. That's good to know. Ah, the Thane of Valdemar Steel Arm. Because it's your home then. Sturdier than most of the popinjays around here. Yeah. Um, what's the situation in White Rock? Once things settle down, I'll be looking to recruit more guards for the city. Oh, is he in charge of the guard? Ooh, ah. Uh, what are your thoughts on the war? A strong sword arm wins battles, but a keen mind wins wars. Right. Uh, and are you great pro grey main or pro battleborn? No, they used to be something. Nowadays, they just squabble about Neither. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. That's a pretty cool uh, looking helm. Anybody chilling upstairs? I assume, um, yeah, looking at these will be stealing. I'll take them, rather than not. You, well, I guess they let you look at them, but. Oh, someone turned up at my door, asking about white horses, what you wanted, my statue. Hydra is a teacher. I'm going to teach him how to fight. Uh, okay, not, not nothing really of too much interest there. Yeah, now he can steal things, but I'm I'm at least in the early run of the game. I'm not going to get my yeah get ourselves in grief. Sea <laughs> stars like just steal everything, just sneak. Just sneak and steal. Um, hmm, maybe, maybe we'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> for now, not not inclined to. Um, oh, blue sky hall requires key. Um, read for sale. As I'm moving on to new adventures, I'm selling my beloved blue sky hall. You may expect fully furnished, furnished or furnitured. A bright, spacious hall with enough room to hold feasts. And many opportunities for displaying your trophies. Uh, floor out of the finest pine Skyrim has to offer. Uh, well defendable second floor with a clear view of the entry hall and room for multiple weapon racks. Well equipped kitchen with all necessities. Um, space for whatever crafting you might wish to do in your free time. Enough room for both servants and <laughs> illegitimate children. <laughs> 
Uh, interested parties may acquire the deed as well as various trinkets from my ancient Quintus. You'll most likely find him by the well in the marketplace. Uh, first one to the mill gets to grind the wheat. Signed, Edgewar Elf Hewer. Yes, we're going to take that. All right, so there's a house for sale. Now, by the sounds of it, it's, and it looks of it, it's pretty amazing. We're not going to be able to afford this, but... We do need a place. Look at the, the place. We do need a base of operations. Uh, we'd answer to inquiries. Let's have a look. Ah, I've received some inquiries regarding the so-called witch next door. I shall say this. She's been a most amiable neighbor during my time in White Run, a skilled healer and a true Nord. You'll have no trouble from her. With these words, I consider the matter settled. Right, okay. So there's a supposed witch living next door. Oh, yeah, look at this place there presumably well i don't discriminate i should go meet the witch witch's wisdoms I need to go find the bro as well though so Yashi. last time someone cheated me i cut off their hand still have it actually okay um uh, people give you a problem. Anything you can tell me about alchemy? I need the poison strong enough to take out a giant. 100 gold. Oh. Interesting. That's another way to go about things. Um, you seem, yeah, let's ask her this. You seem to practice magic quite openly. People will give you problems. It is no great secret that we have been unjustly blamed for a great many things over the years. But magic can be quite influential. Kings have risen to power because of it. And empires have been raised with it. It never hurts to be a little suspicious, does it? And you can tell me about alchemy? You can eat an ingredient to learn one of its properties. However, However they yes. taste disgusting. Yeah, I'll tell me about it. <laughs> um, where can I learn more about magic? There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Oh. It's very secretive, though, and you know how people hate secrets. I don't mind secrets. What have you got for sale? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Potentially. Right, Staff of Incineration. Wow, that's rather uh, expensive. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, all sorts of things. Various potions. Got all sorts of potions. So, yeah, so she's not a witch. She's an alchemist who maybe knows a bit of magic as well. Um, yeah, all sorts of uh, ingredients she's got. I'll buy a, a pine thrush egg from you. Um, as it's cheap. Poison bloom. I don't want to eat that. Burnt spriggan wood. Expensive. A fire salts, troll fat. Sabre cat eye. Oh my god. Um, pork egg. Expensive. Uh, beehive husk. Okay, I can. I'll go for one of those. And a hawk feather as well. Uh, ooh. Hello. Oh my god, I cannot... <laughs> the cost of these. Oh my god. Um, spell tone. Conjure Dramora Mentor. Um, ah, choose a magic school and summon a Dramora Mentor uh, for a, a, a sustained ability. It does not fight, but offers training in the chosen school... And the school improves 25% faster. What? So you have a conjure spell to summon a magic trainer. So you can pull them out if you just, like, practice on your own magic. That's wild. I don't think we need to worry about that right at the minute. That's very cool for later on. Um, we can't afford to buy that offer. <laughs> but uh what's this spell tome uh destruction shock nova uh radial shock wave that deals 40 damage to health and uh, magicka um those along the edge take up to two times damage so if they're further away that's like an aoe blast of damage that's cool again very ex too expensive spells and incantations so i want to see what our final thing was there uh bandages uh alchemist retort mortar and pestle i don't know if i need to carry these with me uh, and soul gems which are empty oh fill, some are filled some are empty either way can't afford anything um 
I'll sell you this amethyst, though. Speech increased. Excellent. Um... Jay Shay, please. Jay Shay, is that her name? Please, Ignor, you come looking for us. Okay, I've dealt with the rat. Well, I do suppose thanks are in order. So, a in my thanks. Magic. It's very she said she was going to pay me. You should know there's at least two corpses down there, a Khajiit among them. By the gods, I don't even know what to say. Um. Uh, ain't my problem, see ya. I'm gonna take my reward, thanks. <laughs> um, the priest will surely help you give the Khajiit his last rites. Uh, burn the other. That's the... I mean, I know we get to say that, but, you know, let's we'll say that. I see. I... I understand. Thank you. 50 gold. Okay, not much, but it all adds up. Um, so, I mean, tanking, sure tanking bones. <laughs> um, so I've got, uh, Jay Shay. I've got no, uh, or Jaysh, Jaysh, do we uh, pronounce her uh, name? I'm not really sure. I've got no problem with living next to her. Just, you know, people are put off by that. No problem at all. In fact, it'd probably be like, quite useful. But we need to track down, um, what was the fella's name? Um, oh, I forgot, never mind. Oh, search apiary. Bees and honeycomb. I assume I can take these without getting in trouble. It's not stealing, right? No, cool, cool. Um, I might eat the egg we've bought. Uh, eat, let's eat a bee. It's got to be done. Uh... <laughs> Uh, let's eat some honeycomb. Take the edge off. Uh, let's eat some of the husk of the beehive. And let's eat a hawk's feather. <laughs> Lol. Um, she's got random uh, flowers we can take. In fact, living next to her might actually be not a bad thing. Right, um... Nice area as well. Oh yes, okay. So she's an orc. I thought she um I thought she it was a dark elf, but never mind. Alright. The weapons training. Respect. Alright, the wondrous house is still locked. What time of day is it currently? It's nine AM, okay. Maybe that's a bit too early. Or maybe people just lock their houses when they they go out for the day. Which uh, makes sense, doesn't it? That, yeah, it's a nice little section. I think the, this this area was in... was in the vanilla game, I don't know. Maybe it was. I, it's been so long since I've... Uh, I've played it. Um... There we go. House can battleborn. Let's go see him. Hello? Sweet roll. Somebody took your sweet roll. Maybe. Maybe later on. Hello there. Yeah. There's a rift here in Skyrim. Can't neither magic nor the passing of time make it right. Are you talking about the Grey Mountains and the Battleborns? Are you talking about the uh, Civil War?
You're not supposed to be in here. Oh, I came to visit. This is the last time I'll say. Okay, I'm going. I'm going, buddy. I'm go okay. Right. Well, John Battleborn seems like a good guy. Alfred Battleborn is an absolute dickhead. I ain't done nothing. Yep. Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. You Come can steal on. it, Phil. Yeah, I'm not gonna feed you a bad habit. Then we got nothing more to talk about. Yeah, I'm not giving him gold either. Sure, what? In on. The hell. The bloody hell. Spare a coin for a poor old beggar. No, mate. No, I have to talk to me like that. Okay, that's where I just came from, wasn't it? Okay, so what's, um... Is this a temple? All of the dead. It's quite temple doesn't it? Anders. Tell me, Different Anders. do you believe in mighty RK, god of life and death? Uh, the god of death, I know him well. The gods aren't a big part of my life. I'm not sure. Tell me about him. Well, as I said, RK is the god of life and death. You'll find his temples and halls of the dead all across Tamriel. Will we? Of RK, such as myself, perform rites for the dead and sometimes console the bereaved. We also keep a constant vigil against those who practice the vile arts of necromancy. Oh. I asked the question because I was hoping you Good might be Brian in here. recover something I've lost. Uh, what did you lose? My amulet of RK. Oh. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Sure. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Mm. Yeah, sure you will, buddy. RK be upon you. Um... We shall, uh, I think we'll also pray. We're praying to Talos, though. Not RK. But, can we change to a different, uh... Maybe we should, uh, focus on one of the gods at a time. I think that's the idea. Right, okay, that's into the, uh... The crypts, the catacombs, okay. He left his amulet down there, but he thinks maybe some, uh, the dead have been a bit restless. Okay, and this is his, um, his personal quarters here. Okay, uh, I guess we'll give it a go. to make friends and influence people oh whoa 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 yeah. oh my god it's uh, not there we go the skelly take his head off oh I need to um plant my freaking uh well, firstly healing uh. Oh my god, too many skellies. A shield. A shield would help. I like that now. There we go. Okay. Aggressive. But, um... Handled it. Just about. Right. 
Bro, you're gonna need to come down here and tidy this up afterwards. <laughs> I guess, can I raise zombie on a skeleton? I would guess not, but let's find out. Experiment. No, okay. I guess it's got to be an actual dead body. Maybe even it has to be a draugr. I don't know. Um... Well, yeah, well, the skeletons just got up. I don't know, but. Oh, wow. We've got some silverware we could take here. Which is apparently not stealing. Okay, there's his amulet. That was fairly straightforward, apart from the skellies coming after us. All right, the silverware. Let's pretend he, uh... We're, we're, we're here to save Skyrim. I don't know how we're going to do that. But, uh... <laughs> we're here to do that. Ooh. Unusual gem, eh? This looks somewhat familiar. Floating. Pink. Gem. Bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. Okay. Ah, death blow of urbanit. Uh, sorry, ebernanit. Ebernanit. Ah, block skill increased. Nice. Right, well, I guess they were, uh, let's hope Anders doesn't notice. We need, we need the money. Uh, Frogadee. Can I sit here? Of course you can, Frogadee. You can sit wherever you like, my friend. Welcome in. Are you, uh, you must be a Skyrim fan. Is that how you found us today? I don't know. My name is Iz. Call, uh, sorry, my name is Isn't it? We call me Iz. Most people do. Um, it's so day two of, uh, modded Skyrim. It's, um, very, uh, cool so far, to say the least. We're not, we're not rushing through doing anything. We're just taking our time looking at stuff and having fun as we do it. But, yeah, thank you for the follow there, Froggity. Um, we're going to be going streaming for about another, uh, three hours or so today. So, uh, feel free to hang out or, uh, any questions, you got me. I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Well, that's unfortunate, Anders, but I got your amulet, buddy. I oh, took care of the skeletons thank, down there. Okay. Please, take this gold for your troubles. Okay. F right, 15. All right, okay. <laughs> it was a pleasure. No. And now, you may have noticed the, val the value of that amulet was way more than the 15 gold he gave us, but... Let's be helpful. Let's be friendly at the moment. Let's help people out as best as we can. Let's not, um... Let's not be starting, you know... Starting crap with people at the moment, at least. Oh, look at this bro. Oh, it's, uh, Valdemar. You look a little sturdier than most of the popping days around here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That remains to be seen, my friend. Hello? Ah, Danica. I'm telling you, I heard it, howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Um, uh, you're a priestess of Kinnereth. Right? Indeed. The temple here in the city is my charge. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped make Whiterun a thriving and prosperous city. After all... 
It is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the harvest days. Nice. Uh, have the storm cloak has the storm cloak uprising affected your duties? Somewhat, yes. At first it seemed a distant thing, heard only in the idle speech of guards and traders. When the wounded soldiers began to return from battle, I did what I could to help them. As more of the sick and injured came to the temple, my work as a healer became more important than my duties as a priestess. No doubt. I wish only an end to the fighting, so that I can tend to the temple once more. Indeed. Um, no, sorry, this uh, Frogadine. Uh, just catching up with you. I've got my chat in a different place because I don't usually stream on PC. I'm usually like console streamer. Um, I stream on the PC. I just the games we play are on console and capture card. Um, excellent. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. A, 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 a follow is like, um, and I have seen some streamers say like, "Oh, don't follow me unless you plan to be it." I think I don't care. You know what I mean, I follow people who, and I'm just like, "This is." I, I'll see. I've checked out your channel for five minutes. You seem like a good guy. Uh, you seem like a good person. I'm gonna, you know, give you give you my follow. That's my just saying. I respect you, and I, you know, I appreciate what you're doing. Keep it up. Um, um, but yes, thank you. Is it okay? Excellent. Cool. Um, I'm not too happy, Froggity, I'm not too happy with my cam, my uh, webcams are like cheap Crazy crap, but um, no, I'm not finished speaking to you, Danica, I was talking they to Froggity for a minute. Has been snooping down <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you, thank you, um, it's, no Skyrim at least seems to be running very well on my PC, and as you can see, the uh, the mods we're using, uh, it looks freaking amazing, so, all good in that regard, but yeah, I appreciate that, bud. Um, yeah, something's happened to the tree at the temple, this is what I actually the want to ask you about. Thing, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't look More healthy. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. Okay. Um, well, I mean, it seems redundant to ask about the way the pilgrims aren't coming. It's because the, 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 the province is at war. Civil war going on. Uh, what's so special about the tree, though? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Maybe all of Tamriel. What? Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. Mm. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Oh, okay, I'll see. Even its name is an echo. I see. Uh, is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. Okay, but still. I think if still. we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. Okay. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Okay, okay, well first, where is this tree? If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. Okay. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. Hag I've Raven. heard about the weapon mm. they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Uh, ah, okay, so there's a weapon, a special weapon called Nettlebane that Hag Ravens have. they made to kill Spriggans. Hang Your on. spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Right. Okay, now I don't know that we're uh, the blessings of nature. I don't know that we're tough enough to be doing that at the minute, but uh, we can have a look at least. Right, Nettlebane from Orphan Rock in a clearing northeast of Helgen. All right, so it's a little way away. It's something we can try and do. And if it's going to help out Danica there, then I don't see why we wouldn't want to do that. I'm not going to do it right away, though. We've got far too much um, other random stuff to be doing. Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, we're still, trying, we're still not at the Yarl yet. We're going to have been in, what, running around Whiterun for like two or three days before, we, um, before we've done any of this. But that's the beauty of Skyrim, essentially. Um... Yeah, my God, yeah, Froggity. That's the only thing with, like, big big streamers, isn't it? You can... I've done it as well. You go into the chat and you're like, hey, how you doing? And either they literally don't see your comment because there's too much <laughs> chat going on, or, you know, obviously, you know, they, just, they don't really care. They don't have this I, this I concept of viewer engagement, which I feel, if you are trying to build a channel, you do have to embrace that from ground up and take it from there build it you know you've got to build your community you've got to build your viewership one person at a time and what better way to do that you have to 
you know engage with people honestly as you truly are you know no no bs and and, and actually care about them you know some people will, will respond to that some people won't um you know build it from there and then you know whatever comes of it, it comes of it um no exactly you can't even, and on the yeah and on the big very big channels the chat is flying by that you can't even not only can the not only the can the streamer not read it the bloody viewers can't even read it do you know what I mean you can't keep up with it you can't have like a conversation when someone else is in there you can't have a conversation with the streamer you're like well what's you're like look there might as well not be a chat <laughs> the chat literally may as well not be there and at that point i mean it's i mean it gets wonderful to have like all those thousands of viewers concurrently but also i don't know i guess in a way that's what i would like and that's what i would want to aim for and i guess a lot of smaller streamers are in that for in that, in that same category where they do want that but i think it'd be you know because when i start my stream i we have i start quite early uh Frogadier. i don't know where you are in the world but a lot of not all of but a lot of my viewers are in the states or uh, canada so it's very very early for them um but we you know, there's usually a couple of people hanging around at the start and we do a bit of just chatting some days we'll chat for 10 minutes some days we'll chat for an hour and 10 minutes um you know and if you've got enough people coming in saying hello and i'm checking how they're doing each day and they're telling me about their lives and i'm you know seeing what's up you could easily get to the point where you start a stream and you end up just just chatting for six hours just because you're catching up with everyone um we shall see i'm not going to stress it i'll just take it one day at a time uh <laughs> um excellent yeah yeah no i so i used to have uh overlays uh froggedy and like have a little cam um border and stuff like that um i just yeah a little bit of a couple of months ago i just it was like i'm just gonna get rid of them i don't know they add much i know some people um prefer it uh, and i've seen many streams with both they'll like definitely have a cam border and then others that just don't and overlays in terms of like um you know like a little banner down the bottom you know, latest follower, you know, latest cheers, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and I did, I had all that from the, from day one for like the first year and a half of the stream. And then a little, a few months ago, I was like, you know what? Let's just keep it minim minimalistic. The game and me, my stupid face and my stupid voice. And then, and chat. And then we'll uh, take it there. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, if maybe I will um, add those things back in in the future. Um, but I feel, for, at least for our channel here, uh, it wasn't, like, m majorly adding anything, I felt. Um, so, yeah, we're going for the minimalistic look for the time being. Um, well, you know, I, uh, I plan to be doing this for a while, Froggity. You never know how things are going to pan out in real life, but um, that's my plan. So, and, you know, this I'm coming up to um, very close to two years streaming now, and... Uh, you know, to me, a lot of people are like, oh, that's a long time. And to me, that's like, we're just got, I'm just at the start line. We're just getting started here, folks. Uh, let's get let, get back at me when we're at year 12 and see how that goes. And uh, see where we're at then. But, uh, you know, you never know how things are going to pan out. But I appreciate you saying that, buddy. Uh, I'm always conscious about um, needing to upgrade cameras and stuff. You know, we've got a really, relatively decent PC, capture card, consoles, load of old games. Uh, plenty to keep us busy. Um for sure and then some T too much stuff always but um but yeah yeah i'm uh, i'm pretty happy where we're at at the minute so uh, yeah I, I do appreciate you stopping in uh, and uh dropping that uh those those words in there so um so thank you um right continuing on looking around um so is this the temple it is okay let's have a look at the inside the temple of kinnereth i might I'm not sure if I um like the uh wounded soldier. He, oh, he doesn't want to talk. He's very wounded. I'm gonna steal the lavender. Oh, Arlem. Oh, that's uh that's the lady who's uh very upset with her husband, isn't she? Feeling any better? I ain't gonna lie. It's still pretty bad. More rest will do you good. Oh, bless him. Wow, it's very cool in here. I like it. Jensen? 
Maybe he's got a vow of silence. He just wants to. He just <laughs> not say anything. How are you feeling? Oh, joint take. I, I can't eat nothing, and my head feels like a furnace. I've seen better days. Patience. The body needs time to mend. Indeed. Right. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Unwanted effects remover from the uh, unofficial Skyrim special edition uh, patch. I don't know. We need that. What well, that's doing in here? <laughs> um, all sorts of interesting stuff. Now, I might actually um, I might actually uh join Kinnereth. I think Kinnereth has got some uh decent uh bonuses from the um from the religion mod we're uh, running at the minute. Let me see if I click it. There we go. Goddess of the winds in the sky, patron of travellers, and the first spirit of creation. Uh, move faster in combat. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, explore new locations, strive to raise your stamina, receive the voice of the sky, pray only outdoors, never openly break the laws of Skyrim. Um, remember to only pray in outdoors, though. Moving faster in combat, though, sounds very helpful let's do it i i think i think there's any way in the game to keep track of it but i think you keep your uh, favor with uh, any of the other um gods that you have like with talos we're up to like 30 something percent now um let's switch to kinnereth for a little bit 25 percent okay ah lilith maiden loom hello come to chat with an old woman hmm do your good deed for the day. Wow, I actually wanted to get to know you, but whatever, lady. <laughs> oh, can we actually pray now at the minute? I think we've... Um, maybe we've... Um, why is this little kid running around with no clothes on? Oh, there we go. That's our pray. I guess uh, it's first thing in the morning. There we go. Praying to Kinnereth. Oh, it looks like someone's given a a little um little sermon over there. Literally just stop following him. <laughs> is long winter. I breathe now in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legions, for I love you. I love, love, even as man, great Talos cherished us, for he saw in us in each of us the future of skyrim the future of tamriel that's good and there it is friends the ugly truth we are ugly. the children of man talos is the true god of man ascended from flesh to rule the realm the spirit the very idea is inconceivable to our elven overlords. Ah. Sharing the heavens with us? With man? Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth. Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? Mm. What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your businesses? Your children? Your very life. Maybe. And what does the Empire do? Mm. Nothing. Nay, worse than nothing. The Imperial machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people. Be an issue. So rise up. Rise right. up, children. This guy's uh, definitely on the Stormcloak side of things. Rise up, Stormcloaks. Embrace the word of mighty Talos. He who is both man 
and divine. Trust in me, white brother. Is he just going to keep going? Trust in Heimsker, for I am the chosen of Talos. <laughs> I alone have been anointed by the ninth to spread his holy word. Talos the might. You, you got anything to actually? Yeah. You have come to hear the word of Talos. We can tell me about Talos. We've already heard everything about Talos. Why was it outlawed? Because the so-called emperor is a ah, coward. Right. That's right. I said coward. Oh, he's calling the emperor oh, a coward. Yes. He agreed to banish the worship of Talos <clears throat> at the tip of an old Mary sword. They called it the white gold concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Okay. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. Not that far. In Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. Uh, on your warrant to be arrested? Uh, let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally. And I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. Okay. Fair enough, buddy. Let's uh, pray there if you want to get back on the Talos worship. Bar for the feeble. Hello? Come to a lot of her reading, did you? Sorry, pup, but I'm not quite in the mood. Okay, no worries. No worries. Nothing's taken. Yeah, that's the temple. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me show you the power of Talos storm crowd. Born of the north. Okay, that's his house there. Okay, before so I think that there we go. That's the uh where the Yar will be. And I think that's uh your Vasca up there, the companions hall. Before we go and look at those. Oh yeah, it's almost already four PM again. Little kid. Put some clothes on. Finish having a wash. Yeah. Is this or a hearth healer? The circle of stones to the southwest? That's Secunda's kiss. The giants hold it sacred, so tread carefully. Okay. Travel great Skyrim and Kinnereth travels with you. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, right. Now we already spoke to you, uh, we spoke to you inside, Fires don't we? Cuts, fresh from the wilds. Yeah, you kill this game yourself? Oh, yes. Hunting is my great passion. Yeah, this is the guy who That's shot his brother, brother in the ass. <laughs> hunting supplies. Yeah. It's the drunken huntsman down by the main gate. He tends the store, and I've got this stall. I don't think you've got oh, anything that I want to buy, buddy. But uh, let's have a little look, anyway. Uh, various food, lots of meat. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Ah, Alfina Greymane. It's being a woman in Skyrim, I know. But stay strong, and men will come to respect you, and maybe even fear you. Yep. Sounds like that's something she wants. <laughs> Bits and baubles for sale, all crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Who's that? <laughs> I can tell you're new around here asking a question like that. I am. We are new. We've only been there a day. My husband tends the Skyforge up at your Vasker. Ah. The Companion's Mead Hall. Oh, there's no finer smith in the Nine Halls. Okay. Well, that's your husband, though, so you're obviously going to say that. the only subject that'll get him talking. Okay. Well, that and maybe those stuck-up, dung-sniffing Battleborns. Yeah. To be fair, apart from John Battleborn, it does definitely seem like the, the Battleborns are more stuck up than the Grey Mains. Um, we know where your Vasker is, so I won't... You uh, take care of yourself now. Uh, Alright, got some jewellery for sale, but... Oh, excuse me. You Lady, still? could you spare a coin? As you are not going to spend it on alcohol, yeah, I'll give you gold. There oh, you go. thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Okay. Why are you begging it's, if you don't have a family? It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since, since Mama, since okay. she died. Okay, that's awful. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Wow, so assholes! I, I wound up here, but I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. Um, uh, I could adopt you. I mean, I guess I could, but I've got no effort to live. Should we say it anyway. 
I can't really look after a child, but I guess I could. I could look after her, I guess, but uh, but I've got nowhere to put her at the moment. Um. Really? Do you do you have a place I could live? Nope. Oh well. <laughs> Thanks anyway. I, I need to uh. I need to start an orphanage, maybe. I don't know. Bless you. Sorry, sorry, little girl. I didn't mean to upset you there. It's more kind of uh, just so you know, I would uh, would look after you, but. Oh, Jocelyn, we've already met you. Yeah, what's this little area? That's Jocelyn's house. Uh, Arth Healers Hall. Okay, we already uh, everybody met that fella there. Happy Homestead General Goods. Okay. Take a look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored. Okay, away. you've got a lot of stuff, buddy. Have anything you wish to take a look? Um, got all sorts of things, buddy. Ah, so I think some of this is for, like, building a house. I think you can, like, de if you own a house, you can de decorate it as well. I, um, I don't need to worry about it at the minute, on the basis that we don't actually own anywhere. Hello. Let me get out there before I'm down. <laughs> Hello, who are you? He's got the same stuff as his buddy out there. Ah, this is the back of uh, your Vasca, isn't it? Ah, this is all new. This wasn't in the vanilla game. Titus House. Okay. I trust you're not planning any trouble. No, for you, absolutely friend? not. It's not as bad as before. I oh, we already actually spoke to you, didn't we, buddy? Okay. Got nothing for us. That's fine. Moving on. through this way. Uh, Arundel's shack. Shack? This is a nice house. Not really much of a shack. Uh, bro? Go. Leave me in peace. <sighs> well, there's not much I can say to that, is there? flower there yeah I'll, i'm not gonna go ocd about um picking up all these flowers i could I, just because they don't weigh much but ah it's back of arcadia's cauldron there okay i'll go and look at the stores in a second carlson's house okay can I help you? I don't know, buddy. Are you polite? Although, to be fair, you are just walking into people's houses, so it's... Can't sleep well, no matter how much drink I put Oh, it's the me. alcoholic guy, isn't it? And rumors? I'm not sure that it's news, but lately it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the equal of the Orland Greymane. Right, okay. Go meet him in a moment. Mm hmm? Wow. Hey there. I'm going to interrupt her while she's uh, in her archery. <sighs> Most people barely notice what I'm playing. <laughs> the war keeps people off the roads. Travel has become dangerous of late. Okay, I'd one job. An archer. Yeah, that's kids running around playing. 
uh, allow for uh, allow for the feebles house there. Okay, cool, cool. Um, back at the start of white you. one now. Oh, hello. What are you? Please take Mother Mara's blessing to wash this unease away. Beg your pardon. Mother guides me to those flickering souls who are yet to cast themselves on the fire for tomorrow's utopia. She sees in you potential, potential which can avert calamity. I, her most devoted servant, need you to believe in the goodness of your heart, in love. Stop with the incessant rambling and get to the point. <laughs> Forgive her beloved child oh. of entropy. For all her conviction, she only looks up, blind to those below the clouds which she wishes to ascend. There is a terror, wow. a terror of minds and ideas forming in the West. A congliage of antipathy and repressed hatred is nearing its sum. If this horror transpires, then neither the restraints of distance nor time will thwart the canker that will be birthed there. I make this plea to you, special child. Meditate between the opposites and seek resolution in the chaos. I will help whenever I can, but my light is weak. However, even the faintest flame can act as a beacon against the background of deep night. That flame will appear to you in a maze of dark when you most need it. Uh, Mara, what is this? So this um priestess, she sounds like a religious fanatic, but it seems like I'm actually communing through some kind of deity through her and she's come looking for us now she just said some stuff there that i have no idea what she's actually alluding to but this is all very curious i'm very intrigued there is nothing to decipher just take heed of these words go west and see open those eyes and see that which belies its splendor beset by men gods kings and ideas keep a clear eye I'm all about keeping a clear eye. Keep your head above water when you reach that realm. The tides of want can drown any who venture too far from the shore. Okay. Beyond reach. Okay. What should I do to speak out the merchants? What should I do then? You're still speaking in riddles. Huh? Sorry. Ah, oh, my head. Wow. Okay. That's just a new quest there. Beyond reach. Rumour has it that trade between the Reach has slowed to crawl with the eruption of civil war in Skyrim and growing disorder throughout High Rock. I've learned of a merchant who will soon be making the voyage through the craggy landscape in hopes of delivering his goods to Evermore. He's now stationed at Markarth in search of a caravan guard. I should try to make the trip with him before he departs. Ah, uh, this is um, a mod to go to High Rock. That's freaking cool. It's going to be a long time, I imagine, before we're heading over to Markarth. Or maybe not. Who knows? We shall see. But cool. Very, very cool. Um, what on earth? Oliver. Oh, what sorry, spell you did you cast on her? I, I know of no such spell. Whatever it was had affected me as well. Yes. Yes, I saw. You were mumbling to yourself. Almost word for word that of Jayana. It, forgive me. Our travels have put me in a hastened mood. Um, okay, so she's traveling there. Uh, he, this is Oliver Feller, is, um, her guard, companion, hot, hired mercenary, I don't know. Uh, your priestess has Mara speaking through her. Tell, told me about a place to them in the west. I didn't know madness could be contracted. Uh, is this a jest you're both in on? No. You look like I'm jesting. Tell me of this place to the west. No. It looks like you're serious. Which worries me a lot more. The closest I can come to answering your visions is that we had just hailed from Evermore, which may be that west you want. If you're dead set on taking voyage there, then a merchant who has a route between that hinterland kingdom and Skyrim should be resting at Markarth. Word of warning, if you care to listen. The Reach isn't a place you want to risk your neck just on the visions of a zealous priestess. No doubt. All right. All right. Okay. Well. Interesting. Good to know. Titus, you're doing some work, aren't you, buddy? 
Oh, it's almost going to be night time again. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, solder. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Oh. It has become Before a merchant. my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Oh, interesting. Maybe can help you? You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Okay, bring one mammoth tusk to Isolde. Okay. Um, what do you know of the Khajiit? About the same as everyone else? Yeah. They're the cat folk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah. You mentioned trading yeah. caravans? These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Uh, that's okay, so, yeah, why not? Bit of racism going on. Reputation mostly. Okay. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. Right. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Yeah, totally. Farewell. Interesting. Um. I spent a whole tw 24 hours. There we go. And the bakery's closed again because we've been here too long. <laughs> oh, dear me. Dear me. Um. Right, so if we want to look in the bakery. I don't know if we need to go into uh, Severio's house there, maybe. We need to go into uh, the uh, gen Bellafor's general goods. Arcadia's cauldron still. Um, there's still the guy to ask about the house for sale. I can't remember what his name was. Did we get... Um... Oh, no, I've got a, a note for it. That's for sure. Um... Yeah, for sale. Um, uh, Quintus. Yeah, we need to meet Quintus here and ask about the ha the house for sale. We won't be able to afford it, no doubt, but it should be, you know, we do, I need to look at somewhere we can call our own to stash things, mostly. Have like a, as a bit of a base of operations. We'll take it from there. Um, guys, what time is it? Okay, it's just on six. We've got almost three hours to go still. Loving this. Um, slowly does it i do love a slow burn game um i'm going to i need to take a pee break anyway i'm gonna make another cup of coffee but this 24 hour fasting i'm doing it's um i feel that coffee i don't know if it's a caffeine or just hot liquid in you it seems to take the edge off the the hunger um so um i want to take a three minute break i'll be as quick as i can though be right back folks
Yes, Sea Star. It did seem to be the case. That was uh, that was definitely the vibe I was getting. There you go. I don't know. I have to uh, click uh, click it on through there. I know there's some streamers um, that play on PC. They have like one PC to run the stream and another PC to uh, to like play the game on and connect it all up. But uh, I think that's uh, way into the future. Right, anyway. So <laughs> we've still got a couple of things we need to do to wait to the next day. That's fine. There's got some butterflies around. Ooh. All these butterflies and moths, these are all added into the, uh, the crafting system, aren't they? Which we, we've not really got into it too much, but um, we have faith. You know, I, just because, um, you know, just because uh, I'm not necessarily one who's like, people will say, oh, well, Bethesda made the game this way, so that's the true way. I believe, you know, people can um, play a game and, uh, you know, come up with a better system themselves. I don't think that's impossible. Now, can we go into your Vasco? I assume we can. It's nine o'clock at night, but if they're warriors, this is like the essentially the warriors guild, mercenaries guild. Oh my god! They're training at night time. I assume they're training. Yeah. Oh wow! He's going in with the fists. Oh my god! Somebody help! Oh, he's lost his weapons as well. Now they're just mano a mano. Everyone's just watching. You stand a chance. This is good. Enough. This ends now. No. Azura curse you. My God! Killing you. They're killing you. Maybe they had an actual dispute, and this is an actual fight to the death. But not for us to say. Oh, he's not dead though. She won. What kind of weapon do you prefer? I like the smaller, quicker blades. Okay. Yes, you're very um. fond of saying that. You know I like hammers and axes. Aren't they slow? I can get <gasps> in and out before you What was all that about? Swing. Let's test that out sometime. Um, hello? I haven't seen you before, have I? Have we met? I'm sorry um, if I've forgotten. We're the best damn fighters in Skyrim. At least, some of us are. I'm crazy as well. Uh, who's in charge? In charge of what? I'm in charge of me, and you're in charge of you. Yeah. If you're looking to join up, Codlac's the one. Yeah, Codlac, that's the one, isn't it? Uh, uh, what did you join the, the man companions? Of my station has many debts. I'm not much use at labor or learning, but I can throw a punch with the best of them. The companions let me fight for gold, and so I fight. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I do love coffee as well, Sea Star. I don't. It's rare, and it's been a long time since I've like real coffee. But uh, even like the, the cheap free dry stuff, well, freeze dried well, stuff is instant stuff is. It's is, is better than nothing, isn't it? Looks like right. significantly better than nothing. Um, Nyad, Nadja. What the hell was that about? Speak. When you put it that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. What yep. now? So I wouldn't have to answer stupid questions from idiots. Wow. Okay. Lovely. I haven't seen your face before. I'm watching you. I learned the ways of the blade in the Great War. Nearly lost my life outside the Imperial City. I came home war. to Skyrim when it was all over, but I wasn't much good at anything other than fighting. Wandered around as a blade for hire. Was a damned good one, too. The money was good, and the women were good, and the drinks were good. But I was losing myself, my heart. I was lucky the companions found me. Now there's a reason to be fighting. The honor of my brothers and sisters is worth more than coin. Of okay. course the money is still good. And the drinks. Huh? <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'm gonna ask him if I can join. I need to find Codlack. Some point, he's just say, "Oh, Codlack, won't he?" Um. Farkas, hello. 
My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. He should be around someplace. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father Jurgen raised us here. Oh. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. Interesting. That's Ilo. We've already met Ilo. Ah, fresh blood. Hope you know how to handle yourself. Fortune and glory, friend. Fortune and glory. Real. What's on your mind? Why do you join the companions? Jane. I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Okay. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 orc berserkers? Nope. Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. <laughs> Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. I like their fire pit. <coughs> Although the heat that would be given off, you'd want your tables pushed back a little bit further than that. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, the living quarters in the basement. Okay, cool, cool. Let's have a look. Unless I join them, maybe I can I'll get some living quarters. That would that would do for now to store stuff. Okay, this is like the main barracks. Oh, hello. Tilma. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. Oh, she's a servant. You want to talk okay. to one of the companions, I'm sure. Okay. Goodbye. Sorry dear. to yeah, sorry to wake you up there, lady. Um, it's very curious what's going on here. Yeah, they've got lots of um, storage space and fancy stuff if you're in, in of a mind to be stealing things. Which I know C Star wants me to go straight, uh, a straight thief here, but uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll become a thief at some point. But for now, we're just um, just taking it all in. But yeah, if I were of a mind to try and rip off the companions, that's definitely something we could do. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Okay. Greetings. Kodlak White Mane. A stranger comes to our hall. Um, who are the companions? Your Let's hear from the boss. more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. Indeed. I try to hold us to the right path. So, look, here's the thing, um, C-Star. We're not, we're not playing Izzy as like, goody two-shoes. We're playing the long game. So we're trying to get everybody to be our friend at the minute. And uh, not cause too much mischief. But as time goes along, we shall see. Um, why did you join the Companions? Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my own. Okay. I travelled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Askar, found me in Hammerfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. <laughs> he brought me back here, and I realized that I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family and to the family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my shield siblings. So it's really it's a brotherhood, isn't it? Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of yeah. us, girl. So really, yeah, they're like a band of brothers, of warriors, um, that don't stand or fight for anything else, presumably. I'll ask him about the war in a second. Um, they do their own thing. Um, and yes, of course, they need to have expenses. They've got a servant to pay. They've got food to buy. Um, you know, firewood to buy. Um, so they do take on mercenary work, but they're not like cutthroat mercenaries not like a guild um they are just a brotherhood of warriors 
Maybe to our advantage to join them. Um, let me ask him his opinion on the war, though. Politics are something best avoided. I prefer more personal confrontations myself. Inclined to agree. Um, should we join? I don't see any reason not to. I'd like to join the companions. Would you now? Oh, Here, okay. <laughs> let me have a look at you. Red guard. <laughs> yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. A little bit wet beyond the ears. Master, you're not truly considering accepting her. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your basket Ooh. for those with a fire burning in their hearts. I'll do have that. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. I'm new to town. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, girl? Um, I can handle myself. You dare question my skill. I have much to learn. Um, I'm not gonna be... <laughs> you dare question my skill? Uh, no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> uh, I can kind of handle myself. But, um, the truth is, I do... Izzy does have much to learn. She's not even level six yet. Long way to go. I'm going to be honest. That's the spirit. Vilkas here yeah, will get started that. on that. Vilkas, take her out to the yard and see what she can do. Aye. Alright, so Vilkas and Farkas was the, is this guy's brother. I don't know if they're twin brothers. They look very similar, don't they? Um, I guess they, they've been here since they were kids. So they've not only been companions longer than most of the other companions, they seem to be like kind of like uh, confidants or right hand men of Codlac. Right, okay, he wants us to go with Vilkas. Okay, and I guess that's Codlac's room there. And uh, do some training or something. We'll test us out. I better not go with him. Or we'll, he might get shitty with us. I don't know that. It's, uh, it's the middle of the night, but companions don't sleep. <laughs> or they do. They just. They, they don't. Have a, you know, they have a 24-hour schedule. They just do whatever. Um, oh, they've all gone to bed. Or not. Um, I want to check over here. That's just like a little storage cupboard. Uh, Vignard Greymane. We Greymanes have been feuding with ah, the Ah, yeah. Oh, this is years. the leader of the, the head of the Greymane house. no more bitter enemy than an old friend. And he's a member of the Companions. Uh, tell me about. Well, I'll just have a quick chat with him. Tell me about the oh, grey manes. Got an old saying: the grey manes have lived in White Run since the first snows fell in Skyrim. Damn, that's well, a long time ago, no? Maybe that's not entirely true. <laughs> but our clan's got a long and proud history in this old. We respect the old ways, the Nord ways, and the grey mane has worked the Skyforge since before the time of my grandfather's father. Um, so your clans used to be friends? Aye. Yeah. We used to be fast friends. Though it was long ago. We were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans. And we could trace our histories all the way back to East Grimoire's companions. But then Alfred got rich and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple backwards Nord. Right. When the troubles began, he took the Empire side. We haven't spoken much since then. I'm not sure where I stand on the Stormcloak Rebellion in the Civil War. Like, whose side we should take. Um, or who's really in the right. Um, you know, on one hand, yes, if you want independence from the, uh, the mother state, so to speak. Then that's perfectly reasonable. I respect that. Um, on the other hand... The empires run Skyrim for hundreds of years, and most people are happy with the way things are. So I don't know. But um, in terms of the Grey Mains and the Battleborns, the Grey Mains seem to be far more respectable to me. The Battleborns seem a bit like, apart from John, John seems like a good guy, but the rest of the Battleborns seem to be like their head of the house, at least. Alfred is a dick. Um, uh, well, but yeah, um, what about you? Uh, who are the companions? Oh, they used to be yeah. something. Used Nowadays, to be? they just squabble amongst themselves. Oh, Take okay. my advice and keep away. 
You look too smart to get caught. Oh, well, I've just asked to join. <laughs> why did you join, though? Well, when you get to be my age, you don't remember why you did much of anything. Only that Lol. it happened. Okay. Um, what about your rivals, the Battleborns? They're an old clan like ours. But they cast their lot with the Empire when the uprising began. Ulfred Battleborn made his money from farming. And got himself some new friends among the Empire's nobles. Yeah, I'll see. Now he's trying the to protect his interests. Like the rest of them, with no regard for honor and tradition. I see. I was done talking anyway. Okay. Well, aside from the, the snarky comment there, uh, Vignard, <laughs> uh, it's uh, you seem like more respectable to me. Um, so let me um. Yeah, spar with Vilkas in the training yard behind Yulvaska. Let's try this then. Here we go. I think I've got a fire pit outside as well. I also, oh, you know what I've also considered? If I join them, some of this stuff throughout the play, throughout Yulvaska, I might, might not be uh, classed as being stolen anymore. I can probably just take some of it. Maybe, I don't want to assume. At least, like, say that uh, apple pie there, that's stealing at the minute. But if I join them, I might be able to just take it. Oh my god, he's got a sword arm on him, hasn't he? Vilkas. The old man Thankfully, we're just sparring. At you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. You can't win this! Nope. Not bad. Okay. Next time won't be so easy. <laughs> it wasn't much or anything, though, was it? it? But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Okay, that was the uh, that was the spar in there, Vilkas. Take a few swings at me. One swing of the, my axe, he easily blocks it, and he's like, "Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's all right. That's not too bad. Not too bad." You, 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 so, and now he's like, "Here, take my sword and go have it sharpened by Yorland." Okay, and he's the uh, up at the Skyforge, which I think is just up there, isn't it? I assume he's going to be here at, in the middle of the night. And he is. Okay. Oh, wow. This looks rather rather fancy. Damn. Just giant stone eagle. You, so, Yorland, Greymane. What brings you here? Sir, I've heard that you are the greatest smith in all of Skyrim. Is this true? Uh, Vilka sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. I said, they've taken me on, I guess. Um, um, I'm just doing what I'm asked. Yeah. Does Vilka always send newcomers on errands, probably? Okay, I'm just going to say, I'm just doing what I'm asked. That attitude would get you far. If you were some stuffy merchant or a Jarl's footstool. Yeah. Around here, you'll want to learn to live your own life. Okay. Remember. Nobody rules anybody in the companions. Right, so swing it, swing my uh, big lady uh, red guard dick around, basically, and just be like, "Yeah, I'm a badass." Um, uh, are you a companion? Someone has to be in charge, though. Uh, yes, yeah, someone has to be in charge, though, right? Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Okay. Kodlak is the harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own. Every woman, her own. Okay. And are you an official companion, Yuland? Not actually a companion okay. myself. <clears throat> but none of them know how to work a forge properly. And I'm honored to serve them. Okay. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge. Best steel in all of Skyrim. All of Tamriel. Cool. Yeah, basically, Sea Star. It seemed like it, didn't it? <laughs> uh, I'll need to be going, I guess. I have a favor to ask. Okay. What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aella. Okay. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. Yeah. 
Did you just tell me not to be a servant? <laughs> this isn't a command, just decency. Help out an old blacksmith. I've got to get back to my work. Okay. Agreed. All right, so he's made a, a shield for Isla and wants us to uh, take it to her. Um, what about, uh, what about uh, Vilkas? Is he... Oh, okay, I didn't. He doesn't want to return. He just wanted me to pass the sword along to Yorland. Okay. Now, um, can we use the forge. I guess we can, right? Oh. Ooh, Bakuzashi, eh? Um. Definitely need to do some uh, smithing at some point, but. I don't think that we've actually got uh, too much in the way of materials at the moment. Alright, so she's probably gone to bed, but wake her up. Here's your shield. <laughs> have the shield. She'll be like, I'd rather have sleep. I know. She said, wait, come on. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Not quite at the moment. I've got your shield. There you go. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Wait, I remember you. So the old man thinks you've got some heart, I guess. You know this one? I saw her training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. Tra <laughs> not really training, but... Quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you Neither, think you can actually. handle Vilkis in a real fight? Um, I would kill him before he drew his sword. I don't know about that. Well, no, that, he, that's not true. That's <laughs> Even if we could beat him, that's literally not true. Uh, And I actually, even if... I don't know if I could actually beat him. I assume he's a badass. We are just a, a newbie warrior to this world. Uh, I don't care for boasting. Ha! Huh. A woman who lets her actions speak for her. Yeah, there we go. I knew there was something I liked about you. There we go. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Isgrimor himself Farkas. wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Did you call me? Mm -hmm. Of course we did, Ice Brain. No. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember you. Uh, you just said Come that. On, follow me. Oh, it's far as Farkas, behind me. I was looking at that. <laughs> Skior and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. Yeah, I, I hope mean, we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Okay. Demo will keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. By the oh, way, thank you. if you're looking for something to do, we've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle right here in Whiterun Hold. I don't know what the fight is about, and that's not our business anyway. I just need you to go out there, look tough, and scare this milk drinker into submission. Yeah. No more than that. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? Okay, so go intimidate someone. Okay, I'll, we can do that. Try not to get carried away. Okay. Uh, radiant mission, though. Okay, so I don't know if that's actually something we really need, but... Okay, so we're just the uh, the crappy uh, companions around here. I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. Wow, how charming! Oh, I can actually if take some stuff now. For you, I'm some stuff. To respect their judgment, but that doesn't mean I like it. Oh, ironwood nuts, also known as acorns. Okay, so taking that money, whoever's money that is. 
a coin purse. We can take the wine and various random junk scattered around. I'll take these books. I'm going to collect the books here. Um, but some things are uh, are stealing. Um, now, if I, I don't know if I'm going to go and put uh, all my stuff in any of these uh, any of these containers, they'll still be here. But this is kind of good. We, at least we've got a place we can, if we need to, rest or pull our own, or so to speak. Oh, carrying too much now. Okay. I want to. I want to go see. Um. What's his name? I can't remember the bro's name. I keep forgetting. Quintus. Got to see Quintus about this house. money steal okay um so uh farkas said speak to him or uh well he gave us that one mission didn't he but it was um intimidate bellathor i need to do that but i guess we could do that because it's in white run Okay, so we've joined the companions. Oh, wow. They let us just take their weapons and stuff, will they? Okay, interesting. We can um, possibly be an asshole and just take a bunch of their stuff and make some money. But let's uh, not worry about that for a moment. Hmm. Curious symbol there. Um, what time of day is it? Okay, so almost first thing in the morning. Uh, apart from checking in a few uh, places down in the low, lower side of the town. Let's see if we... Um... Oh my god. Too many ingredients here. What are you... Now we don't... I, I need to... Um... I suppose we could just start smashing all these together. Uh, just to see what... And if we could make any random potions at all. But... Um... I don't know if that's uh, ideal. We've got 230 purple mountain flowers. I'm going to just eat a bunch for a second. Don't pick anything else up, Is You bloody idiot. Yeah, Dragon's Reach. Cool. Um, let's just walk around the outside. Ah, read. A rewarding gold. Let's have a look. Uh, turning all citizens of white run hold. You who catches the white stallion roaming the fields of white run will be rewarded with its weight in gold. Surely not. It's uh, the weight of a horse in gold. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I guess they're uh, exaggerating slightly. As the stewards understand it, others, such as uh, Jocelyn down by the city stables, are often reward for this great beast as well. Just remember, she cannot pay the bounty of, of y Yarl, of the Yarl, I guess. Okay. Running wild quest, okay. Catch the white or Palomino horse roaming the fields of white run. Okay. Oh. Got on here. Oh. A little strong box requires a key. This is some kind of weird child's doll. This is a weird little thing going on here. 
So it's almost a stash of stuff. Okay. Curious. God, nice view. Hey, sleep mate. How are you doing there, bro? You all right? Pretty well, sir. Wow, I don't think I want to be uh, necessarily climbing up here. into the dungeon um i guess we can go down there we're just we're just exploring we're just visitors uh, another fine day of work well bless you sir needs must i you'll do what you'll do hopefully it's not too rough they say helgen got hit by a dragon one of those horrors comes here we'll be ready I don't know if that's true, but I admire your fighting spirit. Alright, so we've got a few cells here. All locked up, even though there's not currently anyone in them. Oh. Is that guy... Is that guy dead? He might be. Um. Okay, this is their uh, little re uh, break room, I guess. And they're little, they're, uh, they're the guards, the jailers own little barracks there. Okay, cool. Dragons, I can handle. But this talk of dragons, world gone mad, I say. Yeah, no doubt, buddy. Okay, back outside. This is the different door. This isn't the door we came in from. If the news from Helgen is true, well, oh. there's no telling what it Oh, we're, in, we're gone into Dragon's Reach. I only oh, jeez. I've busted we in that hall. Let me see. Like Hello. What would you have me do then? Nothing? Oh. My lord, What's please. the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. We act. I just... Excuse me. Um, I've news from F Helgen about the dragon. Sorry, I didn't mean to bust in like this, folks. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. They didn't. Come on, then. The Oops. Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the Jarl. So this is what we've really come here to uh, white run for. Um, sir... Uh, p uh, pardon the intrusion. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Um, yeah. I didn't see it destroy Helgen, but I basically saw that. Um, yeah, the dragon destroyed Helgen. That's where it was headed this way. It did. It did fly off north. We did. By Ismir, Irileth was right. Yeah. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... So the dragon flew way beyond Riverwood, though. That's a we'll thing. that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Yeah. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me... I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done white run. Who's well? Who we suggested to us? I won't forget it. There we go. <laughs> Take this as a small token of my esteem. Okay, cool. That is Give us some armor. Thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. Um, so thank you for the armor there as a reward. Gold would have been better, but uh, Imperial Studded Armor. Well, obviously, we know what side of the war he's on, don't we? Um, not as good as the uh, the Feast Guild armor. Uh, so I'm not going to be Imperial un Ungrateful. Um, I'm just going to drop it on the floor here for a minute, buddy. Quit throwing your garbage everywhere. Oh, sorry. Alfred's 
Shut up. I'm not. I'm, I'm placing it there for a moment. I'll come back for it. What's he doing hanging out here? So, um. That was a generous of uh, Jarl Balgruff there, but, um. He appreciates that what we've come to see him and let him know what's what. And he's seeing if we can do something else for him. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. Okay. So Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must know. be referring to my research into the dragon. Right. Well, the more the more yes, you know. I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ancient stone tablet, you say? Right. Uh, where am I going and what am I fetching? I just have to do with dragons. Okay. Ah. No mere brute mercenary, but a thinker, perhaps even a scholar. You see, Maybe when one day. the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibility. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. Agreed. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? Uh... Okay, that's reasonable. What do you need me to do, Ferengar? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A oh! A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. So simple, in fact. We've actually already done it. Oh, that's cool. And I think I do remember this from the vanilla game. If you were to say, um, completely skip out on talking to Lucan about his golden claw, which you could easily do if you didn't speak to him or agree to do it for him, uh, and just come right to it straight to White Run. Or if you, um, do do Lucan's quest and get his co golden claw back and you're like, eh, I've got his claw. I've got no reason to search these ruins. I'm going home. Um, when you get here, you're actually told to go back to Bleak Falls Barrow. Because yesterday, we were like, you know what? Let's, uh, search the ruin. As we're here, we're adventurers, we're treasure hunters. And we found this interesting, uh, stone tablet, dragon stone, eh? Do you mean this old stone, Ferengar? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Boom! You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brute the Jarl foists on me. Yeah, no, we're, we're, um, we are a mercenary, Farangar, but we are a thinking, feeling, uh, educate, educated, uh, scholar. Um. <laughs> what about my reward? Okay, well, let's not press that, but, um, I got you the Dragonstone. What next with your research? So maybe we can ingratiate ourselves even more with the Jarl if we help Ferengar with his dragon research. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Yeah, okay. Wait for me. All right. Ferengar. Irelith is coming back. What's going on? Get out of the way. Ferengar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. Me? A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Okay. Let's go. I guess I'm going with these two. We, so, were we getting pulled into here? Tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast, faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. <coughs> we'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. 
I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Ow! You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And oh, please, Jean, permission. Accept this gift from my personal armory. Oh, okay. No, I can't oh. afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. Oh, Farron Gar's not coming. Thing, this isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. He gave me a second set of armor. <laughs> uh, minor squire. Ah, okay. Light armor is more effective. Um, and it is light armor. And 34 and 6. 12 points more effective. Now, does that mean an extra level of armor rating? Or does that mean uh, does that mean uh, you know when it says 34 armor rating is it actually uh, 46 sir uh, Armor rate. No, because it would be... No, because that would add it to all light armor you're wearing. I can only assume it means that your arm, light armor skill functions at 12 levels higher. So that's pretty... That's pretty freaking good. I would argue that's actually better than the feast skilled armor. But, um... It's uh, we're carrying too much at the minute. Um, I'm going to have to drop, again, drop it on the floor for a moment. I hope he doesn't get shitty with us. I'll come back for it. Especially if it's enchanted. Right, so he wants me to. He's like, "Yo, go, by the way, go and help. Uh, go and help me um, fight that dragon. Uh, Preventus Avancini. Avancini, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, I'd like to put your house in the city. Five thousand gold. Damn. So we can buy a house. Five, five k though. Would not be a terrible thing, honestly. Um. That is an old tale. Yeah, what's it called? Keep well Reach. known to those of us who serve in the keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor, with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex, and so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Okay, that's cool. Uh, the history of the city? Ah, splendid. Sorry, Balgoth. Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with your Vasker, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around your Vasker, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the Holds. Fair enough. Uh, tell me about the districts, well, maybe. There are three of them, arranged in three tiers, as you may have noticed. The Plains District is so named because it's the closest of the three to the plains that surround the city. The Inn and Marketplace are found there. Yeah. Most of the city's residents live in the Wind District, which is the middle of the three. Dragon's Reach occupies the highest, right, okay. which we call the Cloud District. From here, Plains, the Jarl wind can and cloud. see all that goes on within his city. Indeed. 5,000 gold, eh? Enjoy we'll work on it. To Dragon's Reach. Help Irileth kill this dragon before it can attack Whiterun. There's no time to lose. Okay, hang on, hang on. Um, so this I'm is a map of, of uh, here in White Run. right. 
friend of Caius. boys will keep you safe. Don't you worry. Oh. Are your boys going to help me? Going to keep me safe from this dragon I've got to go fight? <laughs> um, <coughs> so, um, yeah, this is an interesting battle map. This is the first time I've seen this. Um, ah, oh, we're getting map markers. <coughs> Imperial Rourke said. Um, Carthwiston. I serve oh, Yarrow no, I wasn't. As steward. I'm trying to click on you, buddy. Mark Carth. The Fort Sun Guard. The Falkreath. Noongrad. Riverwood. Obviously, we've already got that. White Run. My Fort Lord, Greymore. Our provisions are running dangerously low. Morthal. Our stores of meat, wine, and grain Snowhawk. are all but depleted. Purchase Solitude. more supplies, then. That's your job as steward. Hang on, bridge. Why do you trouble me with these details? I'll get that last one. He sends on it. My lord. <laughs> oh, hang on. Since Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising, the cost of goods has doubled. Indeed. I'll need more coin hush, to guys. provision hush. us properly. Our coffers are nearly empty. I can scarcely afford to pay the guards, and we need every one of them in these troubled times. You'll have to make do with what we have, Proventus. Mm. Yes, my lord. But yes, my point was going to be. It seems that um, basically, I guess these uh, skirmishers. Oh, that's orphan rock there with the, the hag ravens are. Um, it seems that um, the um, Skyrim's basically split in two, like right down the middle, west. This is the empire controlled regions and the east the rift uh windhelm and up to the north here this is all more kind of uh stormcloak controlled regions not that it should matter to us because we're not involved personally but that is um interesting obviously you're going to get patrols of either side in enemy territory but that's generally where they're uh they're hot yeah they're uh they're distributed and i guess windhelm would be if there was a number one base of the Stormcloaks, it would be Windhelm. And obviously Solitude is the number one base of the Empire, the Imperial Troops. Um, take a few more of these markers here. And for what it's worth. You're not thinking Rest of course. causing trouble here in this beautiful city now, are you? No, hell no. Advise against such foolishness. Hell no, buddy. My boys will keep you safe. Don't you worry. I'm just clicking on your little... I'm just looking at your uh, wall map. I'm getting a few markers, that's all. I'm on nobody's side. I'm on, my own, I'm on uh, Izzy's side. That's it, that's all. Sorry. That's the Jarl's quarters. Let's be nosy. That's so we don't get in trouble. Damn. He's got some stuff to steal. For sure. <laughs> Hello. I'm just passing through. I assume that's not his room. A far. Father says I'm yeah. too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. I don't know. I think he's it looks about the right age to be, to be given a sword to, no? Okay, I guess that's his office there. Take coin purse. That's not stealing. Okay. Or well, maybe. Oh God! All, all these books. A few books. One of the new servants. Yep. Remember that I like my meat rare. No worries, Dagny. Nelkia. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Ooh, the cheek of it. Oh, I guess this is uh. This is uh. The Jarl's master bedroom. Oh, another unusual gem. Can I? I'll take that as it's like a, a special. I think that's related to a quest, actually. Nobody saw me take it. That's fine. Well, I don't know if it even counted as stealing. Servants' quarters.
Interesting. Okay, we're going to... I want to get 5,000 gold, really. Let's go and buy some property. But that's not the, uh, I don't know. That's not the prop property that, um... Okay, now we're in the kitchen. Uh, that's not the property that, um... God damn it. How many times have I got to look up his freaking name? Quintus. Jesus wept. Quintus is trying to sell. Uh, I, I assume. It's two different ones. I uh, might Gerda. just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duties as seriously as the Jarl himself takes his. Okay. Don't doubt it. Yep, yeah, that again. Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the Jarl. And don't you forget. I will not forget. Thank you. Okay, this is on the other side here. Um, bro, Runga. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the Stormcloaks. Is that right? Okay. Oh, he's fucking Alfred. Yeah, not exactly a, a fan of his. Um, here's Farangar's spot. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Really? Um, okay, how do you enchant weapons and armor? Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Okay. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, ah. then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process. So That's what we're looking it. for. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that too. Cool. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. Yeah. That's a little you got hmm. for sale, buddy. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Um all right, all sorts of scrolls he's got. Spells, tomes, up the wazoo. Oh, here we go. This is the one I want candlelight. Excellent. Creates a hovering light. Reduces uh, magic by 15 or 7 with novice alteration. Uh... So that's not the cost, so I assume you can have that and cancel it at any time. My god. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. One second, folks. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, damn. We need to be um trying to make some money. Um, so alarm uh, lets you an enemy is nearby uh, across 150 foot perimeter. Interesting. Alter body. Change your physical appearance. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Arctic blast. A freezing wind does damage. Uh, Atronax mark. Summon a target. Mark, sorry, marks a target for 10 seconds. The mark detonates when struck by a summoned or reanimated minion. Dealing magic damage, you to 15% of the target's health. So that's fairly... Not fairly weak, but... I guess a dragon, that would be amazing. But, um... Okay, so, so, so it's a... It's a damage spell to be used in conjunction with the summoned minion. Basically, whether that's like a zombie or uh, an actual, something else, like a little skeever or whatever. Uh, Azul's Reconstruction... Okay, expend stamina to heal your uh, conjured minion. Okay. Um, yeah, good for a mage, because they are doing mages. They're using magic or not stamina so much in combat. <clears throat> uh, backlash. Interrupts the target spellcaster. If a spell is interrupted, the target is hit by their own offensive spell. Oh. Uh, while non-offensive spells, buffs are cast on you. It's like a counter spell. Wow. Nice. Bone spirit. A vengeful spirit that homes in on the target and explodes for 51 points of magic damage to undead. 
Okay, so damage only to undead. It's a restoration attack spell. Interesting. Uh, bound battle axe creates a magical battle axe. Sheathed to dispel it. Excellent. So you can conjure weapons. I know, yeah, bound weapons. That's um, remember that from vanilla. Um, poops. Oh, thank you, Sea Star. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so scrolls, uh, Sea Star. I think you get. A, I'd rather just have a learn a spell and just use my own magic for it. I never really. I think scrolls to me are just money. It's like uh, excellent uh, weight to money ratio. How you doing there, Sir Poots? You well, buddy? <clears throat> uh, bound sword. Uh, calm. Creatures and people won't fight for thirty seconds. Chance to fail on targets above level seven. And so that's the problem with the uh, the fury and the calm spells in the, the illusion school. Um, it only works on real low level enemies, which is fine because we're low level at the minute. But it has a chance to fail, so I'd rather just fight stuff. Do you know what I mean? Candlelight, though, I've got to buy that. We we have to get that as a, a bare minimum. We've got to save some money at the minute. Got to be done. Uh, circle of strength. Um. <clears throat> Okay, so you place a circle on the ground, you steal stamina per second. That's cool. Command. Creatures and people fight for the caster for 30 seconds, but of course it may fail. Um, Avenging Wraith. Ah, okay, and this is a, a sustained ability. Stats are equal to 150% of those of the opponent that last killed it. Oh, what the hell? Because it starts um, at 50 health, magicka, and stamina. But when it gets killed, it comes back stronger the next time. Or oh, well, stronger. It, it comes back um, one and a half times stronger than the opponent that's killed it. What if it? What if you chuck it out and a dragon kills it? That's weird. That can't be exactly as it sounds there. Um, my god, it's no dragon slaying yet, Poots, but that may change very soon in our near future. Uh, a dragon has been spotted nearby Whiterun, and the Yarl has asked us to go and help fight it. And I'm like, sorry, bro. We, we just met. He's like, no, I'm the Yarl. Uh, so you should probably do what I say. And then if you do it, I'll be, you know, I'll look kindly on you. Uh, and if you don't, then, well... But you're not going to do that, are you? So, <laughs> um, so you may see our very first proper dragon up close uh, very soon. Yeah, <clears throat> exactly, exactly, Poots. We're like, hey, Yarl, Mr. Yarl, we saw a dragon the other day. And he's like, oh, thank you for telling me. Um, I want you to help my court wizard do it with his little dragon research project. Okay, did that. Uh, and as soon as we've done that, oh, by the way, there's a dragon over the way. Uh, and the head of his guard is like, um, oh yeah, you come with us. Come with me me as well. Okay. And the Yarl's like, guys, go kill the dragon. And you as well, Izzy. You're going to help kill the dragon too. And I was like, is, was, was there a question mark at the end of that? And the Yarl's like, no. Anyway, I've got stuff to do. Off you go. I was like, oh no! <laughs> um... But, you know, it's uh, all good fun. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if we're going to be tough enough. So we've got a mod that doubles the strength of dragons. All that being said, <clears throat> this is, like, kind of the first dragon you fight in the in vanilla Skyrim. And it's kind of like an introduction to dragons. So I don't remember it being a gimme. But it may definitely be easier than any other dragon we're ever going to fight. And it may even be scaled to our level. So even even with the double strength dragon mod we've got, it, um, we may be okay. But I am a little bit nervous about it. We're still gonna give it a go. I'm just looking at uh, these spells that uh, Ferengar's got here. Um, Conjure cat totem, a no Nordic totem spirit. Changes between warrior and cat form to heal. What? What even is that? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Uh, under clan fear. Clan fears are, um, kind of, uh, it's interesting that some of the con conjure spells are, um, are, like, the permanent sustained ones, and some are just for the 60 seconds, so I wonder if they're slightly better. Uh, conjure, 
activate a corpse to uh, store it. Someone's a dead eye captain. And store it in a corpse. Activate the captain to dredge it up. What? These magics are insane. Um, somewhere in a Dramora churl. Uh, conjurer. A familiar. Non-specific familiar. Uh, flame Atronach. Yeah, can't go wrong with those. Uh, consuming power. Allied summon or reanimated minion uh, gains 75 extra percent extra attack for 10 seconds, then dies. Oh, okay. She make it go nuts for 10 seconds, and then eh, it's out of there. <clears throat> uh, courage spell. Creatures and people won't flee for a minute. And targets get a 25% point bonus to health and stamina. Okay. So we've got allies with you. Buff them up. Uh, crackle. Um... 10 damage to health and magicka. Static cloud follows the target. Oh, okay. It's like an area effect damage. Um, creeping cold. <clears throat> After six seconds, it freezes the target. Oh. Well, that's pretty good. So you can stick it on someone. As long as you get out of the way for six seconds, they'll be frozen solid. I guess it doesn't work on anything like dragons, for example. Um, crying eye. Blinds the target. 20% less likely to detect the caster for 30 seconds. Or even see at all, maybe. Um, yeah, no. See, start. Yeah, the Yarl's like, don't worry, the guards have got you back. And you're like, yeah, okay. Uh, silent. Curse of the Silent. Ah, uh, Magicka Drain. Cool. Um... By drain, just damage. I guess you're not taking it into yourself. Uh, dispel magic on friends and foes. Uh, dragon's teeth ignites all targets, doing five points of damage for four seconds. And on death, the ground burns for 15 damage per second. Wow. Drop zone. Ring of cushioning magic uh, uh, at the target location. Oh, so you can cast that below you. No fall damage. Sweet. As long as you land in the drop zone. Um, ah, ease burden. Increases carry capacity by 100 for a minute. Now, obviously, you have to cast it once every minute, but you can carry up to more, you know, a lot more stuff. Um, entropic life. Uh, summoned or reanimated minions near the caster. Recover five points of health and stamina per second. Nice. Uh, fast healing. Ah, so that's a heal that you just instantly use and you get the uh, the uh, the heal rather than holding it like our basic healing we've got at the minute. Uh, fear. Again, make people make enemies flee, but probably not going to work. Uh, fire rune. Um, place the rune. Explodes 50 points of damage. Um, obviously they walk on it, so you put it on the floor in front of you, I guess. <coughs> Firebolt. Flames, that's our basic, we've already got that. Uh, Fracture. Thin layer of ice deals five damage for three seconds. The ice shatters when struck by a, a different frost spell. Oh. Uh, frost rune. Ghost walk. Invisible for ten seconds. Oh, then you teleport back to where you were. Ah, uh, she kind of like become a ghost form to like scout ahead. Interesting. Uh, Gonar's greed. Oh wow, that's cool. Transfer all items from dead bodies in a sixty foot radius. That's a lot to the caster. Now, obviously, you're gonna instantly probably be encumbered, but <laughs> never mind. Interesting spell. Uh, an ice crystal. Oh, hail so an ice crystal that shatters. Fifteen damage. Uh, direct hits bypassed frost resistance. Mm. <clears throat> Haste mount. Target mount moves 20% faster and has unlimited stamina for three minutes. Uh, healing hands. That's healing other people. Hush. Drain uh, magic from the target and prevents magic regen. Uh, pretty good if you're fighting mages. Ice spike. Illusionary flames. Concentrate to deal 30% of their current health as temporary damage that wears off after two seconds. 
weird. Ah. Okay, so I think that will... If you use that on someone who's close to death, you can finish them off quickly. I think that's the idea. You, like... It's an illusionary flame, so you, like, trick them into thinking they're taking damage, which they quickly realize they're not, but if they're almost dead, you kill them before they realize. I that's, that's a weird one, but, um... Never mind, eh? Uh, Inferno. Uh, equipping the Ember Bolt spell for up to 15 seconds. And it deals 40 damage. Okay, we've got so many. Uh, Lamb of Mara. Uh, oh, for 30 seconds, you gain 35% of the health the target loses. Ah, so if you're going on a one-on-one -on -one fight, <clears throat> you can cast that on some uh, your enemy. And then a third of the damage you do, you get back in health. That's pretty good. Uh... Ah, latch crack. Reduces the difficulty of nearby locks by 25 points for 10 seconds. Now, I think when you start lock picking, time in the world around you is actually technically stopped. So that could be very useful. Getting to uh, hard locks. Leech seed. Infest the living target with a poison spore for 10 seconds. When the caster falls below full health, the spore absorbs 5 points of health per second. Okay. So you stick that spore on your enemy, and then they that drains their health out of you. Out out of them into you. Okay. God, lightning bolt, lightning grasp, lightning rune, long stride. Twenty percent movement speed and twenty five carry weight. Tripled when out of combat. Bam. Uh but mage light as a ball of light you stick on something. Mind vision. See through the eyes of target creature or humanoid for 10 seconds. Hmm. Uh, Silas noise from movement. Reduces magic by 70 or 35 with the apprentice illusion. Okay. Uh, mystic wind. Oh. Restores health. Oh, sorry. Restores uh, magicka per second while you are sprinting. Okay. That's curious. Uh, necroplague infects a corpse with a spreading virus. Nine points of disease damage to non-mechanical foes. God, very um, this is the magic system. They've, they've put whoever's done it. They've put a lot into it. A cartos recital. Uh, stores the beneficial self-targeted non-concentration spell in your left hand, and casts it for no cost whenever you enter combat. Up to three spells. Empty the left hand to reset. Oh. So you can store three... Is it a spell to store other spells without... Okay, that's... Curious. I'll have to, I'll have to test that to see how that works out. Um, Pale Shadow. Oh, okay. Target enemy is attacked by its own image for 10 seconds. It deals the same damage, but has one point of health. I can't use that on a dragon, right? That's insane. Get an illusion dragon to attack the the other dragon. I don't I don't know, who knows? Um Perilous Path laid down a spike barrier that lasts ten seconds and randomly staggers enemies moving through the spikes. Power of the Master. Cast the beneficial self target spell in your left hand on all nearby summoned or reanimated minions. Okay. Um so a lot of these left hand spells, the storing one as well, you have to use this spell in your right hand and it's affecting the, your left hand spell a little bit convoluted but we'll uh we'll soon uh get to grips with it if we use it i don't know um prepare for adventure a set of basic enchanted mage items robe circlet boots destruction staff in your inventory for 180 seconds so you can be like a naked mage and just use <laughs> clothe yourself in magic um Summon a wall of earth that blocks passage. We animate corpse. We've. How is that different to the zombie spell? A more powerful dead body to fight for you. Ah. Okay, I see. That's like the next level up of our, of our zombie spell. Rhinos's fins. You swim 100% faster for 60 seconds. Nice. Rift bolt. Um. Uh. Shock damage. Shared trauma. Ah, when 
For 10 seconds, when target creature or humanoid loses health, the previous target loses the same amount. I just target as it means you're attacking. And so it could be useful if you're fighting multiple enemies. Um, Shield of Daybreak. Six seconds. Cast the blocks 10% better and recovers 10 points of stamina on a successful block. Okay. Buffing your shield up. Simulacrum. Creatures and people are attacked by an illusion for 10 seconds. Is that all people? Again, that's one of the ones that can fail easily. <clears throat> now, this is insane. This can't be as good as it sounds. Kills a living target in melee range with 25% or less remaining health. That's incredible. And surely it can't work on dragons. Surely it can't. Um, slow fall. Fall at reduced speed, taking no damage from falls for 60 seconds. Okay, that's two different ways to, uh, not take fall damage. we see. Soul Cloak. Ah, we might want to get that. So that's, um, Soul Trap spell. Without having to actually cast it on people. You can just have it as a, a, a buff on yourself. And there's standard Soul Trap right there. Although you could probably level it a little bit better by using Soul Trap. I don't know. Um, spider Touch. A living target in melee range takes two points of poison damage per second for 10 seconds. Wow, that's a 20 points of damage, eh? Wonderful. Uh, steadfast Ward. And get up to 100 points of spell damage or effects. Ward regenerates uh, six points per second. Okay. Stone Flesh. Ah. We probably want that. That's our next one up. We've got our oak flesh at the minute. In fact, I will go ahead and buy that, I think. Uh, Ball of sunlight that deals uh, 25 points of damage to undead. Waves of fire that do damage. Oh my god, there's all sorts of things. Thought steel. Equip the spells the target has equipped. Curious. Uh, Thundercrack. Um, deafening close range blast. 40 points of shock damage. Okay. Troll's blood. Caster regenerates health 103% faster for 180 seconds. Okay, so that's just... Now, 100% faster. I assume that means... Yeah, that's, that's like double your uh, regen rate. That's freaking amazing. I don't want to spend too much money at the minute, though. Turn lesser undead. Unbound fire. A viper bolt. Toxic bolt. Okay. Uh, welling blood. Curse is a living target. Oh, if a, if the target loses at least 60% of its maximum health within 8 seconds, it dies. Hmm. That's almost dead anyway, so, I mean... <laughs> Uh, wild healing. Heal yourself and a random target. <coughs> mm, that's a bit wild. Random target could be the enemy you're fighting. <laughs> um, wither. Reduces the target movement speed and attack damage by 5%. Each second for, uh, 20 seconds. Clairvoyance we've already got. The Frostbite. Yeah, here we go. And there's a bunch that we've already got, which are down at the bottom there. Okay, that'll do for now. Uh, after all that, I'm, I need to, uh, step away. That coffee's gone right through me, folks. So, uh. I'll be as quick as I can. I'll be right back. Bear with me, please. Sorry about it.
Oh, I sort of keep you right in there, folks. Um, right, so we've got the, um, we we'll have to le leave the rest of those spells. But, guys, we have got a lot of spells, uh, to, uh, pick up at some point. We'll have to worry about them. We need money for other stuff at the moment. Go, Mike. How you doing, bro? Um, okay. They're going to probably just send, a, send an email. Okay, that's probably easier for me, buddy. Honestly, because that means I, I can reply to that in the middle of the night, basically. <laughs> Well, you know, that's why I could, you know, I could call them after stream, but they ain't there, are they? Do you know what I mean? But, um, excellent. You start on Monday. So you had your, uh, induction day today, right, Mike? Bro, that's awesome. Uh, are you the only wizard in Whiterun, Ferengar? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also I met the witch, though. Priest, priestess, and alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Yeah. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists... I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. What? An asshole. Um... Oh, are they open that late, Mike? Are you just doing, like, stock work after they've closed? Oh, every other weekend as well. Or is instead of? Either way, good on you, Mike. Respect, buddy. Uh, what can I know more about magic? We already know about the College of Winterhold. A prospective student, are you? But let's see what Frank well, say. I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Okay, cool. That's fair. Uh, have you ever encountered a dragon? I don't think he has. Sadly, no. No. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf, one I once did. What a fascinating don't hope conversation for that. that would be. Oh my God. Um, what are your duties as a court wizard? I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. Wow. If the home is faced He's with any threats or mysteries anger. of a magical nature. I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. Right, okay. So this is the uh, Arcane Enchanter, is it? And we can dist we can learn from these various things. Okay, cool. So we're wearing one of those. Uh... Hey, okay, that impro greatly improves our enchanting. I think that's more because, um, yeah, you go you learn to fortify health enchantment. Nice. I'm gonna get another one in a second. Um, okay, increases uh, fortify uh, magicka. We should learn from this. Yeah, and we've leveled up. Before we do any more. Okay, we're getting naked up in here, is he? That's because I obviously uh used the wrong one there. There we go. Put your clothes back on. Oh my god, what's she like? Just getting naked in the middle of the room. Um Okay, alright, cool, cool. Got you, got your mic. There you go. You gotta take it take it as it comes. Will that interfere with uh, the can they work around you uh with uh, looking after your kids and such though? Hopefully that's not a problem. All right, level up. Um, magic's slacking a little bit with all this stuff we've got, but um, for now I want to just get more health up in here, just to keep us. Up. That's what's keeping us alive at the minute. I'm gonna fight a bloody dragon in a minute. Um, anything we can do for archery? Not at the minute. What's on the alchemy? First point. Twenty percent stronger potions. That's kind of cool. We're not really making potions at the minute. Conjuration costs less. Okay. Restoration. Need to put more into that. Right, destruction costs less. Okay. Um.
Let's just get that point in uh, two-handed there. Oh, I want to block. Block might help. Yes, block more damage. Ten percent more damage blocks. I'm happy with that. I'll do. All right, back to disenchanting here. Um, I can't after the stream, Mike, because I'm just getting right on with food. But I can call me the weekend if you're around. Certainly. Uh. Uh, Magicka regen. We'll get rid of, destroy this. Boom. Nice. Um, now I guess I'll hang on to these for the time being. Guess I do need to, uh, make use of these. Uh, armor rating we're currently wearing. And the archery ring we're currently, uh, wearing. Like the sword of chills. We can uh, disenchant. Cross damage enchantment. Um, we'll keep our greatsword there. That's shards, though. That's fine, though. Um, okay, then we need to sell that other sword because I don't really need it. I'm, I'm happy with the axe there. That's the greatsword, isn't it? Yeah, we've got our, yeah, we've got our, um, that greatsword. A little bit better, I feel. Um, I think that's all we need to disenchant for the moment. It's tempting just to do these to learn the enchantments and just get the XP. But these are actually quite useful. Uh, now, the Mystic Condensor. This is, um, this is a mod that kind of puts your weak potions into stronger potions. Let's see how this functions. It's not, uh, yeah, there you go. Fires, uh, weak potion, weak potion of magic, a weak potion of stamina. Ah, I put some more into one. So I was hoping to put those 11 weak potions into one potion, not, not make a well-being potion. Maybe I just need more. Maybe I've not learned the, the recipe yet or some such. I don't really know. Um, okay, got a few potions up in here we can make. I don't know that I necessarily need to or should do these, but it's going to get us a bit of alchemy increase. Um... I've got what I need there, right? I'm trying to order. I'm not trying to search. I wonder if we need, um... Yeah, I'm trying to add there. Yes, I am. Hang on. Hang on. There, okay, there you go. So, the, oh, okay, so the um, the column on the left there is your your, your uh, 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 property types, and it tells you uh, ingredients there. So let's uh, go for it. I don't know if I need to resist the disease for uh, a bunch of time like that, but uh, just to work on our alchemy a little bit. There we go. I'm going to do those. Right, yeah. Slow going on the uh, the potion front compared to a disenchanting. How are we on time? God, it's flown by today. Absolutely flame boy. I can't obviously take Feron Gar's stuff. I was not shocked about that. Is that his coin purse there, maybe? Yeah, we'll, um, 
worry about this or, or this after the fact. What time of day is it? Okay, it's middle of the day. Let's head back out into town for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've met everyone, do I think we've probably met everyone in town at this point. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. Yeah. But that bard is the worst. Yeah. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. Yeah. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Yeah. Huh. Wow, what an asshole. Uh, do you want me to talk to him? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Indeed. Uh, you get a lot of men har har harassing you. No idea. Yeah. Half oh, wow. The men in White Run have proposed to me. Some were even single. <laughs> They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Respect. Would you would you Thank sell though, Carlyle? That sort a lot of. Thing. Uh, food. You sell a lot of food. Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. Quintus. Take a look. Ah, there we go. The deed to Blue Sky Hall. 18,500 gold. It's no talking to him about it. It's just literally, you want that house. That's how much you're paying for it. My God. So it's over th three and a half times more expensive than the one that uh, Aventus is uh, going to uh, potentially um, sell to us. Well, he's willing to sell to us. We need to make some money. Aren't they? Basically. I always set some aside for myself when the traders bring them up from the south. Brill, I don't believe we've met. I'd be dead if not for Vignor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. Why did you join the companion? Oh, I'm companion. Not a companion. No, so okay. I just helped Vignor. He took me in when I was having a tough time and well, I owe him. Okay, cool. Farewell, my lady. Right, Arcadia's Cauldron. Right, we've got these frost salts to deliver to her. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Nice. Uh, Janessa, yeah, we've met. That right, door's locked. This uh, personal quarters. That's back outside. Okay, I do apologize. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. Thank you, Arcadia. Pardon me. But do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. What are you leaning on there, Arcadia? I don't know. Uh, I've got some frost salts for, for you from Farangar. Ah, splendid, splendid. <clears throat> it's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Farangar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Okay. Random potions, eh? Very well. Better than nothing. Um, what have you got for sale? So I guess we'll have a little look. My potions and ingredients? Maybe. Um, God, yeah. Oh, oh my God, all sorts of potions. Alright, healing pole this is. Applied to bandage. Which still was... Uh, Ah, while well, you're injured. Okay. Turn ethereal. What is that? I guess ghostly, I guess. Like, cure diseases, they could be helpful for sure. Um. 
Right, all sorts of uh, ingredients. Bear boil. Blech. Northern oil. Uh, marshmallow. Ah, yeah, of course we, we had some of this, but then we had to reload our game, didn't we? So I'm going to buy that. I'll buy the flax seeds. Uh, clouded funnel cap. Cool. Sulfur is a bit too expensive for my taste at the minute. As is the charis egg. As is the uh, tusker horn. Uh, right, okay. Recipes. I think for specific potions. Okay. Don't have the money for those at the minute. Now, the mortar and pestle. And the retort. Do I need to actually buy those to use them on the go? I don't know. I'm going to worry about it. Oh, sorry. I'll take a look. Unless we've got anything I can sell to her. There's potions. There's crappy potions I made. Invisibility. 15 seconds. Not really worth it. Uh, poison. Disease resistance. Well, I don't think we're not really disease issue, so. Um, just for the weight, I think. I'm going to maybe uh, get rid of some of these. Um, I guess I'll, um, I'll get rid of that one. That's not too useful. Okay. Um, I probably want to hang on to our, uh, our, uh, ingredients there. Uh, training, she can, can do. Teach you a thing or two. <laughs> Expert trainer. Can't afford it at the minute. Uh, so you're a healer, are you? Of a sort. Hmm. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but... Something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I Ugh. need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. That's good. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Oh, well, you're getting paid for your work, aren't you? <laughs> have you ever thought of returning to Cyrodiil? Why? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim? The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. Yep. I've lived in this city for 20 years. 20! So is that what the Stormcloaks want? They want to kick everyone out of Skyrim who's not a Nord? That's some... Be careful out there. Oh, BS, isn't it? I uh, don't really need to root around in her house, I feel. This is her store, but it's also her house. Uh, I'd the last battleborn. I don't know we've spoken to him. Grey mane or battleborn. Yeah, I'm not taking sides, buddy. He's got stones in your ears. Wow, you're an asshole as well. Grey mane or battleborn. Fresh baked loaves, still warm from the oven. We have to pick a side. Yeah, I don't know what you're asking. New in town. Yeah. White Run's got two clans. Okay. Both well, no, he's asking but both. Respected. He needs Difference is, the Grey Manes turned their backs on the Empire, and uh. the Battleborn stayed loyal. Uh. So I'll <clears> ask again, <throat> Grey Mane or Battleborn? Couldn't be better. Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. Long live the Empire. You're a dick. You're a dick, mate. You're an absolute dick. So, <laughs> there we go. You know. Old Fred Nothing and I are the last. Oh, they're what kicking of off. My son? Hmm? Frelia, yeah. What of Thorold? Is he not in So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son oh. still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? 
Where are you holding my She feels I've kidnapped her son. <laughs> Do you believe this Tired old hat? Had enough of fish and fowl? Treat yourself and your kid to a choice cut Why, of steak I've or got tender rack of my ribs. My life. He's my prisoner. Fresh air. Face it, cow. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloaked traitor. And, and you, for a you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to. Um, I just want to check something. The audio there. The voice I've got up, but um, no, the ambience is ambiance is down. I don't know if there's like a different level for the voices of the conversation you're currently involved in and the conversation in the background. I don't think there is though. Set here. Wow. Okay. Weird. I wonder if there's anything to that. Does she really feel that sort of thing? All I can think about is yeah. my son, my soul. They say that he was killed, but I know better. How do you know he's alive? My son is alive. He's got nothing to go on. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. Um, how can you be sure your son's alive? I just, <coughs> I just know it. I can feel it in my heart. Mm. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. Okay. Missing in action quest. Okay. Chops and steaks, bit for a yarl. Come and see my yeah, Meet Freya in our home. Okay. Wouldn't want you going into a fight on an empty stomach. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. Right, okay. Um Bellathor's general goods. So I think this is the general Welcome goods trader. Bellathor's general goods. And they also Welcome want to intimidate him. For the uh they just hang out in his house. It's so weird. It's NPCs in Skyrim for you. Wandering around. Uh, now I'm just going to do a, a quick save just in case this goes wrong. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Oh, brawling. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Wow, lovely. We got for sale for brawling. <laughs> that's, so that's how we uh we'll keep putting him in line. Okay. Right, so you got fishing rod, basic weapons, sorts of armor and clothing. Hmm, these are cool. Right, too far too expensive though. Right, potions, food, a bunch of books, oh, spell times as well. Nothing uh, that a uh, fairing guy doesn't have. Oh, fishing maps, though. Interesting. Um, all sorts of random crap. I'll buy the lockpicks. Okay. How's business? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. Right, I'll see. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Hmm. What's a Breton doing in Scotland, though? Is it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. I need to be sarcastic, man. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Wow. It's, um, time to brawl you. Can't scare me into submission. Let's go. Come All right. on. Here we go! Alright, okay, I don't want to hit anyone else. Oh, did I get him? He gave me a few licks. Uh, we were fighting our armor. Got some... I've beaten him. He's not dead, is he? No, he's still got... Are you just gonna stand there and take it? Oh, he got knocked down, did he? We're still fighting. I oh, know. Ah, 
you're tougher than you look. <laughs> you got me. Fair and square. Oh, right, okay. You know what you have to do? Fine, I'll, I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. All right, return to Farkas for the intimidation. I assure you, I'm prepared to make any deal. Right, okay, better thought. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you later, buddy. Um, right. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go, uh, do that quickly. Find uh, it was Farkas. Oh, I haven't got that an hour to go. Here we go. I'll beat up Bellathor for you. Skior says that I have the strength of Isgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. I took care of the problem in Whiterun. Kind of fun to push people around sometimes, uh. isn't it? Good work, sister. Oh my god, so good. 100 gold? My god. Okay, I'm not going to ask him for more work at the minute. Got uh, enough stuff going on right, right at this moment. And uh, on that note, let's see where we're at. Um, ah, all right, okay. Um it from the top here uh fralia in a house i will have to go deal with this dragon before and i want to have a look at this dragon and see if we can fight it before um we are uh done for the day that'd be that'd be quite cool the battle bombs just over here aren't they Great main, sorry, not battle bonds. Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Agostein, put that down. She's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know she's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? Oh. I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, mother. I'm here to help. Um, so you're here to help? Yeah. So I don't really want to get involved, but I feel like we've <laughs> we've got to. And um, apart from that little outburst, the Grey Mains seem uh, respectable. The Battleborn seem like assholes. Oh, they're disastrous. How are you doing? Um, what can I do for you? I know that Thorald's not dead. I just know yeah, it. Yeah, you the sound very sure. Have him and are keeping him somewhere. But I don't know where. Hmm. Those damned Battleborns. They know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. There's gotta be something in that house of theirs. I just know I it. I don't want to break into the house. I don't dare leave the house myself. So I need your help. Um. What sort of proof? Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Thank you. Hmm. Um. Why do you think the Battleborns? The Battleborns. Yes. Yeah. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Oh. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thoral didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was going to aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Right. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm that's sure pretty wild, that. if that's true. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. No, that's fair. That's fair. That's your land. Interesting. Um... Right, so I guess they want me to go snooping around his house. Oh, we've got so much to do. Um, right. 
Right, Mikhail. I speak to you. got from a mammoth tusk. Yeah, the unusual gem to an appraiser. I don't know how it's uh My god. Um Yeah, when it says the unusual gem who is uh an appraiser for the unusual gem. Is that even going to be someone in White Run? It's going to be someone completely, yeah, completely different somewhere else in the world. It is as well. Bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. Right. So that's going to wait until we head over to the city of uh, Riften there. Uh, Ivor's dead. All stone. Yeah, we got all these uh, markers, didn't we? For various forts and stuff. Western Watchtower. I think that's where the dragon is. Just literally just there. Okay, so I can um, I can get rid of that quest marker. Because uh, I ain't going down there anytime soon. Um... You can go, however, go speak to Mikhail and be like, yo, Carlotta's got no interest in you, buddy. Stop chatting nonsense. I think mean, that's a reasonable thing to, uh, reasonable thing to do. Not that she asked us to do it. She just was like, I don't really care. Here he is. I'm a Remember. bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. Mikhail, sorry, you're saying you're a raper? <laughs> Is he literally like... What's he trying to say? Alright, so you can uh, pay pay money to leave her alone. We're not doing that. Uh, leave her alone and brawl him or try and persuade him. Let's try and persuade him first. What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. Okay, we're brawling him then. I don't have to take that from you. Oh, on, let's go then. <laughs> I like your song, Mikhail. Yeah, it. enough, little lad. Get out. You're just gonna stand there and take it. Fight back. You know how to throw a punch. I'll give you that. <laughs> You leave her alone, always gets worse. You win. Okay, there we go. On my honor, Carlotta won't have to worry about me ever again. Good. <laughs> if in doubt, you just go around punching people, I guess, is the idea. But she didn't really ask us to. She was just like, eh. Have a go. But uh, yeah, she, I guess she will be pleased. Uh... uh I'm not sure if we met. Go. Leave me in peace. All right. Um, have you not got no clothes? I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. You need some clothes, little it's girl. Fun most days, but hard work. Um. <laughs> I've got a hungry daughter to feed. So yeah, that's not all she needs. That's not all she. You know, your daughter needs, uh, Carlotta. But anyway, uh, Mikhail won't be bothering really? you anymore. You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? Yes. I thank the gods. Punched him in the face a few times. Thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Oh, wow. Okay. 250 gold! She gave us 250 gold! Oh, there's a guy hassling me. Don't have to do anything about it. Oh, yeah, that guy is hassling. He's not hassling you anymore. Oh, wow. 250 gold. Maybe she should have um, just given us 200 and you'd used 50 gold to buy some freaking clothes for a child. Oh, my God. Um... What's she like? I don't remember that being in vanilla Skyrim. So good the question is what mod this that is where is doing that, but um Never mind. Okay. Uh we got that taken care of. Um A few things. So the only for out of these, so we um if Amran's family sword if the bandit cave where his sword is is nearby, we should probably do that. Um We've probably got some work to... We could go and get work at the uh, Companions. 
we'll leave that for a minute. Um, we'll leave talking to the strange jester. He's not directly re related to White Run. Um, ah, the possibly buying a cow and dealing with the giants, or just go and kill the giants. I'm not sure which one to do that. Uh, go and try and retrieve Nettlebane from Orphan Rock. It's a little while away, to say the least, but um, it wouldn't take us that long to run out there. Uh, beyond reach, that's uh, that's for down the line. Um, capture a horse out on the field soon. Uh, might run, so I guess we'll probably try and do that. Um, right, yeah, find evidence of Thor's fate. I want to be doing a bit, being a bit sneaky here. Let's try and do this, as this is right here. They might get a... Uh, may get shitty with us, I don't know. Well, they may not. <coughs> Presumably, if we've got a marker for the quest, it's going to tell us what we're looking for, yeah. Hey there. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm just, uh, just, uh, under around. Ah, okay, they got a locked door. Oh. Hi there, child. Lars. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Having trouble? Yes. Brave bullies me all the time. Wow. All the elders think I'm a milk drinker because I can't <laughs> Nobody understands. <laughs> If what do they understand? To leave me alone, I'll be your best friend forever. I'll, I'll pay you two, my whole life savings, two septums. Two gold. <sighs> yeah, let's help him out, I guess. Oh, good. She'll listen to you. No, she won't. I just know it. Oh, he even gave me the money up front. Oh my God, bless him. Um. Oh, so Braith is the bully of the children in the town. Uh, what does a kid do for fun around here? Well, I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the Grey Mane's yard. Wow, me and Mila that's fun. I used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. Oh, you can get but up on the roof, can you? I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me, and then I get in trouble. Okay. Until next time. Indeed, Lars. You go away. I'm trying to... I'm trying to be sneaky in here. Are you going to go this way, Lars? You're going to come through here with me, buddy? Uh, come through here, my friend. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Yep. There you go, Lars. You stay there, little buddy. Let me do a quick save. I don't get busted. There you go. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. Oh, wait. Did he open the door? No, oh, Lars. Okay, maybe I need to go and help Lars, who'll just freaking leave me alone for a minute. <laughs> well, let's go see Braith. Let's see if he sees me pick that lock. All hell will break loose. Oh my god, it is pissing it down. Um, Wraith is Amran's uh, child. Excuse me, sorry, I'll just um my apologies, Sophia. Excuse me, but I'm trying to read. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I just wanted to speak to your daughter for a minute. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. Yeah, she got an attitude for sure. You need to stop bullying Lars. Yeah? Why? Because I'll beat you up. Uh <laughs> I'm his bodyguard. He has a terrible disease, if you lie about it. You want to be shipped off to Honor Hall Orphanage? How about that? Yeah. Uh, let's go with the first one. Okay, okay, I'll leave him alone. I was just kidding around. Besides, if he'd only kiss me, I wouldn't have to beat him up all the time. Whoa! Well, you just need to say something. Don't beat him up. Just, you know, he's scared yeah. of you. Okay. So, I fancy that boy there, but he's not into me. So, I'll, um, rather than tell him that I'm into him, I'll just beat him up. All right, Lars, it's fine. In fact, you pulled, buddy. Oh, yeah, Lars. I see bombed it off somewhere, maybe. Uh, 
Um, did it kill the quest, maybe? Uh, oh, I'm sure it said... Uh, Oh, it's right there. Weird. You know, a microphone. I need to not worry about the microphone. Oh, indeed. Hey there. Oh, okay. Bye, lady. Unless that was just to kind of get him not hassling us while we're in here, trying to be sneaky. Here we go. Let's be quick. I'll try to. Sea star. Um, <laughs> seemingly. I wish I'd known this when I was younger. It's supposed to be uh, little boys. There we go. Lock picking increased. No, no, no. Don't follow me. Okay. Uh, I guess I can read the missive. Maybe I'll take it. Maybe it's not a... Right, okay. What's this? Upon my honor, I do swear undying lo loyalty to the Emperor. That's the header for the Imperial uh, papers. Okay. It's come to my attention that inquiries have been made as to the whereabouts of one Thorold Greymane. It's my duty to inform you that the Thalmor agents have taken possession of the prisoner and have escorted him to North Watch Keep. So he is alive and he is a prisoner, according to General Tullius. And he's in North Watch Keep, taken there by the Thalmor. And... Obviously, the Battleborns know about this because this, this letter was sent to them. Uh, I don't think I need to elaborate. Is everyone's best interest in the matter is dropped entirely? I trust there are no further inquiries as to this matter. Probably be in their best interest to kill him and dispose of him. Let me leave that. I think I have to take that. I don't think it counts as stealing. In fact... Oh, in fact, none of this is stealing. Some of it is, some of it's not. Interesting. I'm going to take this, though. Okay. There we go. You stay and play in there. Child. Mm, da -da 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 -da. Hey, most people are very trusting in Skyrim. It's like, oh, you're just wandering around, are you? Doing stuff, are you? Okay, that's fine. Right, Avelstein. Do you have news? Did you find something? You were both right. I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the nine. It's worse than I thought. He's so, just alive. North Watch Keep. You're then we know where to hit him. You You're going to assault it? I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Ugh. Thorald can't be left to those monsters. We've been involved now. Uh, of course, okay, we don't have a choice. Of course I'll join you. Let me see if I can bring him back on my own without bloodshed. You stay hidden, I'll take care of this. No, he went like that. He'd be like, ah, honor. But let me see if I can bring him back on my own without bloodshed. What? You alone reasoning with the Thalmor? I didn't say reasoning. That's I mean, madness, Break in and... You're serious, aren't you? I'll break Very him and well. sneak him and sneak I'll him out. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Right, okay. Interesting. Um. Alright, North Watch Keep. Whoa. Literally, is this, um. A prison camp? on the other side of the country the world the province by solitude over the mountains on the coast wow okay well i mean <laughs> your brother's gonna have to wait i'm not hoofing it halfway across skyrim just to go and get to him now um what even is the quickest way to get there if you're following the road so i guess you head west from white run and turn south and you want to basically make your way west to Rorikstead 
then you head directly north. Not to Carthswin. Uh, sorry, Car... Yeah, Carthswin. Um, go north. All the way up here, heading into uh, Morthal territory, and then get to Dragon Bridge. Then that's just take north to Solitude, or north and west. Oh, right, guy. He's gonna have to wait. I hope he. I hope he's alive when we find him. I'm not a one man rescue mission. Well, I am a one man rescue mission, but I've got. Uh, I've got faith. He's gonna be fine. Let's hope so, eh? Because um, he's gonna have to wait a little bit, isn't he? Uh, I think it's time for us to go and see if we can deal with this dragon. I have no idea if I'm tough enough. We're going to find it when we find out when we get there. Um, oh, one thing I do want to do. Before we head over there. When I, um, learn my way around White Run. It's an impressive city. I love them. Um, there seems to be a lot of stuff that has been added um, with mods, or at least some stuff. Oh, of course. I didn't. I know what I didn't do. My uh, stone flesh. And my candlelight. Now, can I, ah, we're not even apprentice yet, are we? Ah, it worked though. Maybe, yeah, maybe not. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter one way or another. I don't know. Either way, I assume that's all good. Um, there we go. So, uh, I think once you put it on, you put it on, and I guess it doesn't really matter. But, um, anyway, one of my favorite candlelight. And favorite stone flesh and unfavorite, uh, I guess if you've got the magic to cast it, then it's good enough. Well, I just wanted to pick up the armor I've thrown on the floor. Disrespectfully. Excuse me, guards. I'm not trying to get aggro up now. And in fact, we'll put that one there. We'll probably just disenchant it, I feel. Alright, let's disenchant. That's to enchant an item. That's to choose enchantment. Okay, so these are the enchantments we know at the minute. But uh, obviously, you need... Um, because you need your item, knowing the enchantment, and a soul gem. So if we were to go for the Feath's Hood. We go, we've got the Feath's Hood. We choose the enchantment. And we're, we need the soul gem. Okay, so at least we understand how enchanting works. Obviously, we suck at it at the minute, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but disenchant is what we actually want to do. And, yeah. Light armor effectiveness. Let me uh, make sure I'm in the right screen for a minute. Fortify light armor enchantment. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, enchanting uh, levels up quickly. Um, alchemy, not so much. <laughs> oh, look, that's the candlelight, I believe. That's cool. It's, it has to that. We'll be using that when we go to dungeons. Have my hands free. Alright, time to... Uh, now it's the middle of the night and it is raining. <gasps> oh my god. Sorry about that. But we shall not be deterred. We have a dragon to fight. Or investigate. Now we're not fighting it on our own. Thank god. I think it's worth waiting until it stops raining. It's not the middle of the night, but. 
In fact, that might make more sense, uh, so to speak, just so... Um, So not, I think one good thing about, you know, these uh, Bethesda games, for the most part, you're not on any time limits. You can take the time to do what you need to do. What's going on here? Already been told you're not allowed. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask Red guards. is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She's and me. likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. Okay, you got to me we a real name, though. Welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay, my time of need. Um, who are you looking for? Red Guard woman. There's a couple of Red Guard women in uh, in White Run, aside from ourselves. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell, a Red Guard woman. She may be somewhere in the city. Okay, fugitive. What's her name? He doesn't want to tell me. Who are you looking it's for? None of your concern. Oh, why? All Sorry. All you yeah. need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. No, they're a bit aggressive. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Oh, okay. See you later, buddy. Oh my god, the thunder. The sound and the thunder and the rain, the sound, they've done such a good job with it. I really have. Um, in my time of need, find the red guard woman. I guess uh, we'll ask around. So they've got um, Sophia, is Amrin's wife, Braith's mother. Um. And there's a lady in, um, I can't remember if it was the Bannered Mare or the, uh, the Huntsman, who, uh, seemed to work there. So that's, uh, obviously an option as well. Um, but, we are got, I don't, well, it's very epic. I want a, our first dragon encounter. Oh, wow, look at that thunder and lightning over the mountain. I want to, um... I want to be. I want it in the daytime. I want to see the dragon properly, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do. I'm going to just stand here in the rain for a few hours. All right, seven in the morning should be good. There we go. And obviously it stopped raining, so we get a nice clear morning. Here we go. Here we go. Um, now I don't think I've actually spoken to you. Have I, Adrian? Uh, I haven't seen Beanie. Got some good pieces out here. Oh, is wild. she the daughter of the uh, Preventus up at the uh, the um, House Carl, I think they call it, maybe? The advisor to the Yarl. Um, so she's the other blacksmith, isn't she? Uh, well, you can tell me about White Run. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry if they're willing to work hard. Or the if they're uh, an orphan the child. Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Um, do you work the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. Nice. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Okay, sure. Thanks. Okay, I got delivered the sword um, up to her dad. Okay. Uh, let me see what you got for sale. Blades, I assume you're selling the same stuff. Anything to see it's the, the same things. inventory that... Um, her husband has in the store. Yeah, it looks like it. I like that little lock picker. Wow, iron ore is cheap. Iron ingots aren't actually that expensive. Ah, calcinium. Interesting. 
as corundum. Um, interesting. Uh, need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about oh. you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Okay. Don't forget to check inside the I'll shop. I'll do that briefly. All right, iron dagger. Eh? Not bad. Reminds me when I first started smithing. Yeah, here's your iron Not dagger. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Thanks for the business. Okay. There we go. Iron dagger. But, ah, it turns into fine iron dagger. Okay. Cool. Tempered iron dagger. There we go. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Indeed. Here you go. This you sharpen good. dagger. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Okay. Do that. Um, well, I'll need you to uh, move out of the way, my dear. There you go. Someone else is using this. If you click on a, a workstation, they will generally move. Uh, so, leather, I assume. The elk hide. Oh, she gave us the elk hide then, I guess. There we go. Bring the leather to her. Have you met my father? He's a yeah, I'll have. At Dragon's Reach. <laughs> ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps fitting. That kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. You've been very generous. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Um, so I assume we go to the forge, even though it's hide, right? Yeah, hide helmet. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's can improve do. the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Thanks for the business. All right, yeah, there we go. Three leather to improve that. Make it fine. I don't know if there's a level beyond fine, like very fine. Masterwork. I my father in more ways than people do. You think that? all there the towns? You have talent. Keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Yeah. All right. Until next time. That's nice of her. What a nice lady. There's Yorland just stomping through. Hello, Fralia, dear. Lilith, always a pleasure. Just browsy, or were you looking for something particular? Funny you should ask. I'm in the market for a new locket. Something in polished silver, <clears throat> maybe. Big enough to hold, say, a folded up letter? Yep. Ah, I see. Okay. I think I know just what you need. I don't have anything like that here now, but my Yorland. He can make you one right quick. When I get home, I'll have him start on it right away. Come back to pick it up in, oh, three days? Perfect, my dear. Absolutely perfect. I'll see you then. Okay, oh, interesting. Older, was it? Guess it's not really anything to do with us. I'm here to buy food, Ms. Ian. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Let's go deliver the sword quickly. And I will, then we will go fight this dragon. Or at least have a look at the dragon. And, uh, <laughs> before, and before we're done. I wonder how you increase your carry capacity. I don't know... Um, how you... Uh, what, if, you, if it's perk related? I'm not sure. Anyway... I serve Jarl Balgrub. Yeah, we know. Steward, there we go. That's the technical term. Uh, the sword from your daughter. From Adrian? Yes. Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgrub when his mood is agreeable. Yeah, he's got a lot on his plate at the minute. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. 
20 gold. There you go. That's so wild. So the steward for running an errand is like, here you go. It's, it's, it's 20 gold. My Lord. And, you know, and uh, a lady who's not bothered, but kind of just like uh, but annoyed that a guy is harassing her is, you know, gives us 250 gold before uh, beating up a guy <laughs> who's not really a real threat to her. He didn't even contract us to do it. Weird. Ah, is that right, Poots? And you know what? Actually, carry capacity 300. Our stamina is... Uh, actually, I think we've got plus 70. It's just uh, what, out of 175. I think it naturally, I haven't put any points in. It's 150. It, oh, I've got a perk. I forgot about that. Uh, that kind of lends itself, Poots, to uh, suggesting to me that maybe your carry capacity is double whatever your stamina is. But maybe that's too much. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't really remember, honestly. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I can't put any points into archery at the minute. Let me have um, a cut some light armor. 10% less attack damage from enemies with full health if you're wearing all light armor. Now, is that the enemies have full health? Or we have full health? Iron fist. Unarmed damage by 55% uh, of your current stamina. I don't really know wanting to punch people, but I have to get that eventually. Yeah, the problem is uh, a lot of um, a lot of our skills are just uh, very um. low level at the minute you need to basically get a, a skill to like level 20 before you can really start putting a lot of perks into it but then we're sitting on perks that are kind of got not going to waste but that i'm more inclined to put something into if that makes sense uh, more sneaking that'd be handy no i need to sneak some more first uh, <laughs> um we're gonna be doing we're gonna put in points into two-handed and one-handed i'm not focusing one or the other so let's just get the that two-handed there more damage. I know. I know some people like some like someone said yesterday. I don't know. Was it Mur? Somebody else? Someone asked, uh, "What what build are you doing?" I'm like, "Build." You think I'm? I'm just going to buy a house, not build one. No. <laughs> um, yeah, you can jog on, mate. Um, I don't know if she's meant to have clothes on that child. We've got to sell as much as we can as soon as we can. Oh wow, check this gross uh, hair out. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. And to think I was going to feed you cabbages and apples again. Yes, quickly if you please. I'm quite busy running errands. Do you know some Alakir warriors looking for Red Guard woman? The who? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you sure? Now, if you'll excuse me. I don't know if I'll believe her. Um. Shiny trinkets for your Let me just check the bannered mare and uh, the huntsman. Let me know I can't remember her name. I know when I see her. By the fire and I'll send someone over. She was wandering around town, but I'm sure she's working in one or the other. Mikhail. No, it's not like she would be asleep at the minute. It's, uh... Or maybe she would. Ah, Sadia. Here we go. I'm sorry to interrupt you, my dear. I guess she's having lying this morning. I suppose when you work in a bar, it doesn't really matter, does it? Are you sure? Ah. Oh, no. They found me? I need your help. Please, come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Oh, we're in your bedroom. Come with me. Are we going? Please, we need to speak in private. Okay. But are they so, are you working with them? What? Do you think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. 
I'll I'll cut you in half. Okay. I didn't say I was turning you in. So I'm the Alakir know where I am? What did they offer you? Gold? Blade on me. How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Exactly, exactly, Poots. I just love it. Uh, yeah, the leveling system way better than Oblivion, I feel it is. Um, no, I prefer it. You just do whatever. You haven't got to think about what you're doing. You haven't got to commit to like a, a an archetype or a character class or a job. You can literally do everything. Whatever and you, and, you know, whatever you put time into, that's what you get better at, uh, uh, you know. But, you, but you're never cut off from doing any particular thing. Um, um, right, now, um, I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to know what's going on. Maybe I can lie to her. She's threatening her also. Then I need your help. And there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. Perhaps if there's money in it. Maybe. What do you want? It's not, not quite the money. I'm that the people of White Run think I am. My real name is Eamon. Okay. I'm a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. Right, that's what you're the doing over here. The men are looking for me. The Alakir. They are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. Wow. How am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. So I'll either pay him off or kill him. I don't show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. Any suggestions on where to find him? I heard I mean, one of them Warwick just said. arrested trying yeah. to sneak into the city. If he's locked oh. up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please. They said I know around Warwick said, but... something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Um, why haven't you gone to the guards? And why are they after you? Now, she might lie about this. But I feel like I've, I've got to ask her at least. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Right. Okay. I don't know exactly what the Aldmeri Dominion are. I, I believe that's... Now, obviously, the Empire runs the whole of Tamriel. But you have the High Elves in the Somerset Isles. I think, if anything, they're kind of... They play second fiddle to the Empire. Uh, and they do kind of have their own power. And the, the Thalmor, the presence that essentially has kicked off the war here, where they're, like, oh, they're trying to say what the people of Skyrim can and can't do, and the Empire's backing them up. Uh, specifically, the worship of Talos is the issue. Um, so they do have a lot of power, so they don't want people speaking out about them. Why haven't you gone to the guards, though? You in think town? I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? Yeah, I These guess. men are ruthless. Cunning, deceitful. Yeah. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Now, if that's all she did, and there I kind of I do kind of side with her. You know, if you speak out about your oppressors, that's fair enough. You don't have to run for your life, but she did. And um these uh, Alakir are essentially just mercenaries. So they don't, they're not in it for the, you know, the principle. They're just being paid to hunt her down. So if I pay them off or kill them, I want a real reason to help her, but. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. But she's a, she did say she's a, if she's telling the truth, she did say she's a noble woman. So she might have money stashed away. All right, okay. Uh, something to think on. You know, she works in the Bannered Mare, so... Anyway. Sky's overcast, but this is daytime. Uh, all the hustle and bustle. Is that Lars running away from a uh, Braith there? She just wants to kiss you, buddy. She just wants to give you a little kiss. She's almost going to get you. She's going to get you. <laughs> Run into the post there. <laughs> um, maybe. Who knows? You never know, do you? Boots. Right. Okay. So, um, I think we've tied up everything else that's kind of around her. Kind of. I talk to the Alakir prisoner, or inform the Alakir of Sadia's location. So you've got a choice. I, for the principle of it, I'm more inclined to help her. 
But I guess from a mercenary point of view, I just think I'd rather money. Money you can keep is easy come easy go. Friends though, people that may be able to help you. Now we're at the end of the stream, so we need to kind of make this quick, but ish. I've got a few things I need to sell. I think. You're someone. Take a look. Right, I'm going to sell that Red Guard Scimitar. Uh, the Fine Dagger, I've no real need for it. Thank you, though. A Steel Dagger, I've no need for that. Um... Ah, and we do not actually need this sword because we already disenchanted a version of it, didn't we? Because um, we're sticking with our Shard Sword. And sell that. Um, the Hide Helm. Imperial armor. And that's everything. Cool, that should be good. I just wanted to clear a little bit of space up. Out. Who knows? Usually in video games, dragons have treasure of some kind, don't they? So let's give this a go. I'm a little bit nervous only being level six. And the dragons in this game being double as tough as they are in vanilla. But we're not fighting on our own. The guard are going to go in with us to fight. So. That's something. Now, have we got the right uh, quest marks here? <laughs> no need that. In time we Dragon Rising. There we go. I think it's just west of the uh, of White Run down here. That guy needs to give him 300 gold to, to buy a cow for the giant. I guess we should help the giant out. Or at least. Um, the quest is kind of set up to uh not help the giants out but deal with it peaceful peacefully you know well i don't doubt we'll be fighting some giants before all this is said and done Here they go. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. Yeah, I've got everything on fire. Bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. Oh wow, look at that creature over there. Little rhino over there, or some or equivalent. We'll check him out later. Um. Yeah, no, indeed, Sea Star. So I've got a little plan which we'll delve in tomorrow. Um, we're going to try and get out 5,000 gold so we can get a house. Um, but yeah, no, you are right. And we could do that in um, the Companions, would be an ideal place as we're like allied with them. We're one of them. We're obviously, the most junior grunt there is. But, um, you know, we could. Um, you know, stash stuff in there. It's just my OCD. I remember that my very first playthrough, and this was actually in an owned house, the one in Whiterun. Um, I stashed so much stuff in there, like thousands of items, you cannot believe, all in a single container, that the game, the save file got corrupted and I lost all my stuff. That was quite annoying. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I had like a previous save. I had to go back like a few hours to get my stuff back and then spread it out into different containers and I kind of got in the habit of splitting things up I've always got that weird thing in the back of my mind but you know you are right there's no reason particularly in like the, a more uh yeah more modern version of the game but um that's so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fight this dragon and then um I've got we're gonna spend a little bit of time in white run tomorrow and kind of uh work to get some money together um I'm sure I'll find some stuff to do. Maybe some stuff to steal. Maybe. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll get the funds together. I feel 5,000 gold, or a lot of money, is a worthy investment in the long run to um, have our own little place. Um, yeah, it was a, it was an issue. I, like I say, I managed to recover at C-Star. All I really lost was like, a couple of hours of gameplay. Uh, I just had to reload a previous save file. Um, but yeah, can you imagine? I, I literally had a crazy amount of alchemy ingredients and various weapons and armor and stuff I'd found and uh, 
you know, whatever you can think of. Right. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Porky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. What? Godman, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Yeah. Oh my god, a dragon. My god, he's breathing some flames, isn't he? My god, I don't know if I'm gonna um, get a beat on. Oh my god. Ah. I'm getting, I'm getting breathed on. <laughs> It's dangerous up there, I feel. It's a bit too exposed. Oh my god. These arrows do not seem to be bothering it. That being said. Oh my god, scary looking dragon. I think it's all doing damage. Right. I, uh, <laughs> I do a direct breathing needs to very much be avoided. Uh, <laughs> uh, ooh, okay, let's um. Let's try it again. I'll do an extra little save for a bit closer to the uh, <laughs> to the time there. I don't uh, know if I want to get up in that thing's grill uh, necessarily. Um, I'll, I'll hit it with a bunch of arrows there. That seems to make <laughs> It's hilarious. I was like, oh no, oh no. I was like, no signs of any vain attempt now. there to uh, <laughs> to finish off. I could, I could conjure the skeever. See if it can run around and nibble on it for a second. But then again, it's it will spend a minute just running around trying to get to the dragon, and then just then just kind of like oh, die. Like I know it looks bad. It will like You've disappear before. Uh, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what to do. Oh God. So I have to avoid that direct fire breath at all, all, at all costs. All right, the bro's not there anymore. Where'd he go? Oh, he's there. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. I suppose I can just hide in here if I need to. I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Find cover indeed. That's the only issue. It's like... Let's do a quick save. feel bad for him. He just took that to the face there. So this is fine at the minute. The problem, of course, is when... Um...
when all the guards die and it's just me and the dragon. I bet Irolith's going to survive. Whoa. Got my heavy armor increase there. I guess I took some damage from that somehow. See, this is, um... Oh, well, and good there, buddy, but... You've kind of stuffed me in a corner here, so... There we go. God, yeah, that's one guard down. Oh, God. Don't push me outside! Um, he's chilling at the minute. It's not, uh, not glitched out, has it? No. God, Ira left. She's the real hero here. God, how many arrows have we got put in it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, I think I'm already done for. Hang on. Let's pop a potion. I think I'll, it's too, too, uh, it's a little too late. Oh no, not quite, not quite. Oh my god. Whoa, I, I, I. Archery level up. And a uh, level up for me. Oh, getting there. I don't want to be breathed on. Thank you. Oh God, this is terrifying. Is it? <laughs> oh. What a beast. Oh, I've got my iron arrows. I need to um switch those for sure. I think uh, I'm just gonna um yeah, I'll go health. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, check that you do your uh, level ups are carried over, as you can see there. I, my archery. Um, my god. Uh, yeah, I want my uh, Nord arrows because they're uh, a little bit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, one point more extra damage. Oh, he's bloodied up though. Although uh, it looks like all our cannon fodders. Uh... Oh, balls! I'm not. It's not wrong. My God, this is pretty intense. I feel cheap if I were to do a quick save um, in the middle of the fight. So let's not do that, but I just need to be super careful. What can I? Can't get much of a bead there. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez Louise. I think it's 
well aware of where we are. And I think it's just me and Irolith now. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'll uh, get the guard stuff. Uh, I need to get down there and get in a, a cover around the other side, I feel. God. This is intense. Oh, wait, it's just there, is it? And take some to the face there, buddy. I'm not sure, but I think it may its hit points may be done. I need to like get in there and give it a whack for the sake of the story. If that makes sense. I need to like get up in its grill to finish it off. Which I don't know. Uh, it seems to be like grounded at the minute. Oh, it's right there. Let's make sure that overgrown. There we go. Yeah, I think I had to. <laughs> I think I had to get like a final hit on it, like in melee range. Oh, it's scary. Mermel near. Oh, it's... Oh! Dragon soul absorbed. What was that? That's weird, isn't it? Uh, use the shout section of the magic menu to get your unrelenting force shout. Word of power learned. You are Dragonborn. Oh, <gasps> Dragonborn? What do you mean, buddy? No way. We read about that. That's not us. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Oh, he slayed the dragon and stole its power, didn't he? Absorb the dragon's power. I think you may be right. Uh. Um buff up the guards <laughs> no unfortunately so uh with the uh combat mod we're using uh kind of everything is weaker in a sense in that there's more like lethality so that's why the few times you've seen us uh die uh very easily sea start and everyone else dies apart from dragons they're not weaker they're stronger just because i wanted the dragons to be extra badass but we managed and we should try and manage um, but yeah, I think you might be right, buddy. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Let's find out. You know, I think you're right, buddy. Unrelenting force. So that's the word we learn. And now the soul of a dragon kind of allows us to uh, use it. Let's favor that. Right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septon. I don't want to shout out you guys. I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. Let's try it. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill Force. and steal the power. Force. You must be one. I did it. Say, Irleth, you're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irleth. Tell us, do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Oh! Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them, but I don't need some mythical dragonborn. 
Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. What's the, what's the shouty thing I can do? <laughs> you ain't the law. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. Indeed. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are dragonborn then. Mm, I don't know. It seems weird, doesn't it, buddy? That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. Me too. <laughs> I've been in more than a few. Excellent. Thank I you, sister. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White One right away. Jarl Balgra will want to know what happened here. No doubt. So yeah, so there you go. So we are apparently the dragon dragonborn. Uh, we when we kill a dragon, we absorb its soul, which powers these words we find, seemingly. Um. Oh, it's uh. Had to be uh. The unfortunate um unfortunately did it eat the eat one of the guards there that's why it's carrying it stuff <laughs> i don't know but anyway uh steel gauntlets of minor alchemy we'll disenchant those um steel long mace i guess that's a two-hander isn't it that's quite cool but um it's uh it's quite heavy uh i'll we'll take the arrows take all the arrows dragon bone of great value heavy but take the dragon bone dragon scales again not as quite as valuable or as heavy we'll take the dragon scales uh, it had gold in its pocket like all good dragons do and dragon teeth wow yeah five of those we'll take those very valuable as well um one of those dragon teeth we shall eat so that's what you, that's what you do sometimes dragon teeth isn't it um <laughs> wonder how it orders the uh, ingredients. Wish you could, like, force them into uh, being, um... Oh, it's the flax seeds I picked up. There we go, of course. Uh, and marshmallow, of course. Uh, um... Put them in, like, alphabetical order or something. That would be very handy for me. There we go. Everything we've yeah, cool. Wow. Guys, I guess you've uh got tidy up round here. Yeah, I guess it's uh the guards we he, he ate there. Oh my god. Um mm. Ina Jar plate dark hood. Okay, it's a it's a helm with a hood in it, is it? Heavy armour. That's kind of quite valuable. Um, I'll take that. I don't know if we're going to wear it. I'll take his arrows. I'll take his mead. I guess that's actually not. It's not really worth carrying. Um, I'm glad you're on our side. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> force. It's like force shout rather than uh, you know. Right, oh, okay. Iron Jar Brigandine Hood. God, very valuable. Very valuable indeed. I'll check those when we get uh, back to town. Painted Iron Shield. Not sure how that compares to our Iron Shield. This is the same, isn't it? It's just painted. A bit too heavy for us to take. Um, take your arrows. I like how all the guards have Nord Mead. God, a lot of them died. He's resting on his buddy there. Now, um... There we go. You have to hold the button. You can uh, pick up objects. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I don't mean to toss you around like that. Uh, torch. We'll take, um... I guess we'll take... What do you want to save in food as well for cooking, right? I don't know. Um... Uh, Nord male coif. Uh... Kind of valuable for its weight. I'm 
I'm going to search him. And finally, ring mail hood. Wow, again. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was, uh, that was pretty cool and intense, though. How are we doing on time? Right. Oh, God, we've gone over slightly. That's what happens when you fight dragons. Let me finish looking at this. There wasn't anything upstairs, was there? It's just... Yeah, okay. So, we'll, um... We'll leave it right here. Um... Or, in fact, let's quickly... That dragon not to mess with White Run, didn't we? Careful. I mean, taught the... Didn't teach the dragon anything, because it's dead. But I see your point. But really, not to mess with me. I'm the Dragonborn, sure apparently. Dragon. Dragonborn or not, that's what we know. Uh, we got a freaking dinosaur over here, folks. Hello. Hello you know there, buddy. Are you friendly? What is it? Gigantic. Oh, I don't want it. I'm going to kick off. There's, just, there's another one there. I said it's baby. Let's see what it was. Um, I'll target it with my bow, maybe. Oh, I think I'd have to attack it for this name and its stats to pop up. Jeez Louise. I guess that's his uh, child over there. Anyway. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just, I just chucked a. I think it's called like a mega fauna uh, compilation. They just wrap, just chucking random animals, and I've got another one which like is actually supposed to add in enemies and stuff, like um st some stuff from uh, Oblivion and some stuff from um, Morrowind. But there's the rhino. Wow, they seem pretty docile. Oh, 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 oh. Or maybe not. Um, <laughs> um, could be interesting to hunt those later on. But for now. Yeah, I know we've gone over slightly, but I will... Um, we're going to go um, and speak to the Jarl. Just... What? That was insane. Did anyone else hear that? Hello? Right, everyone's going inside. I guess because that kicked off and everyone was like, what the bloody hell was that? It sounded like a thunder, very, very loud thunder, like an explosion. But maybe there's a voice in there as well. Somebody saying something. Can that... We killed the dragon once, we can do it again. With your help, of course. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough, buddy. Okay, everyone else is just business like usual. Yeah. I heard there's a giant dragon out west. We killed it though. Aren't you pleased? I've been riding horses since oh, I was that's a with this guy. Nothing I liked more. But don't get involved in that nonsense. Yeah, you just want to work. Just okay. What's work. your thoughts think of the R? Honorable enough, man. You have done everyone wrong, wrong by okay. me or my kin. Okay. I just want to tie up this quest, so to speak. What you know, see what the Jarl has to say about it, and then we'll leave it here for today, as we've gone over a little bit. Um, we're we'll back tomorrow. Mission: get a five thousand gold and buy a house, and then we'll uh, click on there. Gerda, have we ever spoke? 
I might just be a servant We have, Lord, yes, of course, you're the, uh... For a moment, I don't take my duties as seriously as the Yarl himself takes... No, no, indeed. Yarl's been looking for someone... You're finally here. Suspicious. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Yeah. You heard the summons. Yeah, what was that? What else could it mean? What, what is it? Greybeards. The Greybeards? We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. Ah, so wrong guy, you're the brother of the Yarl. Okay. Was the dragon there? The Watchtower has tried, but we killed the dragon. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. We helped kill the dragon. We finished it off. I, mean, I think I think Irelith probably did the most damage to it. Um, um, it wasn't just me, so I'm not going to... Yeah. The Watchtower is destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irelith. Yeah, she's a good one. But there must be more to it than that. So, some of your men claim that I may be a thing called a Dragonborn. Um, but yeah, no, sorry, see, see, so if you want the, I mean, to track down the name of that particular mod, I can provide a link, I can find your link for it if you want, buddy. Um. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? Read a book about them. Um. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. This is true. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. <laughs> The way of the voice. Uh, the Greybeards. Who are the Masters Greybeards? of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Um. Yeah. What? What do they want with me then? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice, the ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. Right. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? <laughs> yeah, that was you could the say that. Of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Wow. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Yeah. Nord nonsense. She may be. I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I think I he's making some assumptions, but... To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. 7,000 steps. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very... Disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. Mm. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Like Jedi monks. Learn what the something. Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house card. Oh. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Oh. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Maybe a thane. Want them to think I guess that means like it's kind of like a knighthood. We are honored He's still to have the Lord, you as thane of our city, Dragonborn. Thane of Whiterun. Business prevents us. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. And I've given a house card, so he gave me like a, a man at arms. Woman at arms called Lydia. Wow, okay, I've got the, and he gave me a weapon and all sorts of things. Two bar, hey, Danessa. Um, yeah, no, no, indeed, it might be on Xbox as well, C Star, but yeah, we'll don't worry, we'll be definitely going to investigate those uh, megafauna hanging out on the plains of White Run uh, at some point. Uh, it just seemed a bit, I was just like, wow, <laughs> uh, time and a place. Uh, how you doing, tubes? Um, you were stuck in the side quest loop. Uh, 
Right, so you got to this point, Tuba, and then you just never went up to and went to see the Greybeard. So you're level 50. I don't think I left it that long, but I do I have a similar memories. Um, and we're probably not going to head up there immediately, folks. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. We've got lots of things we could do. We, there's lots of stuff, but we're not definitely going to not leave it that long, for sure. Um, I'm not going to... There's two different kind of gameplay styles, isn't there? There's one which is like my classic style where you would um you literally avoid the main quest and do everything else in the game and the main quest is the last thing you do uh i'll typically do that in like gta style games um but you know i know some other gamers which i've never this has never really been me they're like side quests what is that junk i'm here for the story the main quest that's all that matters to me and they'll kind of ignore everything and just follow the main thread of the story um i feel nowadays certainly and what we'll do for this playthrough we're somewhere in the middle um i'm not gonna ignore going up for us to go up and see the gray beards but uh, i'm also not gonna rush it either i think there's some stuff we can kind of establish ourselves in white run um and do a bit of stuff um and maybe even going to head over to another hold and check it out but i'm not gonna be ocd i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna like try and clear the map <laughs> uh before we head up there we'll probably head up there sooner rather than later but we might not head up there say tomorrow's stream we shall see we'll see how it goes but yeah how you doing tubes you're doing good you're getting off work well thank you for stopping in sir it's always a pleasure uh, but yeah well, i think we're doing all right i think everyone's all right um god i'm just overwhelmed by this game again it's like a skyrim renaissance it's um having an excellent time of it uh tubes i will tell you um so yeah sorry first things first so it gave us um gave us a weapon thum fardon oh oh wow they're the great sword presumably wow this is new i don't remember this being in vanilla oh my god F wicked looking sword uh my god when striking a target, the time between your shouts is reduced by 40% for 20 seconds. Damn, so we need to shout quite a lot. I mean, and what's the damage? 37 versus our... Uh, it's better than our great sword of shards. I think we're going to... We should rock this. That's cool. And we can use our shout more often. Which are the, the, the recharge on our shout there was uh, not long anyway. And that could prove very useful in combat, especially because it's like an ability that almost nobody else else in the world has. And it seems like the ability to use shouts, the dragon language shouts, I guess it's their language. Uh, not, It's not you have to be dragonborn to be able to do it. It's just very difficult. I assume all of the grey beards, these mysterious uh, voice monks, are living up on top of the mountain. And yes, it is that giant mountain just to the east of uh, white run in the middle of the map the gigantic mountain we got to head up the top of that um uh they can use the shout they did a, a mighty one to summon us um they're not all dragonborn presumably uh but dragon anyone who is dragonborn has you know has more aptitude for it so really we're kind of like luke skywalker a minute we're going to meet up with yoda uh, you know at the beginning of uh empire um that's that's where we're at in a minute uh <laughs> um but yeah i think we'll use that so that'll be just cool because i can uh dis i can disenchant our um our uh great sword of ancient uh nord great sort of shards there um we'll keep our axe one-handed axe there um my god um like right, 17.1.5 okay it might be uh worth going for the hood there and ring mail hood is not quite as good. I, like the, I do like the Feast Guild hood, but overall... Einhajar. Okay, I don't know what that start is there, but... Uh, we've got heavy armor, but we need to... Um, we've got to balance it out. I suppose we could... Um, go heavy on the head and light on the body. to be exactly the same uh style there 
Uh, I've got this alchemy gauntlet to uh, break down as well. Wow, okay. Um, uh, uh, Jarl, uh, I'm honoured to be your thane. Thank you. Moving up in the world. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I've got stuff to ask you. Um, we've all, yeah, we've already got almost half an hour over, folks. So I'm going to leave and save it right here. No, I'm going to... <laughs> There's always something I need to do. I'm going to disenchant our stuff first. Farangar coming through. I'd like you to have these as a token of my friendship. Ale? He's just like, here, yeah, have, have a beer, mate. But is he trying to kiss our ass? Because we just got an upgrade in the world. Anyway, disenchant those, please. Nice. Enchanting skilled up. Um... Wearing all those. Uh, there we go. Sword of Shards. Disenchant that. The frost damage piercing. Ah. Yeah, black ice damage. Unresistible. So it's less base damage than a, a standard frost enchantment, but... Uh, it cannot be uh, resisted. So overall, you'd argue that's probably better. Right, okay. I have more to discuss with the Jarl, but we'll leave it right here today. Because uh, we're just going to uh, be here all day otherwise. I need to get food and... Uh, Sort stuff out, yeah. I I would stream this for let me uh move us over there. I would stream this for like another six hours <laughs> if it was my choice. Um but uh it's um I've got to keep the noise down for my brother. Bless him. He does uh he does it seems like he's going to bed like uh, an hour earlier than he used to, like a few several months ago. But I don't know if that's just because it's summer or um he's been working from home more. Either way, it's not. Or not to mention, at this point in the day, I'm bloody hungry because it's been 24 hours since the last eight. So, um, anyway, thank you to the stream. Of course, uh, Queen Velvet Text dropping that follow uh, last night. Uh, thank you to uh, Foxy Loxy and also Frogody for the follows. And J lovely Joel. There's 20 bitties. So I do appreciate that, Joel. Um, thank you all for being here. Oh my God, uh, Skyrim is... Um... I guess... Um... When I was playing Skyrim, being absorbed with it, I would never have thought I'd uh, like get back into it. My old housemate was um, obsessed with it. His favourite game. You just start character, start a new character. He's always starting a new character, doing this, doing that, having a plan what he's going to do, uh, and like talking to me about it. And I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm glad you're enjoying it, buddy." But Skyrim, I've I already played played that. I already completed that. I've not got time to play that again. I think this was just like the perfect timing for me. The perfect amount of time since I last played it. And we're playing it with mods and it's looking amazing and sounding amazing and i'll get to play it with you guys hanging out and chatting while we're doing it so thank you it's um c star mike thank you very much i appreciate being here but yeah mike if you want to chat at some point buddy obviously because of this time of night when we finish stream i'm immediately on food because i'm fuck i'm language i'm freaking hungry um and then by the time i've eaten it's like i can't really speak on uh, on Discord or anything, because my brother's in bed. But uh, I am technically free on weekends at the minute. Uh, although various times, I think it's um, um, I think it's not this Sunday, but next Sunday, uh, Scotty's having his very first uh, that is the question, uh, show. So like stuff like that, I'll be around for. Um, yeah, and I I'm I'm, I'm past two Saturdays, I've been pretty good on my workout. I'm feeling good. I'm, I feel like I'm getting back into the routine. So I do feel that Saturday afternoons, I need to um, like double down on uh, getting a decent workout in. Um, so possibly it's either either really early, and by really early I mean like midday or a bit later, uh, before I start the workout, 
that's probably a good time to chat or basically any time sunday um that's how where i'm most feel and that's not just for mike that's anybody in the community if you want to like just have a chat with me about anything you can reach out um you know i'm not like the uh the pressure stream is like oh i'm too famous to speak to you it's like, well because i'm not and the plan would be i wouldn't be now, obviously in a future where 10 years from now i am pseudo famous and i've got like dozens of people being like yes i need to speak to you that could be a bit tricky but um we'll play it by ear we're not no nowhere near that point at the minute and it's possible we may never be but um for now anybody needs me at any time for anything you just get at me at any time and we'll take it from there um but yeah uh, i'm gonna pull up the megafauna there but i can't even uh i don't even know where i'd find it on this list of mods but yeah we've literally got um shockingly enough is we're actually running 200 mods 202 that is including all anything that counts as a mod but um that's quite a lot isn't it but it's that's, a, that's nothing compared to some people apparently anyway let me get rid of that find someone to raid if anyone wants to guide us to where to raid now is the time let me pause that let me reload that um <laughs> oh my god um let's see us around slight of game oh satana i don't want to get him he's he's doing every every day um i do want to show him off to people and i do want to check his stream out myself um what days does slight take off i don't remember right, let's go over to slight today um Satana. Oh, it's Poots as well. Poots is streaming. He's been hanging out all day. That's funny. Uh, we'll get Poots as well. Poots, if you... No, I hope you're not listening, Poots. Because, um... No, it's not... Not, <laughs> not it matters, but I like people to be focused on their stream when they're doing it. And drop some lurks, but don't listen to somebody else's stream. That's not useful for you. Focus on your own stream. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's head over to Slide today. But yeah, keep rocking Sartana. I'm sure you're not here either, listen, but you keep rocking that stream, buddy. And uh, I'll be coming up by one day, that's for sure. But anyway, over to Slight today. Um, I'll spell his name. Caps. The caps don't matter when you do a raid. Anyway, um, I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I'll sleep a bit better tonight and I won't be rushing around. We were still on time, but I was just a bit a bit frazzled at the start of the stream. But yeah, feeling good. Um, God. I'm really enjoying Skyrim so much. What what adventures wait us tomorrow? I don't know. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the last day of the month today, isn't it? It's the 1st of September. Mm. Should be getting some votes in to see what could be our next games to cover on the show. So the plan at the minute, folks, is to finish out this week on Skyrim. Do at least all of next week. And if we were to give the, the game the same attention that other games have had, um, would be to do the following week. I'll play that by air. We'll do all this week and all of next week for sure on Skyrim. And then we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll kind of, I guess I'll judge, I'll play it by ear the week after, depending on what our votes producers give to us. And we'll see how it goes. Um, and see what I feel would be the best way to do our things. Um, but I suppose Skyrim kind of lends itself where if we were to f start a game and finish a game and I'm like, oh, we've only got two hours left of the stream. You know, cause sometimes it's not the best to start a brand new game when you've only got uh, a few, you know, a little bit of time left on your stream. Anyway, the raid is going, slight of game. I hope to see you tomorrow. It's been an absolute pleasure. Message me on Discord if you need me. I'll see you soon, folks.